Hello everybody and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. Today we are going to be doing a community showcase of the Command and Conquer games with community. Before we get into that, just a few quick announcements. Frame Fatale submissions are open right now until May 20th. You can use exclamation FF in Twitch chat to learn more. As well, Summer Games Done Quick is coming up May 28th to June 4th. Prize submissions are open from now until May 15th, so you can go to Games Done Quick for more information on that. With all that said, uh, Command & Conquer uh, Community Showcase, we've got a bunch of Command & Conquer games for you today. I'm super excited. Uh, we have uh, Command & Conquer General Zero Hour, and I will hand it over to the, uh, excuse me, to the commentary and runner, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is CC Neverender, and I'm doing commentary for Sketch TV here. Hey, guys. Sketch Chef. And um, CC, you want to hit this up? Should I do this? Yeah. All so right. we're doing um, the uh, we're doing the GLA campaign today, which is uh, I think the second faction. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be five missions. It's gonna be pretty fast, thirty-five ish minutes estimate, I think. So, alrighty, um, sketch give us a countdown. All right, if we're assuming we're ready uh, from uh, church and everybody, we're all good. Yeah. All right. Okay. Alrighty. All right. Let's get started. Solo play, GLA, and I'm gonna start the easy campaign in three, two, one. And let's go. Alrighty. So, uh, there are three factions in this game. There is the USA, this are, there is the GLA, and there is China. Um, we're going to be seeing a little bit of all three, um, but we're going to be playing as the GLA for the entire time. Um, so, watch this cutscene here. This cutscene is longer than the level that we're about to load into. Um, <laughs> That's right. So, uh, so GLA Mission 1 was already the fastest mission in the game until a more recent discovery has actually made it even faster. So, uh, don't blink. Otherwise, you will miss it. I do love the cinematics in this. One car crashes into the tower, and then the tower crashes onto the other one. Great 2002 cinematics here General, we must help our true leader escape so that the GLA so um Dr. Thrax may have there's like a team leader <coughs> ambassador somebody or other yes. in a fancy limousine here so this is um, General Moma Deathstrike and he's in his uh mo limo so wait hang on let me get this set up right this, yeah this, now, this is, is the best limo right. in the world uh, this is uh he's doing some donuts here there we go and there he's now go. an amphibious limo. Like that. Yeah. He's Very not fancy cooperating limousine. with me right now. <laughs> he really doesn't want to go upstream. Yeah. He's going to climb the mountain as well. There you go. It's so all easy. terrain vehicle, including mountains and rivers. Um, but yeah. Uh, so this was already the shortest mission in the game. And uh, we take a shortcut off the bridge and up the river and to the air strip and ta-da it's done so i wasn't kidding the cutscene is longer than this than this level <laughs> that's right so we're following the gla story here this is general moma deathstrike that we just evacuated he is uh, running away so that he can consolidate power which leads into this next mission um so basically uh this this general in Egypt is not playing ball. His name is Prince Kassad. And uh, instead of um, instead of joining up with, with, with Deathstrike, he is not going to um, yeah, he's not playing nice, so we gotta we gotta whack him. That's right. So this mission, um, the objective is uh, obviously to take out the opposing GLA faction uh, for Prince Kassad. And his whole thing is like stealth. So uh, all of his buildings have camouflage. You can't see them unless you have like stealth detecting units. Um, but uh, we don't really care about that. Uh, our objective here is to uh, take out his command center. Um, and normally command centers have a lot of health in this game. Uh, and it would take a lot of forces to take it out. Um, however, a single infantry can capture it in like 10 seconds. 20 seconds. So, uh, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. My apologies. Yeah. Um, it's still pretty fast. So uh, we're going to be uh, doing some some fancy tricks to get uh, into his base very quickly, and then uh, taking care of of that uh, of that command center. We must have these technologies. 
If Kassad will not share, we will take them from him, capture his command centers, and turn his own abilities against him. One of the things that I really like about some of these missions is that they give you buildings to start with, and uh, the fastest strat is to sell all of the buildings they give you for cash. There you go. We don't need it. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take the money. It's like Christmas time. No, don't give me anything. Just give me cash. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Jenna, oh, wait, whoopsie. One, two, and this guy. Go. Yeah, one of the really cool things about uh, the GLA faction is they have this thing called the Tunnel Network. And you can put units in on one tunnel network and build another one somewhere else, and then it will. You can take your units out on the other side, so you can quickly and quietly move units um, any amount of distance instantly. Um, which means that if you can somehow get a tunnel network near the enemy, uh, you can just pump units straight from your war factory right into their base, uh, which is really neat. And we will be using that to our advantage here. On top of that, um, GLA has a vehicle here called the Technical, which is a very fast vehicle. And um, oh, there you go. Uh, it's a very fast vehicle. Uh, and it also carries up to five infantry units. And GLA has a uh, construction worker that is a uh, that is a infantry unit, which means that you can transport them via via a technical like this. Um, for the other two factions, it's a vehicle that's like a dozer okay that's right. what the safety save is for <laughs> <laughs> okay let's yeah. try this again so this road here is pretty dangerous um it's littered with um with these sort of like landmines here uh, however because the technical is so fast it can activate the landmine and then drive right past it uh safely uh, assuming it doesn't make a sharp turn and stop on a dime um but yeah, this thing is is so fast. It really can uh, it can really just run through everything, which is not what they intended, I don't think. But uh, that is the way that it works. There we go. Oh, you lost one. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, I seem to have built too many. Uh, oh, there you go. I didn't have money oh, to build that thing. Uh, that's not a big deal. Just gotta wait a little bit. Yes. Do I still need these? Suboptimal. Suboptimal performance. <laughs> it's a restart, man. It's a reset. But yeah, um, so now that we're right outside um, the enemy base, uh, another thing here is uh, they're up on a ridge, as you can see, and you actually can't walk into his base. Um, this whole area is sort of lock blocked off um, with the terrain. You're supposed to capture a different thing and then get a uh, emergency tunnel that lets you uh, like put a, a tunnel network anywhere you want. However, uh, GLA also has these um, these bike units, which are infantry units on bikes, and then once they can go up up terrain and go you know in a bunch of different directions. Um, but once they get off the bike, they can just they're just units now, so we can get our um, our you know standard soldier, um, a rebel to capture right stuff next to the thing, yeah, and then the, they can capture the command center, and just like that, we have done essentially nothing in this mission and captured their base, and we win. Uh, one of the things that I really like about the General's campaigns is um, some of the Command & Conquer games, and you'll probably see them today, um, some of them can be essentially just destroy all the enemies, right? Like literally search out and find and kill every enemy unit uh, to win the map. Um, and this one is much more objective-based, and it's also sort of interestingly like different kinds of objectives like that was one of the first places where we can build units with like building a base and everything this one you can but uh, a lot of it is using the units that you're given and like capturing units and building an army that way and and winning the the map on this one um otherwise but the campaign is very varied in its objectives here so for this one, um, the uh, USA uh, aircraft carrier 
has been sort of terrorizing the GLA forces, and so we need to take it out. And by doing that, we're going to capture the enemy's uh, particle cannon, which is their uh, their super weapon. Um, and we can do that at the very beginning of the of the stage. Funny enough. Um, once the U.S. Mediterranean Naval and uh, we're going to use it at the end of the stage. We're not really going to use it at the, at the beginning here. Uh, we need power to power the laser. So that's going to be a thing. Uh, this mission in particular has uh, one of my favorite skips. It's, uh, it's a little silly. I do love the little just drive-by drop-off units. Like you're dropping off the kids at the daycare. <laughs> yeah, that's right. See this, this guy. Well, <laughs> guess what? He it doesn't matter now. He's not a problem anymore. There you go. Okay, I need these quads to stand here. I don't know exactly who found uh, this strat. Um, I attribute it to a uh, competitive runner named uh, SPL. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and he didn't do too many, but he has also some of the first recorded speedruns of this game. Um, mostly IL stuff, not uh, full campaigns, but um, a lot of the strats that uh, we use today were found by uh, by SPL. So, shoutouts to that person, wherever they are. Um, but, uh, so normally, uh, you have to hop from island to island using the tunnel network. Uh, ability that you have as GLA, which lets you put up the, one of those tunnels somewhere. Um, however, uh, you have these hijacker units that let you capture um, tanks. They're USA tanks, and the USA tanks have an ability where they can spawn a scout drone that increases their range of vision, and it just so happens that you can reach the final island area sooner than you're intended to, as you see now. So... Uh, um, by capturing that and using the that that scout drone or spy drone, whatever it's called, um, you can get to the uh, you can skip like, the whole level here. Um, and from here, all we have to do is get vision on the aircraft carrier on the very bottom right southeast corner of the map here, and that means we have to kind of go down the the coast on this area, but. We, uh, we, have we have essentially skipped so much of this level. You don't even understand. If you've ever played this game casually, uh, this one is uh, is a lot longer because you have to go to the left and then you have to like capture like a war factory and then finally you move all the way up to the northwest corner and then you get a command center and you're supposed to build up a huge army and then invade this whole place. Anyways, you skip all that. Um, and, uh, and we just kind of Waltz on in. I am waiting. Uh, Jarman Kell is a stealth unit here, and so he's just going to sneak past everybody. As soon as the power goes down, um, those base defenses will no longer detect stealth units, uh, and then Jarman Kell can waltz right into their base and straight to the spot where they need to stand on. There we go. And now we can move in. Well, everything they're doing here doesn't matter anymore. Because yeah, Jamkel is all that matters now. And they don't have any detection in here, so it doesn't. So yeah, he's just gonna march right in. And once this timer counts down, um, we'll get we'll get down to business. I've I've been trying to figure out a way to do this, like. Is, is there a way for me to skip that timer, you know, but I still haven't found mm. anything yet. Did you capture the particle cannon as soon as possible? Uh, no, it, I, it's immediately captured for me. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's mm. this way in different, like, higher difficulties, but, well, I've never had a problem with the, with the particle cannon. Can he do that? Wait. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> he wanted to steal one. <laughs> Oh. Jarman Kell has a special ability where he can snipe the driver out of a vehicle, and uh, and then you can capture that vehicle later uh, oh, with, a, with another infantry unit. Um, unfortunately, uh, 
the ability does not work yeah on the aircraft carrier um, it does work on uh when they're normally landed on airstrips right which one uh helicopters yeah sure i i think i've seen that before I don't know about helicopters. I was saying for the, the planes, oh, the but pl I think I'm thinking of something else on the next mission. Right. <laughs> yeah, the next mission always makes me a little bit nervous. So, so much, so many random things that could just end the run right there. Oh, yeah. The little raptor who tried. Not this time. <laughs> <laughs> there's very, there's some very funny uh, unit interactions with the physics in this one. All right, so this is one of my favorite intro cutscenes, not because of anything that it's actually doing, um, but the uh, narrator has a bit of an accent. And he talks about how, uh, you know, destroying that airship has allowed them to sleep in unnoticed. In response to the loss of their command fleet, this has allowed us to sleep in. We defeated them, <laughs> and we shall be victorious here. The GLA's true mission all along was just getting a little extra shut eye. Central Command in Europe, but we do not yet have the power to strike at them directly. We need a new toxin weapon. Yeah, so this mission, this mission in particular, um, is interesting. Uh, so the entire premise of this one is that you have two split armies here. Um, you have Jarman Kell and the 40 Thieves on one side, and you have uh, a different set of, of infantry on the other side. And this entire mission, they are split up until the very end. Um, and so both units have to find ways to um, strengthen the units that they have, as well as um, find ways to uh, bolster their units by finding new units in, uh, hidden in places. And uh, it's, it's, it's interesting here. So uh, make sure to make a safety save um, sketch. Because yeah, I'm gonna this make mission it. Is, a, is a little, it's a little janky sometimes. Um, in particular, uh, so there is a cruise ship that uh, we have commandeered here to get across the water. Um, however, the area that we're landing on um, is littered with um, with landmines. In fact, in front of the door will be a landmine. And I think it's supposed to be like, oh, you get out and it blows up behind you. But sometimes it will just blow you up. Um, it is... Uh, it is not well programmed. All right. So, so this guy's gonna come up. We're gonna cross our fingers, and <laughs> you see what blew up. that that happened. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's a bit random. All right. Um, so we're just gonna wait for. They won't get in there. Get there. Okay. Don't die this time. There we go. There you go. So. It uh, it just happens that way, but there are other uh, there are other landmines in this area. Um, however, the main central path, if you stick in the well, <laughs> you just <laughs> you had to stick say in it. the middle. If you stick in the middle, you're usually fine. Um, that's a little unlucky. Um, and we don't have any money to to build that stealth. Uh, the scout unit, scout drone. So uh, we don't have a lot of options here. Um, fingers crossed. Oh, wide turn. This normally doesn't happen. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. They moved them since last time. Yeah, they moved them. Patched. <laughs> Can maybe we'll take this wider this time. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. 
All right, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Okay, now we can queue it up. Cool deal. Yeah, so we have to uh, take out this bridge, and then um, you actually can't progress on the left side until uh, this water is drained. Um, so there's just a whole bunch of really neat uh, little ways to gate progress here. Like you have to capture this um, sort of like water control area that drains this section, this wet reservoir, and then you can progress through that way and a whole bunch of stuff like that. And then you can't progress to this area because it's um, it's barricaded, but there are some toxin trucks that you can capture here. I don't know why they have a bunch of toxin trucks just hanging around, um, you know, in the middle of this metropolitan area. Uh, there's just a whole parking lot full of them. Um, but these guys can instantly clear out barricaded um, areas. Well, I mean, in the, I think in the science, I think in the general's law, technically these are um, crop dusters, repurposed crop dusters, but that doesn't help very much um, now, does it? <laughs> yeah, it, it still begs the question of why there are nine of them. Yeah. Um, just hanging just, out. Just sitting around, yeah. yeah next to the airbase right there. But, um, and then you have to blow up the power, and that'll let you go in from a different direction, so... There's a lot of uh, neat little things, and uh, you have to be able to split your attention and do both um, both sides of the objective as quickly as possible. Um, unfortunately, this level does end with like a seven-ish minute auto scroller. Um, it's not too long, and you do have to do stuff while you're doing it, so it's not like it's just boring do nothing time, but uh, it's a little slow. We do have a few ways to uh, increase our uh, our speed on that, though, so we'll talk more about that when we get there. Yeah, like I said, there are uh, units hidden away in some places, and a big part of this mission is sort of figuring out how to capture and um, expand your armies here. But when we make it to this warehouse region, uh, that's the place where our armies will link up again. And from there, we will have to defend the region um, uh, long enough to move these toxins. So our mission is to get these... CC, you all right? You there? Looks like CC might have dropped into like Oof, okay. That's not what I had in mind. Um so So our mission yeah, is to guess, guess commentary falls out. Of me. <laughs> hey. Um so what we're gonna do right now is uh we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna start loading to up these, uh, these the toxins, toxins from this facility, so which conveniently is... happens to be next to the airfield. Not sure why they did that, but anyway. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna have to run some defense on this a on this side because the Americans don't like it when we try to steal their toxins. Uh, they don't like it. Well, I call this the beer run. I don't like. It. I think they don't like it when we steal their beer. So um, they're gonna try and do something about it. I hope I'm doing this right. Okay, wait. Um, see, the thing is, he's not supposed to die. Um, so, we're, we're going to run a little trick. And I was hoping CC would be here because it is a little bit complicated to describe. Um, basically, the game... The way the game runs is there's a counter. And um, there is a script that checks to see if you have money. Uh, and if you have money, it will zero your money and bring that counter down. So, I'm trying to... There we go. Um, doesn't look like much, but uh, basically, I am. Oh jeez, I have to. I have to take care of this. Sorry. Uh, you, you take I actually care have to take care of this one. Yeah. Totally understand it. My my airfield is dead. Right. Okay. I may need to get these guys to run for their lives. A warrior has fallen. 
Well, I just lost the level. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? Oof, unfortunate. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me load that safety save. Um, see, that's what happens if you... Um, that's what happens when you reach that point in the level when you are not ready to... Um, when you're not ready to handle the, the Americans, basically. Uh, what do you want? Wait. Oh, hang on, hang on. Um, hold on a sec. These guys gotta come out. There are mines here, but we cannot detect them. We need I hope I'm doing this right. What do you want? We take what we need. Light me a fresh sight. General, get someone into the valve station by the river. Draining the cool reservoir will allow our brothers to continue further. Come on in. Where's he going? General, destroy that airfield before we are wiped Let's out. Let's go for it. Our clan is strong. Our clan is strong. What do strong. you want? Let us see what they are up to. What? We take what we need. Our clan destroy is strong. Destroy the American air base, Let's go. and they will lose Bring much of their buildings and project the power of the East Coast. We need these tractors, and we want to clearly bunkers. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Would you like to try some? My own special brew. Would you like to try some? I would like Free to try some. Free our brothers. Come on in, Harris. No gun. It's too great. Need a new vehicle? How about the test? General, destroy that airfield before we are wiped out. My own special. What do you want? Find me a crash site. How about a lift? See, so the key to running this mission quickly is to figure out how to coordinate two sets of units at the same time. Promise, I'm not very good at that right now. So, yeah. Yeah, this level uh, looks very complicated. Like, there is a lot of small moving parts. Yeah, and and the thing is, you gotta remember every single one of them. Yeah. Right. You 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 zone in on one side, and then you'll be like, oh, I forgot that. Right. <laughs> okay. Um. Now we gotta pull up this way. Uh. This guy. So Jaman Kel is gonna sneak right in. He can walk right past all these defenses. Uh, these defenses tend to be quite the obstacle, like like these bunkers. So, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, hold on. There we go. These guys come this way. Don't die. Oh, he's gonna die, me. Oh, that's a shame. See, the thing is, when you ex you can activate these trucks just fine, but the problem is, this is gonna kill him. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's the thing. We're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, I see. That could be a problem. Well, you know what? Maybe it's not such a bad thing. Look at that. They make that a perfect distraction. Yeah, that is very... It's a nice recovery. The thing is, well, I, I guess this is just a thing about real-time strategy, uh, speedruns. There's so many ways to do the same thing. And uh, it, sometimes it, it like it's like... It, it just depends on what you feel comfortable on doing, really. Yeah. And just being able to, you know, uh, react with God. Okay, I think we're well set up. Now I can start focusing on that on that, that low script trick that I was talking about. Uh, so... Hang on, once this guy wakes up. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
Yeah, some okay, these trucks, well I gotta wake them up. Um sometimes they they don't Yeah, sometimes they don't they don't they don't auto like they don't hook that way. Um so yeah. Let's see. I failed earlier because I did not get these quads to deal with the Comanches. Okay, so Anyway, back to that script. Back, back to this, to this little uh, exploit. Um, so it checks. The, so there's a script that checks whether you have money, and if you have money, it will, um, it will take all your money, and bring that counter down by one. But the thing is, this script is not perfect, um, and what it will do is, um, it there's about a two or three frame uh, uh, gap window uh, with which you can spend some money. So these vehicles can build scout drones at 100 apiece. So that allows me to build two drones and then uh, let it trigger once and then slowly cancel them for a total of three times per toxin uh, per, per, per delivery. So that way I think uh, I roughly timed it to about um, maybe two, two and a half minutes time save just from that, just from this alone. One of the bigger time saves that we've found <laughs> in uh, recent history which is cool stuff that, that is a pretty significant that's awesome i mean it would be <laughs> it would be a two and a half minute time skip if i actually remember to do it Okay, if I execute this perfectly, the next run of three trucks should be enough. There we go. Now we're down to six. No, I didn't catch. Oh, this is a shame. There was a bit of this. Um, CC mentioned a separate time. I don't know if CC mentioned a separate time save. I can't remember anymore. Um, but uh, where you can blow up the trucks uh, just after depositing it, and they will, and and a new truck will spawn from here, and you can use that to to. Um, it saves a little bit of time. I've never timed that, but I haven't timed that myself. But you know, it, uh, it was rediscovered quite a while back, and you know, I'm just gonna take that word for it that it saves time. <laughs> That's fair. There, there are a few tricks where it's like, yeah, I believe you, it's this time. <laughs> That's the mission, guys. That's the beer run. Off the top of my head, I can't remember what they're actually doing the, using the toxins for, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's it, it can't be good. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like it can't be too great. Yeah, I love how the map just like despawned there as well, so you just like see <laughs> That's through right. the floor. I think it's a widescreen thing. The it's a widescreen thing. The game was not originally set up to handle this kind of resolution, or widescreen for that matter. Uh, but it's it's just one of those things where, you know, it, come on, the game is 20 years old. Let's let's cut it some slack, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so this mission is um, basically we steal a China base and we're going to kick the Americans out of uh, Germany. It seems. Well, we're, we're supposed to kick them out of Europe, but uh, so yeah. Uh, it's quite a bit of setup. It's also quite um, so yeah. Like like CZ said earlier, you we, we get a lot of buildings. They exist to be sold. Yeah, we just got attacked. I'm not sure by who though. Yeah, probably by myself. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff for basically setup, right? Uh, what we want to do is. Um, Whenever you have, chi whenever you you get access to China, you get access to this um, to this attack helicopter called the Helix, and um, the Helix is a beast of a helicopter. Um, you will see that in you will see that in a little bit. 
uh, basically, um, basically you can load up this helix with um, you can load up the helix with men, these tank hunters, and these tank hunters are very good at um, destroying buildings. Well, they're very good at destroying, yeah, uh, armor and well buildings in general. So we're just gonna load up a bunch of them and we're just gonna fly them into the base. These GL units that I'm sending to the top of the map, uh, we're gonna try and we're gonna try and hit them in the back door, but uh, ultimately they don't do very much. Uh, it's the helixes that are gonna be doing the heavy lifting here. Okay. So my strategy, um, my strategy basically revolves around like building. Uh, four of those helixes, uh, bunker helixes. See, so yeah, you can see you can see them shooting out. We call them bunker helixes for short. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna load up four of them, and we're gonna we're just gonna fly right in. It's gonna be like uh, it's gonna be like right of the Valkyries. No, I have not captured these, but not that it matters now. <laughs> Alright, now that we've got the fourth bunker licks, we are going to get started. The longer we wait, the more their attacks grow in strength. Alrighty then. bunker is ready. No lack of courage. We're going to ruin somebody's day. It is in our best interest to rescue the POWs from the clutches of the United States. We're going to ruin somebody's day. Alright. A warrior has fallen since the great dungeon. You have reached a higher rank to ruin somebody's day. Yes, hello everybody. Sorry about that. Welcome back. Welcome! Reports indicate the POWs held captive in the US base So, basically CC, we've just explained that um, this is basically a Bunker Licks rush and uh... Yeah... yeah. Bunker Licks are crazy. Yeah, the, the, the thing about the Bunker Licks rush is that Every time I try to insert some some new trick to to the bunker licks rush, um, I end up running slower than what than than, than just going pure bunker licks. And the yeah. reason is because you really really have to focus on these bunker licks to get anything done. Like the more yeah. like taking your eyes off off of them for like one or two seconds, uh, without planning, you you just lose you just lose those, that many seconds, which kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of a weird like suffering from success kind of thing where this strat is so good. Yeah. It's really hard to beat it any way else. Um, Bunker licks as well, but um, also the USA has like the the Chinook strat as well. Yeah, that's right. Right. That, that uh, just or, or it just defines fees. everything. Yeah. Essentially, putting five or more uh, rocket launcher units in a moving vehicle is really OP. <laughs> so anytime you can do that and uh, it just gives you incredible maneuverability and even as small as like five or six or seven um, vehicles filled with uh, those units, uh, can, as you can see, can destroy buildings in a matter of a second or two. Um, and being highly mobile it just makes it even more deadly. There we go. There you go, just like that. Sorry, I disappeared there. My power went out all of a sudden. Wow. <laughs> and uh, so, hope I didn't make you like a weird noise whenever my uh, internet cut out. As accusations fly between the just kind of tripped off. Over there we go. Well, I tend to do that, so. 
jubilation swept the world today as the United States began a complete troop withdrawal from Europe, losing European bases to GLA infiltration. All right. Well, that was the GLA campaign. Uh, nice and short and sweet. Uh, if it wasn't for one mission in the game, all of the campaigns would be like 30 minutes long, and uh, and they are all pretty fun. Uh, except for that one mission. <laughs> China 4. China yes. 4 is a 25-minute auto-scroller. Um, but we won't talk about that. Uh, that's it. That was that was, yeah, the that was time. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, time was at UI Victoria screen. But anyway, that was it. That's it. So thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank you both so much. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say just to close out? Hmm. Sketch, got any plugs? Uh, not really. Uh, catch me on Twitch, watch sketch on twitch.tv slash sketch tv is it uh, SG, SG, sketch TV? sg sketch tv that's right i think there sketch tv was taken hey. oh well <laughs> oh well oh. but yeah uh please follow sketch um he's a fantastic runner um he plays on hard mode for the general challenges most of the time but yeah. uh, uh if you like more of this stuff uh you can always catch more of him doing runs he's fantastic and one of the few people who's actively doing like a lot of runs um on uh, on Twitch and whatnot. So, yeah, that's it. All right. Thanks for uh, watching, yeah. everyone. Thank you both so much. Uh, it's uh, been a pleasure to have you both here. And, uh, you know, it's awesome to have uh, the Command and Conquer... Uh, uh, words are hard. Command and Conquer community here. So uh, thank you both so much. Uh, we've oh, got, it's our pleasure. We've got a lot more games coming up, so we're going to take a quick uh, few-minute break while we get the next run set up, which is going to be Red Alert 2. Uh, we'll see you in just a few minutes for that. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Learn Quick Hot Fix. This is our Command and Conquer community showcase. We're showcasing a bunch of games from the Command and Conquer series, and we've got Red Alert 2. I'll let the runner introduce themselves. I'm not going to show Deus Ex today, but I'm going to show Red Alert 2. And yeah, the game had a very drastic change last year when we figured out that there is a glitch which already existed in Tiberian Sun. So instead of talking about it, I will just showcase it. So. Let's get started. I'll go into this cutscene mode and three, two, one, let's go. All right, so today I'm going to showcase the Soviet campaign. Uh, the reason for that is I haven't learned the Allied campaign yet. And yeah, we're gonna just showcase it. So what we're gonna do is like, we're getting like a little introduction at the start, like how does a game work? How do you build a base? How do you control your units, so the basic basic controls, but we're gonna not do that at all. We're gonna use a glitch, which is very cool. So first of all, we're getting uh, our MC um, built and constructed so that we can build buildings, obviously. And what I'm gonna do is I'll build a Tesla reactor and I'll leave these units at the bottom. So we need to destroy the Pentagon and I'm gonna do it in a very different way. So first of all, I'm going up here, and oh my god, how did that work? So what we do is basically called uh, the Build Anywhere glitch. So what you can do is you can place a building anywhere on the map if you do a certain control. There are like two ways you can do that actually, which is pretty cool. One way is by alt-tabbing out of a game and going back in and placing it where you want it. And the other way is to literally just... Um, to just do like a certain combination of uh, buttons. So how it works is like you just build your building, then you press left click. Oops, let me let me destroy this first. And then you just hold and left click on one of the icons. Then you press right click so you have both buttons clicked. And then you just release the, the left button and then you can place the building anywhere you want. So this is how it works and yeah. This is how we can finish many maps very quickly or use a combination. So we, we figured that out last year when we uh, when we saw that you can down patch the game and in the first version of it you can do this trick. In the later versions they fixed that and interestingly enough in Tabir's Sun you can do the same trick which is pretty hilarious if you ask me. So the second map we have some units here and we need to destroy all the, all the enemies. Here for example we are not going to use the build anywhere glitch at all but we don't need to. So what we're gonna do is like we do a certain combination so first of all there's a building with a pool and that means people are rich there. So we're gonna destroy this building because there's riches, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
sending over our units here. And tada, there is a box. So and this box gives us upgrades, and upgrades are nice. So, and while, while I'm going to get another upgrade, since there are two of those buildings, uh, I'm gonna destroy these chrono tanks because that is important for later. So, what we're gonna do is we need to destroy all the enemy units, and we're gonna do that very quickly. So, first of all, another building destroyed here. Let's get the upgrade here. Om nom nom, thank you very much. So, and now we just do this here and we build our, our base. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna send one of my tanks down here where the enemy base is, which is very important. And the others are just gonna defend and they're just gonna fight here. This is important because what the AI is doing is the moment you destroy their main building, they're just gonna sell all the other buildings because they, they can't do anything anymore. And in this case, they're gonna start attacking us. And that is what is gonna be very helpful. So we're gonna do this. We lure all the enemies. So there are two chrono, chrono tanks, which are important, which we need to get. That's the chrono harvester, sorry. And then we're after we destroyed them, we just need to des uh, destroy all the leftover units. And we're getting some submarines, so we're gonna send them to attack these ships. All right, looking good. So we're just doing some command attack here and there, just double checking. So just attacking and yeah, that should be it with a mission soonish. What I'm gonna do and check is if there's a chrono chrono harvester up there. It can sometimes hide there because I missed it and didn't do enough damage, but never mind, we got it. So yeah, there goes the second mission. Alright. So Next mission, New York. So here we do another set of the Build Anywhere glitch. So first of all, we're going down up here and we need to get over this battle lab. That is the name, right? So what we're gonna do is we are going to place our units here. Oh no, that was not the best, but it's fine. And what we're gonna do is we're taking over the World Trade Centers. So what it does is we're first of all unlocking all of the map. And then what we're gonna do is sending an engineer to get over this battle lab and that allows us to basically build uh start this real mission which is just take over this entire map and all we need to do now is wait and survive and we're gonna do that very simply we need a lot of flak troopers and we're getting one of my favorite units when i played this game as a kid casually with yuri's so these units are able to control our units and we're gonna do that a lot with those rocketeer tanks which i've which name I forgot, but they're very powerful as we are getting a lot of air attacks and also some tanks here, but normally the flag troopers are also okay-ish when it comes to them. No, actually they're, they're pretty bad, uh, but we're getting some air attacks, so they're helpful. And as I said, we have the Euros here to help us as well. And while we're doing that, I'm just gonna spam a lot of those sentry guns because they help. And Oh, a little fun fact, so this trick, well, before you used this trick, what you did was use this MPC to get it all the way up here and it was pretty hard to, or, well not hard, but it could happen that they would destroy it. And with this you basically have a safe way where you don't need to worry that they get this destroyed. It also has a sec second effect. Normally, oh wow, why are you all going there? Normally the AI would always attack your base so they all would rush up here and destroy it so that is kind of bad so we don't want it to, to get destroyed immediately however since we have a base at the bottom with an mvc they're gonna go all the way down here with their main forces and destroy and attack this so all i need to do is build a sentry gun and keep them occupied while we wait for the timer to run down so we still have another minute and all we need to do is just chill here and we'll build more sentry guns so we have a better defense, we have a good defense against the air units, and oh, yeah, just chilling. Nothing else to do. <clears throat> also, in case you're wondering uh, how am I supposed to, or how am I able to play it in a 16x9, there is a community patch, or basically some fixes, which allow you to play all of it, or most of them, from what I know, Command and Conquer games on modern systems. So they fix like lag issues, they fix like... Um, FPS uh, drops and whatnot. So if you want to play again the old games, you can do that. It's very simple. You just need to check the, the website and there are like community patches everywhere. So don't need to worry about that at all. Are there uh, guides for that on the speedrun.com page? 
lost. Destination commander? You can't <laughs> concentrate. Again? <laughs> are there guides for that on the speedrunner.com page? Um, for some games that are guides, for some we have also, well, for one, we prepared a virtual machine for Tiberium Sun to get it running. So there's a lot of, like, helps. Or if you're always having questions, you can always just join the Discord or just check the CNC Net website where they also show you how to fix the issues with, like, multiplayer games when certain servers are down, like Red Alert 3. Alright, so here we, call, we go with one of the first smaller defense missions. So we are running on a timer and all we need to do is destroy all the allied forces. And what we're gonna do is, since we know where they are gonna spawn and when they are gonna uh, appear, we can prepare ourselves. So what we're gonna do is we're getting a lot of submarines. We're placing them at the spots where the units spawn and we try to hinder them from building a base before they start building a base, which allows us to finish this map like almost instantly. Also, I'm gonna place Here's another showcase of the uh, Build Anywhere glitch. Oh, if I don't fail, there you go, ta-da! As you can see, I can just build it a bit out of place and this is pretty great. Alright, so... And while we're waiting, we're just gonna discover the map a bit. This is gonna help us navigate later some units and... Well, we have some time anyways. So just zigzagging up here. So what I'm also trying to do is I'm well. That is also the nice thing with the build anywhere glitch. I can build refineries where the crystals are, so I get more resources. And there's like another spot down below here. So I'm gonna put another ore refinery over there, which allows me to well get faster money. And we like money because well we need a lot of troops. So uh, there. I'm a bit too high. As you can see, you can also put the Build Anywhere glitch uh, on the Fog of War, which is pretty nice, but you need to know the location and depending on your setups, it will be a bit trickier. So in in comparison to Tiberian Sun, for example, it is a bit, well, harder to pull this off because uh, most of the map stuff in Red Alert uh, is either shown or you don't need to worry about it, but in Tiberian Sun you will mostly be on a blank map, so you don't even know what's going on. But it's not a big deal. Alright. So first of all, I'm just gonna put my submarines here. So there's gonna be some amphibian vehicles later on. Also, I'm gonna do this. So my units are gonna be faster. And it's also helping me with a different strat later on. And now we just wait. Uh, okay. Getting some conscripts in those buildings. That is very... Very important, so I put them also in guard mode. Also, fun fact, um, so as a kid, when I was playing that, I didn't know that if you put the, uh, the units on guard mode, they will attack once they get attacked. Back then, I was always annoyed that my units died because, well, they just didn't fight back. And, well, if you don't know that, that's kind of hilarious. Just a, the more you know thing. Yeah. All right. Alright, so we're getting some more reactor power because what you also need to know is if you don't have enough reactor power your production will be slower and also uh, if you have more of the same building you will build uh, the units faster it's also one thing i didn't know as a child construction complete so now we wait like in three minutes the attack will start and once they start, we can get going. Also, I'm gonna build some sentry guns as they are trying to infiltrate this part of the map. And with the sentry guns, I can just be a bit faster. Or like, it's well, not faster, it's more of a backup. So we're gonna use that. Also, I'm gonna really, or like, group submarines of four. That is like, to make sure that all the enemies are getting destroyed once they get up here. Because then I, I'm sure I make or I do enough damage. All right. New rally point so let's put the tier. New rally point established. Yeah, and just continue building submarines. So the first attack will happen soon. Our base is under attack. So, uh, I mean, yeah, we can get some conscripts. Normally we don't need, but just for safety safety ready. reasons, why not? Units Getting ready. more sentry guns. Uh, that should Units be more ready. than enough. In case one of them gets going, they should get destroyed before it. 
All right. For here, for there, for there. Congratulations, I know how to count. Okay. <laughs> so there is no other submarine. I don't need the other part of a map. The attack will happen here with some of the amphibious vehicles and there will some yeah there are the tanks coming in so i'm just gonna garrison this building because they're gonna go for my harvesters okay four 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 and there you see there they go unfortunately i didn't get any of them <laughs> this can happen it's fine it's not a big deal because we need to wait on the timer anyways and it's another reason why we get those conscripts here just to guard it off also we have one of the ore miners who has a gun on the top, so we don't need to worry about it. Okay, there goes the alarm. I have enough here, I need just more of these. And... Yeah, alright. Alright, the tank is misbehaving, so I'm just gonna make sure that nothing happens here. And then I'm just gonna destroy it manually with the uh, ones I have. Alright, so let's put them on guard. Yeah, luckily, I don't need to wait. No. Alright, and there comes the other tanks. It's not a problem, let's get this one done, and then we just send the others over. And, good, there you go. Yeah. Okay, we have three here. Oh. Need more mana. I mean money. Yeah, and then... Just get those tanks gone, wouldn't be a problem, and now we just wait. Okay, so we have... Oops, okay, another one here, and then get another one down here, put them on guard mode, and... Okay, good. Good to do. Alright, and there you can see, there is the attack, so... Uh, okay, that is almost damaged. That's sh yeah, okay. Uh, that is not good. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! Okay, uh, it, it's fine, it's fine. I, I know roughly where that one is positioned. Yeah, but okay, that, that is the most important one. Okay, so that is a bit unfortunate. So, what I'm gonna do is I need to get that tank gone and. The problem is that tank is just gonna chill there and do nothing. But we got the main forces, which is the more important part. So I'm just gonna sell this and I still have a sentry gun, which I can just place it. It's not there. Where are you? Wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, no problem, no problem. We found it and now we just need to wait for the sentry gun to destroy it. If, if that amphibious vehicle wouldn't have landed it, we would be done with the mission. But I failed there, so... but it's not a problem. All right, there you go. That should be it. And yeah, there you get the your victorious mission. Uh, no, mission accomplished. Your victorious is what they're saying. All right. All right. Okay, Paris, one of my favorite maps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all of my units over here. Then I'm getting some doggos because I like doggos. Then I'm gonna destroy one of my own. Um, Tesla towers that is important for later and yeah I'll, I'll have a backup dock so let's see so let's see so we need to get the dock over here they're faster than the normal conscript so that is one of the reasons I'm trying to get them over okay let's see if that works oh oh oh, oh. yes we got it okay that is awesome all right so what I'm doing is I'm hitting a trigger where I'm getting my Tesla troops and now I need to send them to the Eiffel Tower. This is very important. So if you ever wondered what is the purpose of the Eiffel Tower, uh, I'll, I'll show it to you in a second. So all we need to do now is send them over here. We must move closer to the tower if we are to secure a good charge. Okay, get my Tesla troops down. And yeah, so I'm also gonna sell this. And what we're gonna do now is all the units will uh, I was a bit too slow, but all the units will now go to the last building we have, and that is the one up here, which is the Eiffel Tower, and they will leave the units alone. So this didn't work as planned, but it's fine. So yeah, the, the actual use of the Eiffel Tower is it's a big Tesla Tower. Amazing! So all we need to do now is send all or destroy all of the remaining units, and that is by literally sending them up here, or well, they just go up on their own, and all we need to do is wait now. 
Yeah, unfortunately some of my conscripts survived, so we're gonna go attack them, but that's not gonna take for too too long. Come on. Yeah, there you go. And now we're gonna go and attack the Eiffel Tower, so we just need to wait. Yeah. Amazing. And as you can see, no more troops are left. And with that, we wait. That's, that's and drink some tea. Awesome. All right. Okay, so this Ooh, this map is a bit harder. Uh, it is very similar to the original strat, but what we're gonna do is we're speeding it up with a build anywhere glitch. So normally you have only those three submarines, and with those three submarines we're gonna take off, uh, take down an entire navy. The problem is that if you fail it or if you lose one, you lose a lot of time. But we're not gonna worry about that, because what we can do is we can literally just build a small base, get those extra units from below here, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build tons of buildings and units to just destroy it way faster than we originally are supposed to. So I'm just gonna group my units and I'm send them to scout. I roughly know where the enemies are and I'll su I will simultaneously build a base. I need to get an ore refinery and a barracks that allows me to build a naval ship. Um, Naval yard? What is it called? I don't know. Uh, anyways, it will allow me to build more submarines and with those I can destroy the base even faster. So we're gonna do that. So we're just sending them over. With those flagships we are just gonna destroy these ships and we're sending over the submarines. Yes, yes, it's either a naval yard or a submarine pen. I don't know Construction Ah, it's a naval shipyard. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, now we know. All right. So there's also like a little trick you can do here. The moment you damage the units. Uh, they will try to get repaired, and we're gonna use that mechanic as well, which allows us to basically attack them and don't need to worry. Also, here, here we go, there's our navy shipyard, and we're just gonna spam way more submarines. And as I said, they're gonna attack us, so what we're gonna do is we attack them back, so we try to basically repair them. And we're gonna build some conscript, because they are just enough in range to attack and that is very helpful for us and what I'm also gonna do is I'm building sentry guns so this mission was before a run killer because if you use if you lost your submarines you lost a lot of time well now you just don't need to worry about it you just build an entire army in the enemy's army or enemy space I mean oh no I got my barracks ah it's okay I can just re rebuild it and the more important part Oh no, I, I lost my submarines. I have the submarines. Alright, and now I'm sending over some of my... Some of my conscripts, so that I can just start attacking the next sub base. And while doing that, I'm also getting a sentry gun over here to do some damage here, so that they all stop attacking my units and allow that allows me to make sure that they are uh, trying to repair it Oh, it got taken off but that's not a big deal because we have at this point we have way more enough m way more than enough troops to take care of all the enemies and we got a fully upgraded oh there's uh, there's also one navy ship I forgot okay now it's taken down and now we just... Uh, and we're done with the mission. Alright. <laughs> this glitch is really awesome. It's like, you just get to do such amazingly yeah. cool strats with it. Yeah. That, that is what I love about uh, the Command & Conquer run, especially with Red Alert and with uh, Red Alert 2 and Tiberian Sun. I find it even more interesting or hilarious that the same trick works in both games. Like, it's this, I, I don't do anything different, you do the same execution for both and it just works. It, it is awesome, I love it. 
Yeah, yeah that's... Yeah, that's the ready. Automation. All right, so my favorite mission, uh, Chrono Defense. As you can hear from the name, uh, it is a defense mission and it takes 20 minutes and I can't do anything to speed it up besides, well, taking over the entire map and waiting. <laughs> so, <Building>. enjoy! <laughs> Construction complete. Low power. Building. So what I'm gonna do mostly right now is I'm just gonna take care that I'm getting a lot of money, a lot of troops, and then we're just taking over the entire map. So in this map, you are supposed to, or you get introduced to the Apocalypse tanks. Complete. We're not gonna use them at all. <laughs> like, <no. laughs> they're too slow for the strat. So what we're gonna do is we're getting tons of flak troops and shock troopers, and that's all we need. Also, there are like, there's some extra sources here, and I'm gonna send an infantry or, or a conscript down here, which allows me to get some extra money. And we need dogs in this mission because the dogs allow us to um, uh, get spies. The spies is a mechanic which where they steal either your technology or your energy, and they will try to steal our energy multiple times, and that is pretty bad for us because, well, losing energy means losing time and losing our defenses. So I don't want that to happen, so we'll try our best to make sure we don't lose it. Later on, there will be also some trucks appearing from the top, which allows us to get some extra money, and there's also going to be like a... how the game calls it, a propaganda vehicle, uh, which allows you to... Uh, or where you can get some... oh no, there's a seal, I need to be careful. Uh, which allows you to see the entire map, so we are gonna make sure of that. I think we should send a few dogs to sniff out enemy spies. Yeah, where the game literally introduces us, like, all their doggos. Very good at attacking enemies, so do that. Okay. The seal is taken care of, so I'm just gonna get all of my troops over here. Yeah, and then we're just going to get capitalist propaganda. There you go. All right. So then we're just gonna loot. Also, we need to get some defenses up here because there are going to be a lot of tanks. Yes, comrade. I'll send those shock troopers over there. Okay, and... Here's the first money crate, and the other one is in one of those. I always forget, but it's not like we don't have enough time to wait. Cannot deploy here. Fortunately, when there's you know all the time in the world, you can you can take a few seconds. Unit ready. All right, so we're getting here one of the money crates. I'm gonna build the extra defenses up here. Just Unit so lost. the tanks are not a problem, but at this point with all the Unit Tesla lost. troops it shouldn't be a problem, Unit but well, you never know. Just making sure that nothing goes wrong. And what we're gonna do is... Oops. Uh, getting this one over here. Selling that one, because we don't need it. And now we're getting a lot of black tanks. Can attack any ground or air yeah, there, there you go. Now it introduces you how... Uh, how the apocalypse, the apocalypse tanks work, and we're not gonna use them. <laughs> Alright, so we got the second crate, just destroyed, and... Yeah, now we're just gonna wait and build tons of flak cannons, get a lot of energy, and now we're just... Waiting. Like literally, we need to wait a lot a very long time here before the mission finishes. Alright. Construction complete. Cannot deploy here. Building. Oh, daughter's upset. <laughs> I don't know what happened. For the union. For the country. Vehicle ready. Alright, so now we're gonna... We have some defenses here, we have a doggo here, and there are gonna be enemy units here. So, this is a bit tricky, because in this part, uh, that's why I wanted to keep the dog, but, well, it's it should be fine. Because sometimes those units glitch out, and then they become invincible, and if that happens, well, you can't take care of them. But it, it seems fine, the shock troopers, yeah, managed to do it. And now we're gonna take care of the of this vehicle, because, well, that, this allows us to see the entire map, and that's very, very helpful. 
Okay, we're gonna get some more here. I mean, it's here. And what we're gonna go and do now, because we need the flag troopers, but I also need money, so I'm gonna get a lot of war miners for now. And while we're waiting, we're gonna build more war factories, because the more, as I've mentioned before, the more you have, the faster you build. And in this case, we want a lot of units, and... Well, that was unfortunate, they just went past my... My oh, entire no. defense. Um, it's okay, I have some shock, some shock troopers here, and I can send them back, but that is like... Amazing timing! <laughs> yeah. That shouldn't be a problem. Charging up. I also love how those prism towers, uh, prism vehicles, are super strong, but a war miner can just destroy them with ease. So we're just gonna send one of the war miners to destroy it. Oh no, no <laughs> power. Not my power. I want unlimited power. All right. Yeah, there's a seal that is a bit dangerous, but should be fine. Yeah, it's okay. Because we also have some doggos. I need to send the doggos back to their position. That is important. Alright. Because I don't want to spy to get them. Alright. Alright, alright, yeah, and now we're good. Okay. So, yeah, back to just spamming units and waiting. So, we need to get all of the electricity we can get. That is important. Uh, I can't construct there, but I can construct there. And then we're just gonna get a lot of flak, flak cannons just to make sure that we don't need to worry. Okay, and we are spreading out our units, so that we definitely get all of the enemy units in the air, like all the planes and whatnot. And then I'm just gonna send Toko here. Bolt some extra defenses here. Yeah, and now it's like defense time. Just wait and build and construct. Also, we can get some more war factories. Also, making sure that the doggos are here to protect my energy. There's another doggo here. Very important. Gonna get some flak cannons here just to make sure that. No enemy is going through, Unit coming through. Do, do, do. Yeah. So, church, what did you have for uh, for lunch? <laughs> uh, so I've just kind of been eating like <laughs> a breakfast uh, throughout the show. Uh, so I had um, I had an English muffin, uh, some sausages, and uh, I've got an apple and some oranges here that I'm going to be snacking on. Building. That sounds good. As a German, I appreciate the sausages. So. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You gotta have sausages for breakfast. What about you? What did you have? Uh, I just had some... Uh, what? Kind of like cereals? Uh, but I my, my breakfast was like... Yeah, 12 hours ago, and for lunch I just had some bolognese. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Unit ready. Uh, so we got a little bit of time here. Uh, yeah. Do you want to talk about, like, so what, uh, why did you pick uh, Red Alert 2 and Tiberian Sun to speed run out of all of the Command and Conquerors? Yeah, so some very long time ago, uh, I just mentioned it briefly, uh, um, some... Well, uh, I was interested in Tiberium Sun speedruns, but I never actually took the, uh, the time to learn it. So this time, uh, or like two years or three years ago, I started learning it. And a good friend of mine called Vicotti was doing uh, Red Alert, no, not Red Alert, uh, Tiberium Sun speedruns. And I was very fascinated by how quick it is and how cool it looked. So I was like, oh, hey, I want to learn that run. And that was back then at ESA 2015 when I saw the run for the first time. But I postponed it for such a long time that I never actually did a run of it. And then I said like, okay, let's let's learn it. So I learned the Tiberium Sun speedrun and not too long ago we figured out that you can do the build anywhere glitch like in Tiberium Sun. Yeah. The, just in the Red Alert 2 as well. Just you need to down patch the game. And so I was like, 
Yes, I want to do that. And then I picked it up, and here we are. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I unfortunately lost my main building. That is a bit bad, but it's also not too big of a deal because we have a lot of war factories already. So all we need to just do is spam the units out. So all good. As you can see, we have a lot of flak cannons. That is very important to show that we can take care all, take care of all the air units. And well, I'm just gonna build some extra shot troopers here. So later on. Yeah, actually, I can send them over here. So they're gonna they're gonna be certain spawn points. Like one is over here, one is here at the bottom, one is over here, and yeah, that is gonna be it. So at those spawn points, there will be enemies approaching us, and I'm gonna make sure that I can destroy them as fast as possible to make sure that they're not going to our main base. So I'm just gonna send wait. Um, I'm just gonna send some flak troopers over here and some over here because they're gonna be some extra units and we're just gonna take care of it and all. Second daughter is now uh, upset as well. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, uh, also as you can see I get a lot of money because I have a lot of more miners. So and yeah, as we can as you can see, we have to wait for the next air forces to arrive. So we have another two minutes before the attack happens. So we have enough time to to just wait. Yeah, I think my daughter is upset that I'm not building the apocalypse tanks <laughs> like the game wants us to do. <laughs> yeah, play the game properly, Dad. <laughs> I want that unit! Give it to me! <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm building one. <laughs> but we, we're gonna build first the other 26 flak troopers. Very important. Uh, Alright, after this attack, we will have the other uh, trucks coming up, which allows us to get some extra money. So we just need to wait a bit. Also, I'm getting, yeah, as you can see, there's the other troopers coming over to attack us, and we're gonna attack them. Same's gonna happen here and here as well. So we're just gonna divide them. And that is one of the reasons we are building Tesla troopers and the flag troopers, so we have, like, the best defense units. Ah, oh, thank you. How many of these airstrikes are there in this level? Like, there are gonna be more, like four airstrikes, so every time they announce that the that the uh, enemy is attacking, there are gonna be air forces included. As you can see, there are, we have the jets, we have the rocketeers which spawn on the right, and from the bottom we have the parachuters with, with some units like the SEAL, the SPY, and some uh, GDIs. Gotcha. All right. I think at this point we should have enough Tesla or shock troopers here to take care of the enemies here which will spawn and I'm just gonna get some more here to strengthen the defenses there and yeah I need some way more troops over here but that's not a problem I'm just gonna wait until I get my apocalypse tank and he will carry all of it here <laughs> Unit ready. Alright. Baby is fine now. All all fine, all fine. Wife managed to do that. Shoutouts to my wife taking care of the kids. Unit ready. Alright. The more troops over here. Just making sure that my dogs are guarding the, the places so that no spies are taking over our energy. Yeah, and now we just wait and I'm just gonna reposition some of my units and then I'm putting them all in guard mode and just scatter them a bit around. It is so interesting as I never knew all or I never oh yeah I totally forgot about it the, the trucks arrived so extra money we need that. So as a kid I never knew about the shortcuts and I always complained that how how can Warcraft 3 or Starcraft 2 have all of these mechanics but not Red Alert 2 and then hey joke on me they have those mechanics but they are all well behind <laughs> shortcuts, so if you don't know them well, you will never have those abilities. 
Yeah, <laughs> which is Unit unfortunate. <laughs> Unit ready. Should have read the menu. menu. <laughs> On hold. Oops. You're a kid. You don't think about it, right? Yeah, you know. Waiting order. Unit ready. All right. Yeah. Next attack in 40 seconds. We just scattered some more flak troopers. As you can see, we just have them all around the place, so we should get all of the air units for sure. I hope so. Oh, there you go! There's the apocalypse tank. Ta-da! I hope you guys are happy now. <laughs> the, ch the chat was very polarized about it. Some people were very excited and some people were like, hopefully the mission ends before it gets built. <laughs> yeah. I hope you are very satisfied, chat, because there is your apocalypse tank. I'm making sure, I, or I'm trying to get it on level 3, but I can't promise it because, well, there are gonna be a lot of troops spawning and I am not sure if I can take care of it. Because we're, we still, uh, there you go, there is another attack, so yeah, there is gonna be an attack here soon. Uh, but we'll see. Oh no, one of the... Uh, parasuiters got through, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Oh no, engineers. But we, we have Dovas here, and I'm just gonna get some Tesla troopers up here, just in case. Maybe I'll get some extra dollars. Unit ready. You never go wrong with right? Yeah. Never can do anything wrong. Oh. It's it's so satisfying to see the amount. Okay, actually, or miner, do your job. Get the engineers. <laughs> yeah, also there are the tanks happening. Uh, Tesla troopers, please. Go attack. Oh no, no, no! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> we, have, we have way, way enough uh, war facilities. Just It's nice to have them to produce faster, but... At this point, we should be fine. Also, I'm, okay. There you go. Just making sure that the engineers are not gonna take over my build buildings. That would be pretty unfortunate. <clears throat> but everything worked fine. All right, cool. So I'm then bought back over here. Da -da. Yeah, and we are just scattering some more units over here. Same here. And now we wait for three minutes for the next wave to come. Charging up. Alright. I think... I'm not sure right now, I haven't paid a lot of attention. It might be the last wave, or there might be another wave after this. Uh, nonetheless, we are almost done with this mission, so hey, good job! And then, we are getting some faster missions, so don't worry about it too much. There's only oh, one. <laughs> Also, I, I don't know how many of you guys have kids or are parents, but it's always hilarious to me to see. Like, one moment they're screaming like crazy, and the next moment they're laughing like like crazy. I, I, it's like it's like a switch, but yeah, you know. Just FYI, for your information. I don't know how to abbreviate it right now. <laughs> Alright. Some extra guards here and there, just to make sure that nothing happened. But yeah, as you can see, we have a lot of flag troopers. And we're just gonna build some more. Ready, comrade. Waiting order. Also, I just realized they are not getting full supplies of ore. So I'm just gonna send them over. No, no, get full ore. Okay, yeah, full ore, you don't have full ore. Go. I don't understand why the AI does that sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that is actually the last wave. Alright, then after that we are done with this mission, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, this should be enough, I think. Um, okay, yeah, it is. Good. So then there's gonna be some more forces coming here, so I'm just gonna gather them again. Because the, one of the issues uh, with, the, with the guard mode is they're gonna follow the unit until it is destroyed. So what they're gonna do is they're driving all the way over where the parasuiter uh, airplane is and 
I need them actually at their spot, but well, that's how it works. Yeah. Alright. Okay, almost done. Who needs a main building to build more buildings? You just need all these forces, alright? Yeah, this should be. Yeah, last spawn here, last spawn there. Oh no! Oh! The tank, the tank got through, but it should. Oh no! Alright. He's fine. I'll just send some units over here. Yeah, and I think that is the only tank who just got through. Yeah, okay, there you go. And we're done with this defense mission. Yay! Okay, back to speed. So, since we have done all these slow missions. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a mixture of old strats and the Build Anywhere glitch strats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm sending over my troops to the north where I need to destroy the, this building and I'm gonna build a safety way where I'm gonna build uh, sentry guns to destroy it from behind and build some extra troops. So how it works is I'm gonna build an infantry uh, a barracks here so that I get access to the sentry gun and while I do this, I'm gonna get over here with my Apocalypse tanks and the normal Rhino tanks to destroy all of the energy facilities, which allows me then to basically um, avoid all of these Tesla Tesla um, Tesla towers. There you go. You are a full general. Oh, fill anywhere. Boop. You will never capture General Vladimir. Oh no. Okay, then I'm just gonna do this. Destroy all of these. And... Come on. Sentry gun. There you go. And I'm gonna get some Tesla troops. That is important because there's there are some sand backs. And they block you from basically uh, go, uh, attacking them directly. Also, I'm getting some extra sentry guns to just to do some extra damage. And yeah. We're almost done with this mission. He's fried. And as you can see, I'm getting all of my troops over, and now I'm gonna spam some conscript and do all of the damage. That went pretty good. So, and ta-da! The building is destroyed. There you go. Before that, this, this map was also very hard. You had to use your MVC vehicle to get one of the, the drones to capture it, so that your tanks are not getting destroyed and then you destroy all of the energy plants and then attack the main building so that you don't lose a lot of DPS and basically your MVC was your tank. Uh, we don't need to do this risky strat anymore because we can just yeah combine the strat which is amazing. Also one of my favorite maps uh, we need to well take over the president. Listen to me you Soviet scum you can root around all you want but you'll never find me and you'll never take me! You call yourself a general? <laughs> We're laughing at you, Red! Ah. Shoutouts to all of these amazing cutscenes of Red Alert, or all, or even the older Command and Conquerors. I find it just amazing, especially when I think how, how well they aged, even though it's such an old game at this point. Absolutely, yeah, like, the, the cutscenes in uh, the older Command Conquer games are so... Yeah. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, I need to restart this mission. I needed that vehicle. Oh, actually, I could have taken a... Ah, it doesn't matter. It's fine like that. Um, I need that rocket tank thing. I forgot the name again. I'm sorry for that. To destroy the wall. So we're gonna make a hole in the wall and then we get one of our units in and just take over one of the seals or the president directly and win this map there is a very very risky strat which i love to to see but i, I can't pull it off where you put all of your units in that vehicle you drive over to all of those seals on the right it will destroy and blow up and then you just take over the president it just takes four to five seconds to do this but it's so risky uh, I, I will not do that my command is Good to go. All right. Let's do it the second time. So we're taking care of the dogs. So we're just making sure that they're not gonna kill the the Yuris because uh, dog units can insta kill any of the infantries. So we just need to make sure that this doesn't happen. 
Um, that's not what I wanted. Oh, okay, never mind. Doggo ate my GDI. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Now we just need to wait and destroy this wall so we can send over one of the Yuris and try to take over the president, which is this unit. Uh, but first, I'm gonna take the seal because the seal is a sniper and they're pretty, pretty bad. Alright. Let's see. Let's send them over. Okay, that's good enough. And take over. Thank you. As you can see, this. I've taken over and. Ta da! We're done! Oh! Luckily, the second try worked fine. Alright. Another mission which changed drastically with a Build Anywhere glitch. So what I'm uh, what I'm gonna always do is I'm comparing the original strat with a Build Anywhere glitch because a lot of people sometimes come into the stream or are wondering like, hey, isn't the game like a bit boring with a Build Anywhere glitch? And I can guarantee you it is not. It is amazing if you can do it fast and if you can pull it off with RDS elements. Especially certain maps, you just need to do both at the same time. And that is what I love about it. Like in some cases, like in in Tiberian Sun, it is, there is one map where you need to defend, build a base, make sure that you destroy every unit, and then you need to do everything at the same time while you're also getting attacked. It is so much fun to pull that off if you can do it. Um, so I can guarantee you that it's a lot of fun. But regardless to all of that, so what we need to do is we need to take over this battery, this lab here, and uh, we know where, where to... Oh, come on build our barracks so we can do this fast but as said oh no i'm not getting my location like here okay i can do a backup strat with a tesla coil yeah let's do that so we can see the map oh yeah there you go and now what we're gonna do is ta -da, get this and getting some defenses here. And what we're gonna do is like we're getting a lot of conscripts to take over this part of the island. It is very important. Okay. Also we're gonna take care of this Tesla tower. Oops. And then we're gonna build a lot of conscript. So there's one mechanic in this map. Once you take over this battery um, battle lab, uh, you will. Oh wow, they managed to destroy it. You will manage to. Uh, um, all right. Uh, you will manage to see the other part of the map, and that is where we need to get going. So we're gonna do that. Okay. Getting some more. I'm gonna also build some extra units. Oh no. Oh no, we're going the way wrong way. That's a bit unfortunate. But it's also not a big big deal because we can do this. Okay, we can. Okay, get the conscript over there. Oh, it's not too bad. We got a promotion. And we're gonna build another sentry gun over here. And it got immediately destroyed. Never mind. Oh no! No, it, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Could have gotten better, but it's fine. And yeah, we're gonna spam a lot of barracks because we need the barracks for later. Okay, there you go, now everything's fine. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna destroy these Tesla towers. And also we need to get some NGs to infiltrate one of the, these buildings and the battery, better, battle lab, battery lab. Why do I want to say battery lab? I'm play, I play too much this X because there is a battery lab. Anyways, so what we what we need is one certain unit, and that is the Rocketeer. The Rocketeer is very helpful because in the next part of the map, we're gonna do a certain trick where we need to destroy it, and it's heavily guarded. It has a lot of air defenses, and it has a lot of ground defenses. But there is a little trick we can do. We can build a sentry here, and there is no guards. There are no guards here, and then we're gonna build tons of Rocketeers and destroy the weather control system from inside without worrying about extra enemies. Alright. Oops. And now we're gonna build a lot of Rocketeers, and while we're doing that, I'm also going to build more barracks so we can produce faster. So let's go. 
So, in the old strat, we needed to build rocket tiers, plus the, we took air over this airbase, which allowed us to build some of the... Uh, I don't know what they're called, the Black Hawks. Uh, and they, those allowed us to destroy the weather control system while we use the rocket tiers as tanks. But we don't need to do that, we can just do it faster now, like this. And now we're gonna do, send all of them over in a one, one kamikaze attack while they're all getting attacked. And if we do enough damage, we're done with this mission. Which is great. Also, we used all of our money, so we better get that. And yeah, we got it. Easy. Alright. And another mission done. Also, I love how the game said, okay, it takes two hours to do this mission and we just made five. <laughs> you, you will see that in the last mission as well, where it says like, oh, best time, two hours and 30 minutes. I don't think so, but I will I will prove it to you soonish enough. Okay, Yuri is bad, so we need to destroy this building. And so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna just send over my units over here, and we're not gonna use them at all. What we're gonna do is we're building sentry guns in the enemy base and destroy it from inside. In the old route, we took care of all the energy, so we don't need to worry about the Tesla towers, and then you sent over your Kirovs and your Apocalypse tanks and the Rhino tanks. But as said, we can do it now faster. The best way is if you can get three sentry guns, because that is maximum damage you can get before the building destroys gets destroyed. Uh, if you're unfortunate, you might lose one of them, but we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm immediately gonna repair them, and two of the extra sentry guns for damage will be in range of the Tesla towers. So that is pretty bad, and we're just gonna make sure that to immediately repair it to do all the, ma the maximum damage. But it seems to be working. So, the Yuri's coming, but we don't need to worry about the Yuri's. And, alright, we are fine, we got maximum damage, that's pretty good. And yeah, well, this way you took, we took care of the mission and we're done. <laughs> so, last mission coming in. So yeah, 1 hour and 45 minutes, well, I, I didn't look at my time because I had to go fast, but yeah. As you can see, this goes very, very quickly. Alright. Here we do a conscript rush, so we don't have a lot of resources, our base is later getting attacked and what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to scout with one of the sentry guns where we roughly need to go and I'm building another one for later because that is also important to... Oh, uh, to... Okay, oh we got the location, so that's good. Um, because we're getting attacked at our home base and I don't want it to get destroyed, so I'm building a sentry gun as like a backup and I'm gonna spam barracks once again to get faster conscript going and then we're gonna rush to the chronosphere and destroy it I'm gonna go a bit risky and I build hmm, yeah another another barracks and then it should be fine I could go for five yeah I think I'll go for five actually should be okay we, because we placed the barracks in a correct position so we're not getting attacked and we can just spam the conscript and we should be fast enough with the uh, two sentry guns to guard us to produce more units before our money runs out anyways. Alright, but this is already good enough, so we're gonna start the attack. So there's the chronosphere and it's heavily guarded, as you can see there are like uh, the pull pillbox, the te uh, Tesla? No, um, what are they called? I forgot the name, wait. Prism Towers, ah! The prison towers and then we're just gonna get, go and destroy the chronosphere. Okay. Come over my units. And fun fact, some of the conscripts can attack the these Tesla towers. Uh, prison towers, I'm sorry. Uh, because they're on higher ground, uh, but not all of them as you can see. So they're just going back and forth and we're gonna take care of it, which allows us to destroy it very quickly. So we're just gonna do this, spam attacking, just to make sure that we're getting all of them, and there you go. Then we're gonna take care of this, uh, what is it called? Patriot missile. And now all the way is free, so we can send our units to destroy the chronosphere. And we're gonna do that. Oh, please, build more conscripts. Alright, also we got some upgraded units and they survive, that is really good for extra damage and for their range. All right, and yeah, make yourself ready for time and time. Yeah, and that's it. We're done with Red Alert 2. Awesome. Yeah, two, 
Two hours and 20 minutes is what the game said. Well, we need two hours, uh, two minutes and 47 seconds. <laughs> that is a very long two hours. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as I said, Tiberian Sun is very similar to the Red Alert 2 speedruns nowadays. Uh, if you're interested in learning any of the Command and Conquer games, we have a Discord where all where our tutorials, where people will help you. And for Tiberian Sun and Red Alert 2, there's also the down patcher and the virtual machine. So you don't need to worry about all the setup. And as I said, we are very friendly and help you guys out. So yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for having a Command and Conquer showcase. I'm very happy about that getting some love for the RTS genre, as I'm a huge fan of RTS games. And yeah, keep joining. If you want to watch more, as I said, there are Command & Conquer runners everywhere. I do them as well. Yeah, that's it from my side. That's it. I'm Hanky and bye-bye. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming on and showing the run. This was an awesome run. You did a great job, so thank you so much. Uh, we do have more games in the series coming up. Uh, next, we have Red Alert 3 Co-op. So we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back with that in just a few minutes. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. This is our Command & Conquer Community Showcase. We have a bunch of games in the Command & Conquer series being showcased today. Right now we have Red Alert 3 Co-op. I will uh, let the runners introduce themselves. Hey everyone, it's Poochies and Master Maul. Say hello Master Maul. Hello. Hello everyone. Uh, we're big time Red Alert 3 speedrunners. We do pretty much all of it. Um, I mean, Master Mall? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've definitely got more sort of runs. There's a lot of runs, obviously. You've got Red Alert 3 and you've got the expansion. I've been running pretty much all of it. So I've got uh, a lot of the records. And basically, me and Poochie sort of went back and forth with the Soviet campaign here, um, taking records off of each other, individual level records. And eventually we just decided to team up and, you know, do the cart run and it ended up being really quick. So uh, that's what we're going to be showing off today. All right. We know little about so we're going to get started here. We're going to do mission one. Do a countdown here. When you guys are ready. Yeah, All right. Yeah, it's first black screen, Oh, first right? frame of the... Yeah, first black screen. So you'll so see here. Like a one second load and it'll be black screen and you can start. Here we go. Okay. Hopefully no lag. Uh, obviously, there's a cart run, so there can be lag. It depends on what the server's up to. Like that. So, yeah, all kind of... Uh, little jitters at the start. I mean, it's not so bad for mission one, but hopefully it isn't too much of an issue later on. So, mission one... Uh, is a little. If you're quick enough here, you can avoid that first little cutscene, mini cutscene that Natasha is forced to move forward. Um, so we shoot this down, kill these guys, and then Master Maul. He's unfortunately he's pretty useless on this mission, so he's gonna yeah. he's gonna kill some uh, thing clusters for me, save me a little bit of time here. Um, my goal is to not do that. Let's see if I can get five for one or four for one. There we go. Nice, yeah, nice. I picked that up. Fortunately. Uh, and then we're going to build some flak troopers here. we got to build five ASAP. Yeah, immediately get the uh, flak troopers going because that's what starts the next cutscene. Then i got to open up this stuff right here. Uh, pave the way for the uh, tsunami tanks to come in nice and easy. What? Oh, I kept all my all six com strips alive. That was weird. Don't normally do that. Oh, yeah, uh, mission anyway, one. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just basically going to be standing around. I'm going to be killing units that attack the fortress. The fortress is basically invincible, though, so my job here is basically to do nothing and uh, watch Poochies do the run. Um, it's weird because this game was designed for COT, but the first mission that you're supposed to... Oh, the first campaign that you're supposed to play, and uh, the co-commander doesn't really do a lot. Um, but yeah, pretty hard to lose. Just got to make sure that Poochies doesn't lose Natasha here. In, in some cases, you legitimately cannot lose. Um, if you yeah. take Natasha low health on that first phase before the door opens, she actually cannot die. So the rest yeah, of the run, she just doesn't die. <laughs> How are you doing on promos? I actually have got two rank ups already. That's right, quite great. lucky, actually. One thing that I can do is if I get, a, I, we need a, uh, we need a few heroic uh, flat troopers because they, they get at the end of this mission we're going to be fighting some battleships that come in, and uh, only the rank up 
troopers are able to hit the battleships, or some of them anyway, and that speeds things along because the only other person that can uh, destroy them is Natasha, and obviously Natasha can only kill so many at a time. So, oh yeah, that's my rank up. Don't always get it. Normally you have to let pushes do it. Two rank ups, I'm getting really lucky today. Okay. Don't forget the building. Corner. I'll just do that. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Every time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Finally, just get these buildings you have out one of the way, job. just so all throw guys an easy. You literally just I'm stand sorry, here for okay. seven minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. But yeah, so we just get this stuff out of the way so that the uh, flat, uh, what is it, the bullfrogs come and um, pushes can path a bit easier through the. Is out of the way. Do not be too pleased with yourself. The real attacks are only about to begin. Insufficient funds. Yeah, so here comes so, the bullfrog. Yeah, there's going to be a bullfrog coming up. We're going to take, um, take a ride and just travel down south here. Russia's most precious historical treasures. Saving it will go a long way in giving our people hope at this dark hour. New so I'll stop my guy out of the way. Go. Thank you, sir. And um, yeah, so we've got the first bonus objective here. Obviously, we're not going to be going for bonus objectives most of the time, but this one is compulsory for some reason, so it's not really a bonus objective. Um, but yeah, so we'll be doing there. So and uh, we're I, playing on easy difficulty, I should, we should probably bring it up. Yeah, I'm about to try and pull a four in one shot oh, here. Right, it's yes, kind of difficult, of but let's see if I got Yeah, I got it. Okay. That, nice, that's nice, yeah. So four in one kill, obviously. It Natasha saves units. another round in her chamber, you know, so. Yeah. Two, three seconds, it's not a big deal, but it's a difficult shot. Right Natasha gets fired oh, right back oh, over oh, to oh, the oh, island. Oh, oh. As long as you can get her back in there, yeah, there you go. And uh, yeah, so we're playing on easy difficulty. Um, a little different from, from what Raokun and Covert Muffin did last time. Um, but basically it still comes down to on speedrun.com, there's no separation between the difficulties. And um, the easy campaign actually only ends up being like a couple of minutes faster. So there's not going to be much, much movie change here, it's just uh, you know, a couple of missions are sort of slightly less units to deal with so lately the game wants to attack my bullfrog that's traveling down there and i okay it doesn't look like the tsunamis are chasing it this time so it should be okay but yeah lately oh, bad no, rng <laughs> and if, yeah you can see the flat tree is starting to attack these boats here so I just ignore that tank get that it's basically my whole job done um yeah so the attachers can be coming back up here once, once these two have gone, or well, that one has gone down, she gets fired from the bullfrog. And I probably shouldn't let this get beat up. And that's the first mission. Yeah, that's basically mission one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you just sit there and just watch your new guy. Yeah, these just watching Poochies do some stuff, basically. Um, yeah, obviously he starts to pick up really hard at mission three, probably the hardest mission. We're a little bit worried about that one, that's why... Uh, Okay, we've got to have some reminders to save the game at some point, just to be sure on a few of these missions. Yeah, there's a ton but, uh, of variables. Yeah, there's just... just <laughs> this game can really surprise you. You can run the same level a hundred times, and then you you run it again, and it's like, wait, that's never happened before. Why is it doing that? <laughs> and in a second, our Soviet version of Lieutenant Eva is going to pop up saying that we can use magnetic satellite here. But we already completed the mission. We don't need no magnetic satellite. Yeah. <laughs> You know you've done that bit fast if you get that di the previous dialogue where he's saying, oh, you won, well done. Um, if you get that one first, it means you've done the mission really quickly because the satellite is supposed to come in a lot earlier. Yeah. So yeah, uh, mission two is going to be fun. Uh, we essentially launch a satellite into space uh, by placing Natasha near it. Somehow, mission by the power of Natasha's mere presence, it's going to launch into space. Here we got 637. Um, that's nice. Is what was our record? Wait, is that our record? Six thirty-eight. Yeah, I think we just got a record <laughs> there by a one second. TV. Wow. <laughs> um. Okay then. I don't even know how that happened, but all right. That's pretty good. Pretty good start. Um, but yeah, uh, mission two. Uh, we have to destroy an MCV. Uh, in this case, we're gonna suck it into outer space and the power plant, and then we're gonna turn Yuriko <laughs> into sushi, or rather, the bears are gonna eat the sushi. Yuriko, yeah. <laughs> 
But I'm going to stop yeah, you so from becoming I sushi. Left. I got to take these guys out and uh, make sure they are oh, yeah. locked by the sickles. They're ready to cut you up, so I got to stop them. Yeah, I got their swords, and for some reason, swords are a lot more powerful than guns in this game, so we got to be careful here. But yeah, as long as she doesn't go down, basically all I'm doing here is walking straight to this objective because only Natasha has to get to the objective here. You have rescued a pack of trained uh, It will activate, we'll get a uh, special scouts. ability. New bonus and we use that to finish the game. This is a very quick a mission, only two minutes attack. here. So I'm going to be putting a bear up here. It's going to give me vision for killing this power plant um, when the second phase starts. And then I'm going to position these sickles here because this is where the MCV is. And we're going to, like I said earlier, we're going to launch it into outer space. It'll be pretty fun to watch. Yep, so Natasha is there. We've got to make sure to put an aggressive stance. There. Should be queued up right. Hopefully these bears are in range, they should be in range. Oh, we're fine, yeah. And it would be rude of me yep. not to introduce um, myself. And you'll see in the cutscene we're gonna be wiping out half of these buildings. You may have um, defeated Kenji. More importantly, look how, here, how many times this guy is shaking his head. <laughs> Some interesting <laughs> acting from this character right here, but yeah, so Eureka goes down immediately to those bears. Natasha is already targeting that barracks. And these sickles will cause this. this MCV to go up, and it just it immediately uh, uh, de uh, undeploys, and then because it's the first frame, it goes it sort of deploys and then goes up. But it, look, it looks like the full MCV is just being sucked up into the air. It's really funny. Um, but yeah, and then Poochie's uses his ability on the last power plant, and you just immediately end the mission there. Uh, this is probably a two nine or two ten. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty quick. Two ten. So one second off record. The time has come to drive the empire of the. So um, throughout yeah, the campaign, nice. we're going to be switching between each player's um, viewpoint. In this case, this we're going to give Master Maul the camera. Uh, he's doing a Before lot more in this port, particular mission than I am. Take this forward, so um, build a base. and that's why he's yeah, being so viewed. Basically, Poochies gets the most difficult task here of destroying the palace, and then I basically have to do everything else. So I've got to do sort of five things at the same time. It's a little tricky. Um, so this first section here, we're invading a, an island with bullfrogs and, and infantry. So um, basically, there's reinforcements that come in. So I'm sending the infantry in immediately. There's reinforcements. Raise. Um, I actually have to Kamikaze you know, one of my bullfrogs to get the reinforcements yeah. faster. <laughs> That's why that one died real quick. Kill a bullfrog, one unit goes down, and then the enemy units should come in. Oh, wait. I haven't came in yet. You have one there you go. I have to kill, yeah, kill one unit of poochies <laughs> uh, in order to call these uh, these reinforcement units in here. And keep the bears standing out here. Trying to lose every bear. I've already lost, I think, uh, too many infantry. It's not so bad, though. Oh. You know what? On the boats. Oh yeah, my infantry isn't looking great, but hopefully it won't be an issue. After uh, later on. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you should be. Yeah, I, I'll probably be fine. Clean this up a little bit. Starting to move in the boats there. I was worried about my infantry. Uh, it's one ore collector left, which was slow on this is one anyway. There you go. So that's the that's island cleared. I was. That's why suiciding some of your own infantry is just a lot faster. So the developers thought it'd be cool to not build in an RTS game for the first two missions, and only now <laughs> we're able to build, so that's what we're going to start doing. <laughs> yeah. So you can see here I've deployed immediately instead of coming onto this island, because I actually, we don't actually need refineries. We don't need to make money on this mission, um, because we can, we can basically win the mission with our starting resources, which is why I'm deploying immediately. We have to build the first, the, the initial four buildings. Uh, before the battlefield expands. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. And obviously I use the range from Poochies in order to build my barracks on the island. So I've only... This is a great... Well, I've only got eight units there. Let's build this. Um, I, I'm pro it shouldn't be an issue because I'm still at a flat troopers. I'm just a little bit worried about that uh, later on. Make sure there are four refinery because in the way of Poochie's all in there. So I went for this come up with the stingers. So this is a strategy I came up with about five years ago. There's a corner of the map you're going to see in a second. I'm going to take these bullfrogs I have. I'm going to, well, you're not going to see them. You're on 
Master Maul's uh, viewpoint, but um, I take two yeah. of them. I launch them. There's just a very little amount of space where you can do it, and um, it saves a ton of time. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to get up to eight stingrays here. Um, in fact, I'm going to get seven. You know, okay, one of them has got here. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got to listen to this part. <laughs> here we go. Prove him wrong. And with that, I am Team going to do a just, quick save. Yeah, go ahead and save. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. I don't have to remind you. Yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, two, two engineers in here. One of them guys up here. So I'm going to go in. So I'm doing about five things at once here. I'm moving. We've got Bullfrog and engineers. One of the stingrays is going on its own. I can keep these guys alive. These stingrays are moving up. I can. I can these now. Got to be careful with this. It's a nice little movement. We've got three tanks coming in. That's a bit of a weird uh, way for tanks to come in. So we got Using some special abilities here. We got good RNG here. All my troopers went in. Uh, give me a second. We're gonna do orbital strike. Yep. All right. When you're ready. So uh, we trigger the building here, the tower. Do a. Um, I forgot the is it nano swarm is it called? My palace. And uh, it really basically it it you delays us by like 15 seconds here, so we trigger it now. So by the time my black troopers are up here in this tower, which again I know you guys are insane, um, it's gonna speed up the game pretty dramatically. It's risky though. There's a the strategy is pretty RNG heavy, like right now. Oh gosh. It's just right. Oh. I so this should is be saying, fine. Basically. Yeah. Oh, we're waiting. We're waiting. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Oh, you still got to take out that naval yard, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. On the way. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely a little bit slow here, but I don't think it's going to matter. And you see, I'm capturing all these buildings, destroying the world, moving my starter infantry. I'm over here. Ooh, there's a lot to do. Generally, it all goes well. I'm just yeah. capturing this final building up here. Did a good job. And there. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, we skip a dialogue by destroying the palace before everything else. And yeah, that's basically the mission. We just sort of go in and snipe all the buildings. It's pretty tough on... Um, glad that it went well. It does not always go well with this palace. It's very RNG dependent. Okay. So mission four requires us to destroy a building, a Geneva building, and little essential buildings, allied bases and such. Later, we get to destroy more of the Alliance base here, um, but with the added bonus of using Natasha. 525. Not bad. So I experimented heavy on this mission with. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we on Leningrad? We're on Leningrad. Stop, stop, stop. No, we're not. Wait. Oh, am I getting bugged? Okay, I'm, I was. Oh, it literally gave me the me. Leningrad dialogue as well. I, I thought we were on mission one. Oh. I had the map and the dialogue playing. <laughs> oh, wow. See, yeah, this is kind of crazy bugs that we're on about. Like, this CNC online is a bit dodgy sometimes. Uh, we all the disconnects, but at least we got into the mission. Without disconnecting. So you there. should be viewing me if I'm not mistaken right now. Um, this may only basically, be yeah, I'm going to build Natasha. It's going to be fun. To We're going to destroy things at the top. Uh, normally you can't do that, but uh, I have a smart code commander in this case. <laughs> uh, oh, get that building. So uh, basically, here uh, is a very easy mission for me. I'm basically just going to be spamming tanks and taking out a couple of buildings. I don't actually do too much here. Um, and I can't, can't really lose because I have way more units than the enemy. So that's what I'm going to be. So you can throw down the orbital on this turret now. Yep. And oh no, that's bad. I can't sure mostly died to that doll. Um, it's there won't be an issue, that's fine. I can recover from that. I am going to sneak in an engineer here to save some time from Master Maul destroying that MCV. Oh gosh, please go off, please go off. Our construction yard is under attack. Okay, so two out of three is really good. I'm happy about that. Um, usually there's three to destroy this. That was a little scary. <laughs> Be real with you right now. Uh, a unit is under attack. Put that back uh, sorry, in. I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't looking at that, but I'm, I'm sure I'll catch it eventually. Um, this is annoying because this building should not be up. Um, I've taken a little bit too much damage from my tanks. Finally, it goes down for this 
on strips, obviously, from in the building. We can transport our entire Navy heal up. Obviously, the secondary ability on these tanks is to heal up from structures or from enemy units, basically by attacking them. Uh, so I take my low health tanks and heal up. So that's the War Factory gone. Wow! Go. There must have been a delay on that submarine cutscene because, look. Yeah, we definitely. just skipped an entire cutscene. Allied naval threat level greater than expected. You have been authorized. So we're gonna go straight into the second phase here. Uh. There, there you go. Um, little uh, trick that I came up with. You can actually control these V fours that we're about to get before this uh, cutscene. So uh, if I spam click, I can actually get the V fours to start moving up like, right before we did that. It's harder um, for the red quicker. commander, but green commander for some reason gets an extra V four and way more reaction time leniency. So. <laughs> yeah, so you can see my guys are already walking up. Pooji doesn't really need them. Um, and you can see I've used my MCV to just to crush some things, but we're going to be deploying for this orbital bombard soon. And Good. Thank you. Yeah, we should go, yeah, that's a good idea actually, um, just because this final section can be a bit dodgy with the Natasha. Where's your bullfrog right now? It's over there. Crush those units. Bullfrog coming in. I've got to protect this bullfrog. I wasn't paying attention to this. So but again, I can't really lose. I got an engineer, Natasha, and this bullfrog. We're going to launch the rear end of the base so that way we don't lose a lot of units. It's a lot of defenses, uh, spectrum towers and such. It takes way too much time, so I was like, eh, let's do Natasha instead. So, here we are. Yeah, it was crazy how quick it is compared to anything else. Um, but the, uh, the enemy units, they basically have a bunch of Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Uh, Get out of the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I've played pretty much everything for you there. So, barrel roll uh, yeah. engineers are really cool to watch. So, there you go. Barrel rolling engineers. Anyways, I'm going to take so, out this barracks right now with Natasha. We're yeah. going to... Who cares about these Spectrum Towers? Oh, 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 get that. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. we're good. Oh. So that was a little uh, RNG there. Uh, <laughs> but we got it handled. Yeah, so they, I have a bunch of turrets that you're supposed to take out with a big... Scared me a little bit. Uh, also, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> now it's your job uh, to kill the MCV. I, I cannot do that. I don't have any V4s. Might have to reload here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Yeah, there's no way I can kill an MCV. Yeah, set off, set off. We have to reload this. That's unfortunate. Um, That's generally, you stay out of range. range yeah. yeah. Generally, you can stay out of range of these turrets. Um, so because of how Command & Conquer Online works with disconnecting, uh, the fastest way and the most consistent way without having to close the game is to sell off, uh, obviously lose the game, and then reload to the save that was, we obviously made. Thank you for the reminder, by the way. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very, very close there um, to working, but yeah, that was just that last structure, unfortunately. So hopefully we load in with no uh, disconnect issues. There we go. Yeah, I win. Yeah. Our base is under attack. Try that again oh, yeah. without okay. the shenanigans. Our ally is under attack. Yeah. Um, and yeah. units detected. Our ally is under Range there. That that did seem a bit sketchy with all, all the dogs coming in as well. Yeah, like yeah usually I'm pattern. pretty okay with not getting invaded like that, but I don't know what happened there. Low power. Enemy base detected. Oh, got to get rid of these. Okay. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Did I block you? <laughs> no, no, you, uh, you stopped the tank right away so I could get through there. Alright, oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, let's try this again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is still an APC, or, okay, he's he's going away, so. Yeah, I don't know. One time fluke, I guess. Yeah, this seems like a better loadout now. The dog behind you, though. What, dude? Behind you? Dude. Man, you're scaring me with these. <laughs> you are scaring me with these. <laughs> Man. All right, now we're good. <laughs> I'm hoping this is good. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good this time. We did it. All right, we made it through. Uh, make sure our buildings don't go down now. I think we're okay. Yeah, the pirates are still alive here. Oh, man. <laughs> Again, another sketchy mission, but it gets a little bit... E I, I wouldn't say easy for me, at least. Mission 5 is a bit tricky, but it's difficult to lose on, I suppose. 
So, uh, oh, yeah, I love I'm scaring you. Now. Uh, you really? That like, you were waiting for the last second to kill that dog? I was <laughs> worried. <laughs> or sixteen. Oh, okay. Or sixteen. I mean, this is, this time it's obviously just the reload. Uh, but still got plenty of time. We did uh, prepare for this in our estimated time. Uh, this run. If it goes well, it should be around 50 minutes, but obviously we've prepared, so we can reload a few times and be fine. So this mission's fun. Uh, we're, just, we're supposed to expand the islands. We're just going to use Sputniks, just move past that objective. And then um, Master Maul is going to have vision for... Uh, or you guys are going to view Master Maul's perspective for this mission. He's going to be doing a lot. I'm just doing the basic thing. It's called a, It's a really unique strategy. We're going to be using Twin Blades for this mission. Yeah, Twin Blades are a pretty good unit. So the strategy for the solo campaign and the red commander for the co-op literally doesn't change. But um, co-commander is going to be doing all the... I, don't know, I, I keep forgetting the names for the life of me. Spark, I just call them Sparky Tanks at this point. But uh, what, 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 Stingray, thank you. Stingrays. I like I like Sparky Tank. Yeah, uh, I just sound better. I'm um, just focusing up a little bit on this set at this early bit because it is quite tricky for me. So I want to get a ball frog out soon. So we kill this first power yes. plant um, next to Master Mall. Uh, you're not seeing it on my screen. Or maybe you are at the bottom right corner, right? should be a webcam perspective, a little version of me. Well, well, you just picked up my tank, but that was an accident, my bad. What? Uh, you picked up one of my units. Um, Can you put that down somewhere? Um, um okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Here you go. Um, the webcam perspective was a little oh. difficult yeah. to get working, so I'm going to Okay, it's live. Yeah. Anyway, that was my bad. I, uh... Oh, wait. Where's... Oh, no, my... Oh, that's bad. It's gone. Okay, I'm going to rebuild, and... I can rebuild, I think, so it should be okay. This is going to be slow, though. But, I get but it. yeah, just take your time on that base. Okay. Let's just for the fifth power plant. I'm pretty sure my bullfrog just walked into the range of these turrets, and because I delayed the, uh, what is it, the twin blade from moving in, uh, the turret was still up, and my bullfrog uh, Orbital strike when you bad. can. Okay, I'm gonna get my bullfrog out as well. Yeah, I haven't had that one happen before. <laughs> See, it's what I said at the beginning, all this, uh, all these things, I mean, that was definitely my mistake, but... All these things that can happen. Hey man, at least like, you didn't. Uh, at least you didn't kamikaze a Yuri Seven to a dolphin. Oh yeah. <laughs> like some people we know. Uh, meta, meta reference, don't worry about that. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So these these two islands we have to expand to. So I've just expanded the second one. I think she's already cleared out the base. My bullfrog is only just sort of going up there, so it's going to take a little while. Um, but that does uh, at least give us the opportunity. You load all of these twin blades with stingrays, which is what I normally do here. Um, and this is going to be for the final base clear. Um, so bubble force is coming in soon. Uh, basically, we're going to be capturing this uh, little area here. I probably should have left, like, maybe only two engineers, but I suppose it doesn't matter. Uh, you're still doing well with it. Oh yeah, good idea, sending twin blades back. Yeah, so um, yeah, when, was, the, when the run yeah. gets slow, they automatically target my base and then I die. So I sent some of my twin blades back to defend my buildings and we're good now. So Now it's just a matter of sending that engineer straight on over to the tech. So the funny thing, I have this theory that these turrets, they usually one-shot engineers, but in this particular case, in solo, the co-commander has to do this. You can't do this yourself. So the co-commander, you know, it's a computer, terrible AI, terrible, not a good player. So these deliberately were designed to miss the engineer and just the engineer could just walk right in. Although there has been a weird, rare occurrence where his engineer will just start doing push-ups and not do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's happened a couple of times. The engineer will just sort of wait outside, tanking hits from all the turrets. Legit, will just sit, not not stand, he will lay down and just do push-ups. <laughs> lay like down. 30 seconds straight. <laughs> It's like, you think this is bothering me? You, you sent four turrets to deal with an engineer, you fools. All right, so right now we're going to um, send over these twin blades with all of the sparky tanks. Yeah, we've got a lot of tanks here. in here this time. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
generally, uh, you're expected to sort of wait for five minutes so you can see the timer down at the bottom. Um, but because... Um, oh, oh, and, oh, 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 oh. Uh, end the game a lot sooner. That's oh, exactly oh, what we're going to be doing, oh, oh, obviously. Oh, 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 uh, oh, that's a oh, bit of an... Oh, oh. oh! Send it over to the MCV. Uh, I think I should go for the MCV. Yeah. Uh, not a big enough uh, stuff to take out here. I, obviously, I send a couple of engineers I'll go in. bottom. Uh, yeah, I sent a couple of engineers in uh, just to help clear this base out a little quicker. Uh, is there anything yeah, else? Yeah, there's one infantry right here. There we go. Just that, yeah, okay. Okay, yep, yeah, nice clear. And that's basically the level. So, I suppose it's and for all of you guys who don't know movie trivia, this guy was in Star Trek 2009. He was one of the suicide <laughs> pair drop guys that went with Kirk and Zulu. That was pretty much his biggest role in uh, acting. So. Cool okay. I saw right. that movie. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, when they're going down to the drill and they're parachuting down to it? The Allies European. Maybe I need to rewatch this movie. Nothing you just said <laughs> remained. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, mission six. Um, we build a yeah. base like no other. Um, we have unlimited resources. And then uh, General Kukov essentially comes in and uh, he steals our money because he's a communist. That's what he does. Um, <laughs> So uh, we built a ton, so when he steals our money, we sell off the buildings and we get to retain some of that money. Yeah, another you sort of easier mission, thankfully. After that, I'm a bit uh, shaken up. That was a bit tricky to, to improvise all of that. Um, but yeah, back onto it. You can't really lose this mission. Because we get so much money at the start, obviously 100,000. Um, we obviously build up, uh, we're going to be using a unique strategy here. We're actually going to be building some twin blades. Uh, yeah, they're a pretty good unit, if we haven't said it already. And maybe some turrets. I forgot to put my first one, but it's fine. Just some turrets in the water here because they can send units in. Uh, it's, there's a lot of sort of luck in what units they build and send at you at what times. So sometimes turrets the turrets I build here will kill some of the vindicators, and they will legit kamikaze into my engineers over here. I have a video on <laughs> yeah. YouTube of that at the beginning, and I don't. I, oh. It's frustrating. <laughs> construction complete. New construction options. Oh, let me build it, please. Oh, I built that in a really weird place. Building. The lag hasn't been before. I mean, it's it's happening. It's, it's, <laughs> it's definitely happening. <laughs> um, yeah. So getting all these buildings up, I just needed to get a couple of parts up. There you go. Oh, and so this is where sometimes I'm gonna have to demasculate. Um, Master Maul, he has a tendency to forget. Oh, 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 oh! As soon as I say that, I start dying. Oh, 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 oh! Okay. Anyways, he has a problem getting engineers for, into the MCV. Let's see if he does it. Yeah! Hey, it went in, it went in first try without him even having to shuffle it around. Uh, that guy is not normally that good. Alright, so uh, we, we like to build a lot of engineers here because. Some of them will die along the way for my particular section of the second half. As the ranking commander of this operation. Yeah, so Krupa comes in, still with all, all our resources. Obviously, we've got hell and of twin blades up at this point. So in and, retaliation, uh, we decide to destroy him. Yeah. You know, you steal I mean, our he, money. He, he comes in, he steals a hundred grand from someone. Right. Exactly. It's just rude. We have discovered the malignancy within, Commander. The is so I'm going to be capturing this MCV here soon. If you haven't been keeping track, um, the Premier, Kurdenko here, he, he just fell. And he's really angry right now. That's why he's bleeding on his forehead. So he wants to take it out on Krukov here. We got to time it precisely here. Yeah. Um, you go too early, we can target it, but it does no damage. Oh. Oh, I don't want Alex and Dice with the engineers. No big deal. Uh, yep, yeah, so obviously Poochies gets all these, because he's the main commander, he gets all the Krukos buildings once he oh, dies yeah, there. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, you can sell them off, yeah. I can sell a couple of these off now, I think. So, I hope they don't get chased by too many Apollos here. Uh, again, it doesn't really matter on co op, because you have so many twin blades. And the battlefield expands, a bunch of structures we have to destroy. Well, in my particular case, I'm going to be capturing uh, these structures. And then I'm going to help. Yeah. 
Uh, I gotta help you capture this super yeah. weapon. Yeah. So that's done. We destroyed the barracks, and that should be it. But yeah, there we go. Just capturing the super weapon. We got the yeah. That should be everything. And uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you can abuse the fact that they give you so many resources at the beginning, this mission plan is really, really easy. That's a weird dialogue to have at the very end, but uh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 406, not bad. So much dialogue queued up. Uh, yeah, so mission 7 here. Okay, so this mission is particularly beautiful. Um, the, premier the Premier has told us to invade Mount Fuji, so the most logical place to invade it is... Assault right where it's most heavily Yoshiro's fortified. <laughs> so you'll see right this guy now. sends a bunch of paper planes in with like conscripts and bears and just expects to invade Japan with it. I don't understand. With, it. with little to no oh, fuel. Like... If you watch carefully, the last plane actually doesn't get hit. It just falls out of the sky. It's out of fuel. <laughs> I'm starting to think that right here, look, the Premier see? just didn't want these guys to fly. Like, he just falls over. It just falls over. Like, what you... Okay. But anyway, we have a bear and a cold script. This first bit is a bit... Watch, like, watch, so... watch her, watch her. She just looks at the camera like, did we cut yet? Did we cut? Watch. <laughs> Do I keep typing? <laughs> so, um... So yeah, we, we, we listen to Tim Curry, we do this, and now we're, we're left with one uh, conscript and one bear. And we're supposed to kill the uh, Emperor here. The cool thing a lot of people don't realize, if you look closely when um, Master Maul kills the bear, or the bear, kills uh, the fake Emperor, it is actually a robot. And you can see a little signal going out when he when the death animation takes place. That's a little um, sneak peek into the Empire campaign. I'm just going to spoil it for you guys. Um, J.K. Simmons, the U.S. president, is actually controlled... Uh, by the Empire, he is a robot. So you get to see the first uh, robot here with the Emperor. Later, get you get here. to see J.K. Simmons be a robot. Ready to fight for Union. I go. Yeah. So uh, looking for some good parting orders. The only thing we can really speed up here is where this guy paths. So hopefully he'll path to the right side here. Um, I've got to make sure I don't get into the tanger range here. I'm going to be careful with this. I need to watch for when Pushi destroys this. Um, so there's a, there's an Imperial Guard that comes down here and then he patrols back up and there's like a little gap, like a one second gap that you can go in between. So I'm watching right now for this objective to go down. So now... complete. Oh, that was a bit early, but it, it, it's fine. Um, yeah, obviously, if they either of those target me, I'll probably die very quickly. So if we get in here... And yeah, that's his first uh, solar section. Objective complete. There you go. And you can see there's a little robot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you can kind of see some of the infantry spamming out because my unit is way back on the east side and they're trying to capture him. <laughs> they're doing the little uh, emperor dance, I guess. Yeah, this mission is filled with little hogs like that. You'll see some in this next Enemies section here. Detected. So you can see on the map, because Pooches have captured garrison the building, so now there are random units just attacking. Use our apocalypse tanks and if you actually reload on this mission, which we might end up doing if we fail it, um, <laughs> you, you debug a lot of the enemy attack waves that come in, or you, you bug them, so it becomes a whole issue for them. It does make the mission like a fair amount easier, especially if you're playing like a, as a casual player. We do have if you, yeah, to... If you stop on this mission, reload it. <laughs> yeah. And also, we do have to uh, tread carefully. There is a couple spots in here we have to be a little slower than fast, or um, bad things happen, like docks get deployed and war factories get deployed, and we you fight without balance. We lose an incredible amount of time, is what happens. And you may understand what it takes to be a commander. So we, yes, we have to walk this part of this mission is going to be sold in this first base here. Right. New construction options. It's fine. We build 10 flat troopers just to defend the base and we'll be using them later. Uh, their mine ability, you might have seen it in the first mission, and I think uh, mission 3 for uh, is is very powerful against structures and buildings, and you'll be, yeah, you'll be seeing that once we fight this boss unit. So I am um, going to now, try and bait these uh, VXs. Here they come. Yeah, so all these units coming in. 
Got the uh, FLT. New construction options. So we need these to go down before we go with our tanks. It looks to be working. They can be pretty buggy. Hopefully he's got more anti-air coming in. Yep, worked out. Yeah, You're good. good. So I'm moving in here. Yep. Seems to be uh, doing okay. That was kind of the scariest part because those VX, VXs can really bug out and start like flying around, destroying your tanks and everything. So uh, this is a this is, this power plot is really annoying. All right, we got twin blades. We're gonna be using another strategy here. It's pretty unique. It's uh, twin yeah. blades. <laughs> this time, oh it's... yeah, another really unique strategy here. Um, I, I don't even know to this back thing. It's really not letting me. You, you just. I think um, just run them down, man. I don't know. Structure <laughs> sold. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. All right, great. Uh, yeah. Uh, this one's going to go down a little bit slow, but fine. It gives us extra time to get these twin blades out. Yeah, like I said earlier, we have to control the pace of this particular one. We go too quick, and uh, we will lose the second. Well, I guess in this case, the third phase. The second commander is uh, available for destruction. Did you really think you could walk in here and insult the Emperor with your army of circus rejects? I hear you. Basically, uh, because the way this works is all the, the enemy units, they come in with all their structures instead of having them straight away. We can just sort of slide all of this off and move my engineer in here with MCV here. There's a little bit of a bug that happens if you destroy the, this MCV too quickly. Um, then you don't officially kill it, and the MCV sort of ends like right at the back of the base over here. Um, oh, oh, got to make sure we don't the range of these VXs, because that can be the only real issue here. Okay, so we're just waiting for that phase. There you go. He's going to put his engineer in there. He's going to cap the MCV. As soon as, uh, yep, that spawns, we could sell off. Yep, as soon as this spawns, yeah. We can start the uh, last commander. As soon as you destroyed that, we were a little slow on that. That was my fault. Who are you? This wasn't supposed to happen. And Rita um, Repulsa yeah. dies. Objective complete. The unit is under attack. Probably she looks like a Power Ranger. No, no, no. The, the, the villain. The villain. The villain. You're oh, too the young villain. to remember the show. You <laughs> <laughs> keep telling me about this old man. He keeps telling me about these shows that I don't understand or know. I don't know what it's after that, but yeah. <laughs> Old man here. Um, anyway, yeah. Wow. So we, we take all of this stuff again. That's pretty quick. I've got all my. I got both tanks. Lost one of my flight troopers. But yeah, take out this final structure. And now uh, we're gonna kill the emperor. Base. Now the emperor is a little uh, funky. His movement. He literally just does whatever the heck he wants to do. Sometimes he will legit lose uses like laser eyes and one shot everything around him. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. As long as you have tanks, it's generally isn't an issue here. Because so, yeah, the, the secondary ability, they sort of suck him in so he can't run away from us, which is what he'd like to do. And we just, we send over a ton of flak troopers deliberately. It just, it quickens everything. It makes everything quick and... Well, we'll see what happens though. Yep, so just press Q, select all units and then just click on him. Uh, obviously, boss unit here, but he uh, he dies pretty quickly when you've got this amount of stuff on top of him. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, there was a strategy where you'd uh, put sort of a tank on one of his ledges, and if you sucked him into a ledge, then he'd just die instantly. But in co-op, you just kill him so quickly with all this DPS that you can just sort of stand on top of him. Exactly. The emperor is no more, and the whole empire will now topple without their leader. Hey, Church, out of curiosity, what time do we have right now for RTA? Uh, 40... you're about 41. Oh, not so bad, given what we had to do in Mission 4. Yeah, it's gone pretty well, actually. Only one reload, it's not too bad. 821. <clears throat> so Mission A here, there's, uh, there's downtime at the beginning. Um, but we have a really interesting strategy. Uh, it actually involves building twin blades here. Um, never before seen in this game. Uh, twin blades are a pretty good unit. I'm surprised we haven't used them yet. Anyway, uh, fine off here. New construction options. One thing you got to remember about this mission is taking magnetic satellite over orbital. <laughs> Normally, you take orbital. I've done it before. I've taken satellite. Before. I've taken orbital and lost the game. Like it's... every other attempt. 
New objective received. <laughs> it's not that bad. I think. All right, so yeah, we're just going to build. Um, for Rail, Coon, and Covert, we have a fun little surprise for you on this particular mission. The strategy is very fun. Construction complete. New construction options. Training. Um, let's see here. Oh, and uh, just to spoil it, Tim Curry decides to kill us because, well... Because <laughs> of reasons. Reasons. Um, We're just too good, uh, literally the reason. Master Maul and his um, good luck, probably. New construction options. Exactly. That's what, what I was thinking, too. Intimidated. Oddly enough, um, Tim Curry looks like my uh, father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's really weird to Ooh, see him angry that? like that at me on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy force composition not yet known. Like Observe awfully, awfully looks a lot arrive. like him. It's scary. The emissary will be arriving by sea. Be but yeah, um, the developers thought air, this campaign was going too long, so they thought let's put a five-minute countdown so they can do a, you know a restroom break, and that's why they implemented mission eight. So we're just going to sit here for about five minutes and stare at the base. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be uh, using a sort of... I don't know if, it's, I don't know if you call it a bug, but you can actually... Oh, gosh. You set a rally off the screen. Hold on, I'm going to show him right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, yeah, you're building structures in the water. So, yeah. Railcoon and Gobert, check it out. We, I discovered you can build off screen here. You can't do that in other missions. For some reason, you can do it in this mission. And so what I decided to do was build a bunch of Dreadnoughts right next to the Allied best base that spawns to the west. And the Dreadnoughts just pretty much nuke the base before we could even get there. <laughs> so um, in that case, since I have a um, battle lab being built for the Dreadnoughts, I thought, hey, let's bring out Natasha again. So Natasha will be taking out the vacuum imploder on the third phase. New construction options. As you can see here, if I just carefully position building. my mouse, boom, it's being built. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the, the lag is, is great. It's I'm telling you, Edvin, now. the administrator for CNC Online, he sees this okay. run. Maybe he wants yeah. to shut down. Is it conspiracy? It's not a conspiracy. <laughs> no, no, it's not a conspiracy. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. He's afraid of, we're going to take his emperor run. Construction it's real. New construction options. We're gonna play it. Training. We're gonna play it. <laughs> we're not even playing. Come on, we're gonna play. You wouldn't do that to us yet. Building. Right, right. Cannot deploy yeah, here. Might eventually, I'm sure. So what I'm doing, I'm getting, I want nine units over here. Uh, nine twin blades because of the aircraft carrier comes in. You can and this is a little hard to do, blades. but right, sometimes the bullfrog here. will get stuck off screen. Top, yeah. I have to spam, click him back into the screen. So here we are. Magnetic Fortunately, it works. I want to say like half the time it does not work. But I thought I'd risk it, so here we are. Sorry, I know I didn't uh, warn you. <laughs> the Allied Emissary's naval fleet is arriving soon. That's okay. He doesn't like when I do risky strategies. <laughs> no, I don't actually, because because <laughs> this yeah he has a habit of uh, building like structure sold. Is it time? Structure sold. Nice quote. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna take the magnetic satellites and just wipe these guys off the uh, the waters. Immediately jump into the second phase. He's putting um, <laughs> it, putting this, these yeah, he has a hand plates here in the corner because that's the uh, the, the what's it called the aircraft carrier that the escort or whatever the the treaty thing. Which again, I, I don't even understand the function of this this mission. This somehow destroys the Allies and makes them retreat to New York. New York. I, I don't get it. I really don't. But we, we we pretend to sign a treaty. They lose morale and then they retreat to New York. That's what. One minute remaining. No, I don't actually, because because <laughs> this yeah he has a habit of uh, building like Natasha. I should also point out, um, between transition of second to third phase, we have to be very clicky. We have to click very fast at the edge of our screens at a very particular spot 
it's going to position our units at the top of the map at the very beginning of the third phase. So for Master Maul, he'll immediately be able to take out the secret volcano fortress that you know we have to kill Dr. Evil in. And then in my case, uh, Natasha is going to be right next to the vacuum implorer uh, launched by the bullfrog. That's going to, if everything goes well, it's going to look beautiful and flawless. See what happens. Yeah, so 10 seconds here, we should save. Oh, yeah. Should save, yeah. Just in case, because uh, if you actually attack these units too early, then you have to restart the entire mission. Five minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, five minutes long. The emissary has arrived. We are making final confirmations that he is on board. Oh, I got just about got it. Attack. Eight dreadnoughts ready. So, okay, if everyone takes a look right here, it's going to look pretty hysterical. Battlefield expanded. So yeah, we just start <laughs> destroying the base immediately. <laughs> Who cares? It's already over here. Let's just one shot the MCV. One shot the MCV. Well. Yeah, I'm going to one shot the MCV. And we're done. That was it. Be advised. The allies have established yeah, and that's just basically the entire allies wiped out in like 10 seconds. Uh, right. So I get in my mouth into a specific spot here, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try not to talk so I can keep my mouse in this position here. Meanwhile, I have to get a talk down by my father-in-law. <laughs> but now I'm afraid you have outlived your usefulness. You know just enough to be a threat to me. And with that, the future of the... FYI, um, in-game level cutscenes, we cannot skip. That's why you're watching. As I can assure yeah. you, we will never meet again. I love how he's about to like laugh on every single one of these no things that he does. I do not understand. The premiere has gone mad. And I keep saying this, but Master Maul doesn't see it. Maybe the audience sees it. She looks like a UPS box to me. You must him. He's packaged and everything just like a UPS box. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I got it. I think I got the the, the click. Uh, well, I was spam clicking, so hopefully I got that there. If this works, my twin blade will be right up the volcano fortress. And Poochies will hopefully be at its position. Do you have do you have those ships? Yep, ready? they're on the I'm way, but you know how slow they're gonna be. Oh dude, I'm way good. Oh she's beautiful. Oh, good, yeah. And it looks like uh, Master Maul is way golden on his situation too, yeah, so I got mine working. Insufficient funds. One fortress structure down. Two remain. A unit is under attack. On there, two. two fortress structures Let me just get this final thing. Oh yeah, took it out already. Yeah, I took it out with I, I helped you this time with my my uh, yeah, yeah. Orbital and then he so. takes out the super weapon. Before the super weapon's even built, he takes out with his There you go. Yeah. And that's the mission. <laughs> Kill Natasha here. Uh, of course. And there we go, that's the mission. Yeah. She's useless now, you might as well just kill her. Funny how she's in a bikini, essentially. Our ally is under attack. <laughs> the developers were really smart with that, that design. <laughs> yeah, they had a lot of interest in designs in this game. All right. Anyway, uh, mission nine. This could be Final mission, the most plan, difficult one, well, not really. It's, it's actually not that bad. Pretty much We're after mission be... eight, we feel really good about mission nine. It's so easy. Yeah, mission nine is pretty easy compared to most of this. Um, we're going to be actually... So there's a, there's a few things that you have to do here. Obviously, the first section, we get to use terror drones. We just beat up a couple of refineries. I mean, they don't even fight back, so it's not that big of a, bit of a, big of a challenge for us, really. And you know how I mentioned earlier, Mission 8, we sign a fake, or we pretend to sign a treaty, and then somehow it makes them retreat to New York. This one's even worse. Um, by destroying, or I should say, by terrorizing New York with terror drones and then destroying the Statue of Liberty, somehow we we make them surrender entirely. So. Yeah, they will, they will straight up surrender the game um, if you destroy the Statue of Liberty, even if the, their entire army is still alive. Um, it something be, something interesting. Um, we got this right. I, I, I was adamant about trying every option when I was experimenting co op with Master Maul. I had this interesting thought can I capture the Statue of Liberty? And so, um, yeah, we actually can <laughs> capture the Statue of Liberty. And um, what what's even funnier is then the Alliance or the Allies uh, began to attack it themselves and they tried to destroy it. <laughs> So right now, um, Master Maul is going to have to concentrate here. He has, I don't know about mine, mine are fine, but uh, he has Kirovs that, that are drunk drivers. Yeah, honestly. So he has oh, to like, babysit uh, them a little bit. Whoa, talk about lag. 
Yeah, most of like spike there. Oh, that one might go down, not a big deal though. Um, yeah, my Kiros really in this mission, they uh, they really like to do some, they sort of fly around in circles and stuff, and it's like, I, I told you to go one direction, where are you going? Uh, these walls. Obviously, we, so, use, we use our twin blades to sort of, sort of the outer refineries while we, we go through the middle with our Kiros. If Kiros. Master Maul is willing, oh, get, don't, what are you doing? Kiros! No, your Kiros is so drunk! I don't understand. I, I swear I told him to. Your gear off almost killed. <laughs> Anyways. Oh wow. Four there. That was a bit close. Um, I I didn't have enough time, so I'm gonna run That's behind. Fine, wait. Just wait for me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if, so if no, Master Mall no, no, is willing, strategies. it'd be cool if I can capture the engineer, or uh, capture the Statue of Liberty with the engineer, if he's willing. You were, okay, like, Church, you did, well, what did the audience yeah. say? Do they, do they want us to do that real quick? We got like 10 seconds to decide. Uh, yes. Yes, okay, we're doing it. Yes, okay. <laughs> Alright, Engineer, so what do I even do here then? Nothing, you, you just wait for this? me. Well, no, no, just send oh, him over, send him over. Send him over like normal. New objective received. What do you mean by like normal? The normal around, solo game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So completely changing up the strategy here to get this engineer strategy. Hopefully it works because otherwise. Uh, <laughs> oh, we'll just do it a little, a little slower. Is what's gonna happen here? Yeah. Uh, let me go over it. So, get rid of that. Oh, I think Paul's already right over here. I will get rid of these turrets here. Pusha's engineer. I gotta move my MCV out of the way because uh, we're doing this a little slower. I'm not sure if my base will get destroyed really quick. So. All right, yeah, here we go. There. there you go. So hopefully, did you get the engineer? In? I'm doing it right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Here he goes. <laughs> here he goes. So if we uh, get out of the way, tank. <laughs> Wait, I, I thought he died then. There we go, there we go. So, so yeah, we captured set, it, and then off. I can also sell it. And See, then, but look, it yeah. starts attacking, everyone starts attacking. And then they start attacking their own... I can also sell the Statue of Liberty Statue for of Liberty. zero dollars. Can you see the zero right there? <laughs> Our Statue of Liberty is worthless. Like, look, at look, well, honestly. So. <laughs> yeah. And they just destroy the Statue of Liberty themselves, <laughs> and that's that's the game, basically. New bonus objective received. There we go, that's the Soviet campaign, um, folks. Yeah, uh, so we, we take the Statue of Liberty, and they beat the game for us, that's, that's the campaign. Uh, yeah. Thanks to you, Commander, the entire I can't believe the engineer strat works, I'm still like, in disbelief. So, um, what time are we at, Church? Uh, you're at, like, four, er, sorry, not 40, uh, 55? Okay, okay, so we got we got to do this. Oh, so yeah, we, we promised, um... Oh yeah, yeah that, that was time, time by the way. 422. Um, I, I skipped the cutscene. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna, um, oh, I can't do allies. Let's see here. I'm gonna, ah, oh, how do we do this? Can you... If this, uh, I, I would have to do it because I've got a lot. So how do, you, do I just hit abort? I guess we hit abort. See if we're gonna try something. Give us one second, guys. Um, we want to we want to do um, the notorious so cut scene with Tim Curry. We got to include that. We have enough time. We're gonna make it happen. Yeah, we got some time left over. We invite Poochies. I'm hoping that it hasn't disconnected us. We can still get into this. Um, start. The decision is made to bring the Soviet. I think it's gonna work. Oh, hey! yeah, it looks like it's, looks like it's working. Um, we see a lot of people in chat uh, talking about the, uh, the, the space meme. Um, and we thought, just because we had a little bit of time left over, that we'd, uh, we'd give you all the cutscene. Um, Allies Mission 9 here. We're going to clear up this first bit. And then we're going to give you the space cutscene. So we have miniature MCVs and we just go straight into the base. It's pretty funny. Even the music speeds up. It's a pretty funny little bit in the game. Received. Enemy base. Oh, obviously we got to clear this first bit. It's just um, avoid being crushed. It's, what, what do we get? What are they received. called? Mirage tanks. Uh, so you deploy the MCVs, get mirage tanks. I'm trying to get crushed. That's the goal. New construction options. Um, yeah, not 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 a difficult section. We haven't completely worked out this campaign yet. 
Oh yes, but we will be doing audience. every single campaign together. Yeah, and I highly that, encourage so. you subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Poochies, and Master Mall's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Master Mall. You guys get to see the... Um, I think we, we, we put a lot of time and effort in these videos, and you get to see some good quality content there. Yeah, a really nice strategy. I hope I don't get bombarded. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm sort of going to the left side here while Pushy's sort of, yeah, he's, you clear that really quickly, Andrew, don't you? Oh, uh, uh, there's an apocalypse tank here? I'm a, whoa! Hi! <laughs> this is <laughs> oh, a see, little he new. Would, yeah, he hasn't, because we haven't practiced this a lot, he doesn't even know these guys are down here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> should I normally get these? Uh, is that, uh, it's just one turret there. Oh, yep. And yep, we're just going to get the cutscene for you, kind of right up. Insufficient screen here. Here it is. We'll, we'll stay quiet for you guys. Yep. Commander, you've rained on my glorious parade. For this, I'm sending everything I've got at you. But I won't let you have the satisfaction of catching me. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Spice! <laughs> Spice! He says it so great. <laughs> so yeah, that's it, guys. Oh, that's uh, beautiful, yeah. Really, really hope you enjoyed the content, um, the stream. Uh, being Master Mall, it, it, was a, it was a real privilege. Thank you, Church, for inviting us. Thank you guys for yeah. watching. Again, youtube.com slash poochies, youtube.com slash Master Mall. Please like and subscribe to our videos. Yep, yeah, thank you for watching. To uh, obviously show off this, because we've I've been practicing this game for like a year now. Stuff. Uh, we we won't show you, the, show you the rest of the mission because like we we would definitely not do very well. Uh, it'd be quite embarrassing, but yeah. Uh, yeah thank you. <laughs> thank you uh, both so much. Uh, uh, you know, it's awesome to have the community on and showcase this. And uh, I do appreciate the uh, the space <laughs> that scene uh, for the fans. Yeah, yeah. Um, Absolutely. I, I love. I love how you can tell that he's trying not to just burst out laughing as he delivers the line. <laughs> yeah, exa exactly. It's, there's so many Tim Curry cutscenes. It's him just like trying to hold back laughter. Uh, it was yeah. very funny. Uh, thank you both so much. It was a great run. Uh, I know you had to reload like once, but it's whatever. It was a very good run. Y'all did uh, very well. Appreciate y'all coming out here and showcasing the game. Uh, we do have uh, more games coming up, so uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, just before we go to the break, though, as a quick reminder, if you're ever on YouTube watching, uh, this goes back to something YouTube just said. Uh, press the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, we stream live most days, so you can go to twitch.tv slash games on a click if you're interested in looking at our live content. Starts weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. That said, we're going to go to a quick break and we'll be back with the next game. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hotfix. This is our Command and Conquer community showcase. Uh, we are having uh, people from the community do various speedruns of all the games in the series, or some of the games in the series. Uh, and uh, we are here with uh, Red Alert, and I will hand it over to our runner and commentary let them introduce themselves. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Doc uh, from Doc's World Channel, and I'll be running the Allied campaign on hard mode of... Command and Conquer Red Alerts. Hey, I'm Euler the Great. Uh, one of the uh, only active uh, speedrun.com moderators for Remastered, Red Alert, and uh, Tiberium Dawn. And I'll be doing commentary for Doc. Much appreciate. Thank you, dude. Yep. All right. So um, <laughs> we're going to get started with the game. Uh, I'll be doing the Allied campaign on hard, as I said. And so, what I'll do is, uh, as soon as I click this, that's when we'll start the timer. So I'll, I'll give a three, two, one, and then go, if that's okay. All good? Yep. All right. So, three, two, one, go. I do, unfortunately, have to skip the amazing uh, cutscene at the beginning, but maybe we can see it at the end. So, yeah, so this is uh, originally... Uh, meant to be a prequel to 
the original Command and Conquer. And um, it's basically in like an alternate universe where Einstein creates a time machine. He goes back, erases Hitler from the universe, and then we see what, what happened in World War II. And Germany is one of the, uh, the allies, and it's basically all of Europe against the Soviet Union. And we just went in with our commando, and we took out... Uh, well, we rescued Tanya. Einstein. Tanya. Yeah, Tanya. Tanya. Sorry, I know. No. Sweet she's not. She's, she's not a real tough guy. She's a sweet, but she's, sweet Tanya. She's so tough. She's so tough. She's actually really bad. Bad aid. So all we had to do was rescue Einstein on the previous level. Yeah. Um, so like, we have to cr create a base here. These dogs, attack dogs, I think they're annoying in every uh, every version of the game, every Command & Conquer, attack dogs. Qu question, giant ant mission? I wish. Sorry? So fun. She said, question, giant ant missions? No, I said, I wish. Giant ant missions, so wow, yeah. I mean, I tried doing some of those earlier. They are they're, actually they're, they're very hard. tough. Yeah. Very tough. Yeah. Yes, we put the so this, down. The, yeah, this level, uh, if you build your base in this level, it, you get to revisit the level with the same base build, which is pretty cool. It was like a, that was a new uh, feature. At some point, I will have to turn the uh, the game sound down slightly. It's quite loud. I can't. That's on my end. Dinosaurs, they left them out in the remaster. No, dinosaurs are totally in the remaster. So the Soviets have, they have attack dogs like we saw earlier, and they like will basically one shot any infantry unit. And they like, they can fly across the screen, it's really cool. And the the main resource that you gather in this game is, is ore. There's also fancy crystals that you can get that are worth like, uh, are they worth like twice the amount of the ore? Or is it even more? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm having trouble with the uh, sound, so uh, it's a little bit loud on my end. I will have to change it at some point. You might oh, have to no. speak up for okay. me, unfortunately. Or just start yelling. Reporting. Yeah, just start yelling at me. <laughs> Dak, Dak! Is the order worth 40 more? 40 years old yeah. and I'm going deaf, that's probably oh. what it actually is. <laughs> there we go. This is a Tanya-only mission. Oh, this yeah. next one. Very quick. Blow up the bridges. Very simple. There's a... Uh, isn't there... There's... There's a... Uh, uh, V is a V two V two rocket launchers that just can sniper right? Yeah, not yeah. on this level unfortunately, but we do get V twos. Well, not the allies. Yeah, so no, but the 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 hey, when you walk around the map, there if you walk in the wrong spot with Tanya, she just gets takes a V two rocket to the face. Yeah, we do not want that at all. I think that that's happen. the that's the other level. I think. I love the zoom in ability on the remastered. Yeah. It's, it's really good. So just click on the corner and she keeps walking if you do that. I never knew that you could just walk over the uh, the bridges and, and keep blowing them up. Yeah, you can do That's it without her stopping. That's actually very clever. I looked it up. You might have noticed he, he shot those, those barrels and then they explode. That's right. Go for the barrel to weaken and kill the troops. Yeah. So we actually go back to the previous level now. So the base that we established in the previous one, it's important that we make two refineries for the next for this level now. So I, I had to make two refineries in the previous one, uh, so that we get the mon enough money for um, exactly what we need now. Yeah, these guys so it's actually nice. need to be up here. It's nice you got to build up his economy already. Well. Pisa said, "Put on the uh, the the OG graphics. What's the the hockey for them? It's like B? space, space, space. Is it just space? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Zoom in, zoom in. No, I'll go back. <laughs> I can't play. That. <laughs> I'm very grateful the, for the uh, remastered version of this. So game. yeah, the remastered version came out. Uh, it was June 5th of uh, 2020. So like right after like lockdowns have started, and it was probably 
one of the one of the things that got me through uh, being locked in lockdown was being able yeah, to sit absolutely. at home and play this. That was exactly so good. Right time. Perfect timing. It was great. And so it, if if any of y'all are interested and haven't pulled the trigger on buying this game yet, um, there is a ladder community, and there's there's the, definitely a lot of stuff you can do online. There's there's ladder matches about, for Tiberium Dawn and uh, that. You don't want to talk about the ladder. How few runs there are of this game? It's it's yeah. open for optimization. Like that's true the, too. Yeah, I've got the current record, but there's only two runners. There's two, two consistent yep. runners. So please give it a chance because it is such a good run. It's so much fun. I love it. Yeah. The uh, Tiberium Dawn's uh, similar as well. The for for remaster so. We are we just definitely have to in need of more runners. Okay. Yeah. These tanks are so nice. Light tanks are so nice. They're so fast. And they're cheap. So he's also doing something. You're holding Q, right? You, you hold yeah. Q and you click and you Q move. So if you hold Q and you left click when it's green, they'll move. And then you hover over uh, enemy when the, the cursor turns to that red and it'll stay locked onto that target so you can move around. It's really good. And that's basically it. If you don't build up your your economy in the previous level, this level takes a lot longer. That was really good. Really good strat. We're actually doing quite well like, on, uh, um, on the yeah. time as well. Middle option here for the best, well, the quickest version. For the this. best experience. <laughs> for the best experience, yes. <laughs> I really like this level. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, how much? Started. Commander King and Country. Just yeah, enjoy the music. King and Country. Belkun over here flex, and I have the original King Red, Red Lock word box still. Oh my gosh. For King and Country. country. Indeed. So Indeed. the attack dogs will sniff Indeed. out that you're a spy. You got to avoid and then the Go straight for the throat. For King but on my way. Just let them enjoy you know, the music for a sec. King and country yeah, really on my yeah. way. On my way. For King and Country. Building infiltrated. Best song. Here we go. Let's go. I mean, for me, this game was just um, <laughs> so good. It came out 1996. 96, 96. Six, yeah. One year after uh, the original. I mean, I was like um, a bad RNG there. Eleven. How old was I? I bought ninety-two, so I was fourteen when this came out. But I didn't 14, play it until yeah. ninety-eight, and I just played the multiplayer on M player. On Windows ninety-five. On uh, whatever the operating system was, I can't remember. Let's right. rock. Back to the start. Reinforcements have arrived. So we saved uh, have Tanya. We've got Tanya. Have now we've got the reinforcements. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Run over these guys. Yes, sir. Agree. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Trying not to get hit. We want to keep these tanks in as good a condition as possible. Windows 98. Yeah, so more the Q move and running over uh, enemy infantry. Staying out of the range of that uh, flame tower on the right. Acknowledged. This is the problem. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that was a problem. That top dog, That's that never happened dog before. What is going on with these runs? <laughs> that was unexpected. 
disruption. Options. Affirmative. Waiting for is under attack. Here we go. So what's nice in, in Red Alert is you can build uh, two spaces away, or one space away from uh, adjacent buildings, which is really nice. Repair this. Not to have anything so touching. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, two spaces is really good. Yeah. Construction complete. Construction options. Unit yes, sir. Affirmative. Building. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. You ought to get these gems at the start because they're just worth a little bit more using the path. Yes, affirmative. Building. And now we can oh, sell yeah. this just for a little bit of extra cash. If you if you drive on the road, uh, your units go faster. At once. Very well. That's cool. Correct. Which is very oh. nice. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. I legitimately did not yes, know that. Yeah, I know, right? These. Li no one probably it, knew that at the time. Yes, no. I don't. I don't think that was even uh, in the instruction manual. Maybe Railcoon could open his box up and, and let us know. Yeah, they could open up yes, the box. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, now we're going to make a move. Yes, Control sir. Group One. We're going for this. Oh, the harvester's going. We really need that harvester there. What the harvester attacking the harvester provokes the units out here up to here away from the defenses of the base, which is um, better for attacking. So we will just wait a little bit. We can control the ore truck in the meantime just to get a little bit of extra eco. Unit ready. What's faster on the roads? Vehicles. Vehicles are faster on the roads. Yes, vehicles. Right here comes the uh, truck. So we're gonna block it off. Get a clean kill on that. That's good. That was really good. Right. Oh, we, ooh, I think we got a hit by that V2. Oh my gosh, those V2s are going crazy. So the Soviets have uh, medium tanks that have two turrets. So they get to shoot two potatoes at you instead of one. Right, we're just going to go for it. We're going to go in here. Yes, just go in there and just start taking out buildings. This would be a lot harder to do if he didn't have Q move. Ah! They're asking if you use the scatter key. That's not good, that's not good. They've rebuilt the barracks. And do you hit the uh, X button? No. No. He does not use the scatter key. Not in this... Um... No, no, I never used the scatter, really. Right, just take these dogs out and then we should be good. Oh, there no. we go. Some stragglers. There we, go. there we go. I lost 30 seconds on that, but never mind. Compared to my PB. Right, now we take the north option here. It's very hard to talk about this and play at the same time. I just, I, I can't do it, <laughs> really. It is, it is, it is very hard, hard to do. It's hard to sell when uh, I just play too quick. I just don't do casual very well. Well, it's, it's also hard to explain stuff when some of these levels are so quick, like by the time you're done with a thought, the level's over. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, did I even say anything meaningful? Always. Always. Every time. Yes. And again, I'm still struggling with the volume, but uh, I, I, there's no chance for me to change it. Never mind. I mean, you can change it whenever you want. Yeah. yeah. Small time loss. If you want to yeah. stop for a second, construction. It'll make the um, experience better for there everybody. There will else. be there will be an option to do it coming up soon, so I'll, I'll definitely okay. do it then. All right. I think. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So just and collecting some. Sorry, man. Sorry. No, you got it. You got it. You got it. 
Just collecting some gems here on this side. This is uh, not really a good patch to mine, but we start off here initially, and then we'll work our way over to the other side in a second. Ah, oh, that was not good. Just tight this guy a little bit. Unit lost. And then we go for another rep. Okay. And then after this, I'll redirect this truck over to um, the other side. Uh, so I did look it up. The gems are uh, twice as good as the regular. Twice yes. as good. 1,400, I think. Per as opposed truck. to 700. Yeah. That's why it's really important to micro your, uh, your ore trucks. And you might think maybe it's it's better to just let them pick what up, up pick up everything that's closest, but no. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. The ore regenerates, the crystals do not. So that's also a thing. Oh, these guys. These guys, they're going back to their original. Uh, construction complete. You remember when the when it first came out, the they had a there was a bad patch where the ore trucks just didn't do anything. Oh when you had more than two? They just did nothing. It was for a remaster. We got a bunch of patches like back to back. Everything came out. Really frustrating. Right, we need five medium tanks. Oh, some and then we can go. Actually, we can just go back. Here. And then we're gonna take out the barracks below. Ooh, air. You know, air units right there. So I think once you take out this stuff, uh, there's not no there won't be any land units on this this side of the, the map, right? You're separated by water after that. Yeah, after we take this out, we um, make a an engineer to capture the radar here. Don't want to destroy this. My goodness. Oh yeah, there is there's a bunch of there's a couple levels. In this campaign, where if you if you destroy a building, you you lose everything. You know, the game's just play. You have to restart. It's unfortunate. Unit ready. Unit ready. Right. We br bring these guys down here. And we're just gonna block off the transports that appear. Yeah. So what he's doing right here is is the transports have a predetermined location where they want to drop off for the AI. So if you put your units down in the area where the, the landing zone is, they can't unload. So the, the transports will just pull up to the shore and sit there and get gunned down by the potato launchers. It's great. We're going to do the same down here as well. And then you don't ever have to worry about building up a land force to, to fight off these... these I don't know if I've got enough there, but... Uh, yeah, you might need like maybe one or two more. Yeah, you got them right there. Construction complete. Unit ready. Building. Construction. Just gonna complete. hold off for a second with the tanks. Actually, this one can go just here, just in case. Um, I'm gonna make a construction complete. A refinery. Got to sell. Unit ready. Building. Affirmative. He's down here. This guy can go here. Building. Sell this one. Yes. Oh, we didn't quite get that. Okay, never mind. Oh, close. Close. Yeah. Unit plus. Yes, sir. Knowledge. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Hopefully that's better now. Yes, sir. Construction complete. Okay. So now we build the. Waiting order. Yes, sir. Naval yard. We've got to sell this. Got to repair that. And we need three. Oh, I need um a spy. This is part of the objective. One, two, three, four, one, Building. two, three. Do you have to get into the sub pin with the spy, or is that a different level? No, the, the spy goes into a tech center. Tech center, no, that's right. In this one. So one thing that happens real quick is all the ore gets eaten up, and then there's no more money. It takes a very long time for her to uh, regenerate. We need an APC. Yes, sir. The units are really quite annoying that they don't go in the uh, the transports. Yes, sir. Right. That's why we made the four um, uh, sort of scout ships at the beginning, just because yeah. that always happens. Affirmative. Unit ready. Building. 
When you're loading up the transports, if you misclick sometimes, your tank will go into the water. Yes, sir. Building. Acknowledged. Yes, uh, they can. It's <laughs> very frustrating. I don't know what's going on here. I hear stuff. Uh, okay. On the right. The right. Oh, yeah. Was that uh, from a yak that got shut down? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So when you destroy uh, enemy air units, the pilots uh, e eject and they turn into paratroopers. We're nearly ready to go. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Building. Acknowledged. I could sell the CY. Unit ready. Um, but we don't need to now. This is it. I've got everything I need. Our base is under attack. Right, let's get these guys and let's go. So yeah, we're good here. That's good. Excellent. Ready. Yes, sir. So you're gonna land it on the north part of the base? That's right, yep. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. We'll Acknowledged. get the spy out first. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Affirmative. The spy who loved me. Ha <laughs> ha. Bond. James. The name's Bond. Right. So we'll press oh, one yes, first to deal with these, uh, yes, sir, these tanks. Holding Q to do the, the Q move around these tanks so that we don't take too many direct hits. You have to put the spy into into this building first. That means you got to get the dogs away. Right now, now we can go. Now everything is power, but that's okay. Scorched Earth. Now, if you take this building and then you take the um, the uh, construction yard, everything will just sell. Should do. In this particular order, everything should sell now. Yes, this is there. We go. And now you're just rounding up the uh, stragglers. So somebody asked Q move question mark. It's uh if you hold Q while your you have your tanks selected, you can tell that you can you can queue up a bunch of movements and while they're moving you can and while you're holding Q you can then attack enemy units and they'll move around and dance around them and fire potatoes at the same time. So we're almost done. Uh, we're just looking for prepare. Right. Yes, ah. There we go. Waiting on. Oh. Naval unit lost. Why? 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 Yes, sir. Unit ready. We're missing something. Uh, oh, it's a dog. It's, it's always a dog. A dog. It's always a dog. Yes, Soviet poppers. No. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. Building. Now, permit. Boarding. Yes, sir. Permit. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Else? There's a, oh. there's a, there's a sub right there. There we go. Yeah, thank you. Yes, there we go. Right, we're mission accomplished. Plus 33 seconds. There we go. So, I forget which one we select now. Um, What level is this? Oh, okay. Oh. That makes it easy. The choice is yours, Commander. So this um, level, we just have to destroy the sub pens and capture a radar center. That's it. Oh, that's that. He says that's it. Like it's an easy task. Uh, you so you start getting attacked by MIGs in this level, and they will snipe all your stuff. Yeah, that's true. This is a very hard level if, if you're casually yeah. doing it. It's still hard on spe speedrunning it, but it's it's hard casually. They'll still drop some transports like right next to where his uh, construction yard is, and if you don't have your all your stuff sorted out, you just lose over and over again. It's a hard level. The base is sick in this. Yes, absolutely. Yes. That slap base, yes. 90s style, porn style. 
Yeah. Reinforcements have arrived. Vehicle construction. That's They're still going, yeah. aren't they? Yes, sir. Yeah. Affirmative. Waiting affirmative. Vehicle reporting. Affirmative. Waiting affirmative. Vehicle oh, reporting. Gosh. Affirmative. Clearing a space for the um. Awaiting orders. The next yes, round. Uh, oh, yeah, the next yes, round. Yeah. Yes, sir. So we say. Yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah. We, we call them we call them refs because that's a short for refinery. Oh, can you believe it? Oh no, that was annoying. <laughs> that's the. That was yeah. annoying. If if you build your base too far to the right here, they will just sit on uh, this cliff and just chuck rockets at you too. Yes, sir. I'm very confused right now. This is playing differently to. Uh, to normal, typical. Yeah, it's just, this is not yeah. right. <laughs> when when it doesn't something play stuck like somewhere, to... something stuck right somewhere, and then once they unstick it, they're gonna send like uh, a billion things at you, and it's gonna. There's gonna usually a B two here that's attacking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, it's stuck somewhere. Something's not right. Yes, <laughs> And I've not seen this before. Let's keep going. Keep it going. New construction options. Hmm. Building. And I think the the V2s they one shot the boxes. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, they'll, they'll take a ref, almost one shot a ref. Yeah. Refinery. Construction complete. Building. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Unit ready. Reporting. Now. Construction complete. Right now we do the. Uh, we need another tank. Building. I won't sell the barracks just yet because this is so. All right, here we go. You got it. This is. There we go. Because you gotta, you gotta capture that uh, the radar dome, right? If you're not ready for that transport drop that just happened, it's over. You just lost. Um, I need another. No, I don't need that. I need to sell this now. Yes, we got the engineer. This is good. Yes. All right. That's what we needed. We can sell that. Now we just need tons of these. Lots of destroyers. So I, I can't tell you how many times I've played this game and destroyed the radar dome over here after spending like 10 minutes trying to survive. You've, and then just losing. You've done this before, haven't you? Yeah. I, I haven't, sp I've never speed ran this game, but. Uh, oh, okay. I've only watched you and approved your runs. Look, this guy, what? Well, yeah, there, that was the missing uh, V2 from earlier. That's the one from earlier that should have come earlier. <laughs> yeah. Engineering. There he is. So in Red Alert, uh, your engineers can only capture buildings when they're in the red light. Yeah, they need which, to be red. Yeah, which is different. I know if you guys were watching uh, Generals earlier, you can just sit outside of a building and capture them. Uh, right, we just need lots of boats now. And this is very scary, this is this next part. This is the scariest part. We do have, have enough to go, so we will go. Oh. Oh, it's going to be too late now. Here we go. Might as well get the money for that. It's about to be destroyed by the act. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Take out the Tesla. Now we actually have to wait here and take out the uh, second Tesla as well. But go up, gentlemen, please. 
Oh. Right, now we can go, but I don't have much... Oh, this is... might not be enough. Which seems crazy, because you have an entire navy. Yeah. But the subs are so tough, and those rocket launchers, or the, the V2s are sitting there. They, if you're not paying attention to what's going on, you can lose everything real quick. Uh, you can cue move, can you, you can cue move yeah, with your navy, can you? Yeah, it's harder though. We'll be okay now, I think. Yeah, you got it, you got it. We've got enough to take out the, uh... The sub-pens. The sub-pens, which is all that was yeah. required. But it is scary getting past that bit. There we go. Nice. Down to four seconds behind my PB. We nice. did that very well. Nice, nice. Now you have two choices. Oh yeah, which one is it? Um, South, I think. I think this is the Protect the Chronosphere level. Yes. Oh yeah. This level. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Cannot deploy here. New construction options. Awaiting order. I never, ever thought about deploying my construction yard over there. Construction complete. Building. Um, yeah, it's just, uh. Structure very well. Just works. What? It's just quick, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's actually like. Completely genius. <laughs> that's, that's big brain. Affirmative. That's how you know your brain's really wrinkly when you deploy your construction right there. Reporting. Construction complete. Right. So they're going to start attacking this CY now. You just have to protect it at the beginning. Are you going to be able to take out their base in hard? Absolutely. Yeah. And that's good. This is about to get fun. So usually, they, 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 this level kind of just wants you to sit on your hands and, and guard the chronosphere, but you can actually just go and destroy all the Soviet stuff, and then you then you cut off their reinforcements right when they spawn. That's it. That's exactly it. This is the level where you can um, you have a toilet break if you need it. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is the right. toilet break level. Yeah. I think that's a, a unique selling point for a speedrun. It, it is actually very important. Like, yeah, you have time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the level. Now, I made sure I went before... Um, <laughs> before the, the run today. Having not uh, performed on such a stage as this, but uh, very important that you have a toilet break either before, and this is, this is the game that will let you have that run. Uh, let that toilet work. If you've got the runs, that's unfortunate. That's uh, yes, no. a <laughs> need to go. <laughs> yeah. That would be unfortunate, but uh, you know, you never know. The show must go on. Yes, sir. Don't let the runs stop you from getting a P PB. Brown Puddle says this guy should play more. He's really good. Who is he? <laughs> Brown Puddle. <laughs> Thank you, BP, for supporting the, uh, Unit ready. the stream. Thank you exceptional wit. I love BP. He's a good lad. <laughs> we love BP. Uh, so BP Unit plays ready. the uh, quick match um, A ladder. Yeah. Yeah. The ladder. We're going to take out the base in a second. Actually, we'll... Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to put a refinery here. It's been a while since I've done this, so... I know if a lot of you are, have, have been here all day for this, you've heard this multiple times. We have a really welcoming speedrun community for all the Command & Conquer games, and the, uh, the latter community is also very welcoming, so... And we're, yeah. we're in dire need of more people for both. We really do want more people to speedrun this game. It is a lot yeah. of fun, and it's it really um, is open for uh, optimization. Yeah, because you've there's a lot of people like really me easy. 
Yeah, there's a lot of really easy uh, records to get if you just want to get on the leaderboard. There's a lot of blanks that don't have anything. Here we go. Now he's coming in, and this is what we were talking about earlier. He's taking out the whole base. Oh, by the way, you saw the whole mini map just lit up. Allies have uh, an ability with the tech center that, after a certain amount of time, their super one of their super weapons shoots up and puts a GPS satellite up that gives you complete vision of the whole map. So that's why you can see everything. Very nice. Uh, it does. This Discord does cover Dune games as well. Wait, this is the level that I, I can turn the sound down. <laughs> I can't wait to actually check. hear you guys properly. I'm so sorry. It's like uh, I've heard bits. You guys are... You're the interesting ones anyway, you know. You, you just carry on. I'm supposed to be interesting? I was not told about this. <laughs> that, it does not cover Dune. Hold on, I have another... I was gonna say I don't think I've ever seen any talk of Dune in this. In this uh, I'm in, I'm in so many Discord servers for speedruns. Let me get. I'm gonna post an invite to the Dune. Yes, sir. Uh, DM that thing. You want me to send it to you? All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll have it. Right. So, let me just options audio. It's the sound, isn't it? Oh, let's just close the Discord. There we go. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. Now, can you guys hear it? Yes, um, I can. I can hear it. Unit ready. Uh, Unit ready. We'll probably have to turn it up a little bit on our end. But construction complete. Unit ready. <sighs> Building. I'm boxing. Be like, what? You guys been talking to me this whole time? All I've been hearing is explosions. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I've been hearing his potatoes explode. Unit ready. I mean, who doesn't love explosions, though, right? Yeah. All right, we need to block off this section here, this section here, and this section here. And that is it. Once you've got a few tanks here, a few tanks here, and a few tanks here, you can just... Oh, and um, here as well. You can basically just go and until this go this timer goes down to zero. You've got to make sure you have enough power as well. If you don't have enough power, the chronosphere won't launch and you fail. So yeah. you have to have enough power. And they constantly attack these powers here with uh, with, with uh power bombs. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, bombs, which well. only ever actually hit accurately when the computer does them to you. Unit ready. Exactly. When you, you use power bombs, they don't ever hit anything. Unit ready. I can actually look at some of the chat now. Oh. Unit ready. Building. But this was the game. Unit this game ready. came out in 96. Building. So I was. Before this, I was playing Final Fantasy VII, Unit I think. Uh, and then I, then this game came out. And that was it. Waiting this game was the sole ready. reason why I building. probably didn't do so well at school, if I'm being honest. Yes, This says the guy who's an actual doctor. I didn't do good school. I'm a doctor. I'm a cardiac physiologist. I'm don't a... don't tell them which hospital you work for. <laughs> uh, the one that pays me the most. The one that's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, I love that answer. <laughs> I mean, it's all about patience, of course, not about money. But um, patience, patience equals profit. But uh, when I played this on M player, like multiplayer, I just it blew my mind. This game just blew my mind. Do you remember having uh, tank fights and building bases on this game without uh, forget the speed running element? But you would you'd have your mammoth tanks, you'd have your walls, you'd have rocket men, you know, yeah. and you, you wouldn't know what you were doing. But it was brilliant, especially on the um, um, especially on the uh, PlayStation One, which was very slow with your link up cables. Building. Yeah. I, I, that's that's how uh, I used Unit to play ready. this. Uh, building. We, and my dad and I used to sit. We had the CRTs uh, like uh, back to back, and we would just sit across from each other playing. Yeah, that that room must have been hot. Building. It was. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the heat oh, yeah. that kicked out of those TVs. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, <sir>. no. <laughs> so, building. there's literally nothing to do here. Just uh, make sure you've got these areas covered with tanks. Actually, there's 
you can get some V2s yes, and mammoths coming up here, but not that. You can, you could just block the uh, edge of the map off, can you? I don't like doing units. that because I'm worried that the units might get jammed. See, look, out. they're here. Yeah. Yeah. You see oh, here? Yep, 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 yep. They're waiting to come up, so I don't want to keep them there accidentally. And then have them ready. glitch off the map. And yeah, start. not yeah. that that's ever... I think it's happened once. It I think it's happened, happened before. Yeah. I think I've, it's happened to me before. Exactly. Um, 44.4k yes, modems and everything back in the day, or whatever it was. Oh, by the way, this is on hard mode, and yeah, that means hard. that the computer has their units do more damage, they're cheaper, they're faster, they have more armor, and I think your stuff is more expensive. I think so. Yeah. The um, Soviet campaign is ridiculously hard. Um, the last I've, level is the worst. Yeah, the last level is really difficult. I recommend anyone who wants a challenge, just to get, there's no runs on uh, speedrun.com on, on hard mode. And uh, the, there's a reason for that. You should try it. Yeah, it's hard to a challenge just for anyone. Playing it. Yeah. First world record. Just do it. It took, I, I had a go and it took me five and a half hours. I was embarrassed and I didn't upload it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a record waiting to be uh, taken there. I've certainly <laughs> done that before. <laughs> what, you've done the hard mode? And so not specifically that, just like being so embarrassed of a run that I just don't yeah. upload it. Yeah, it's not. I'm not doing a run where I die copious amounts of times and have to go and my computer crashed and I had to go to the toilet midway through. That's not a run you want to upload, you know? <laughs> it's not something my mum would be proud of. <laughs> but yeah, there's only two people that play this on hard. There's me and Derek. Derek's a good lad. And yeah. uh, we've been going back and forth ready. with the uh, with the uh, trading uh, records, much like uh, they, the guys earlier in the previous uh, in the Unit previous lost. game. Um, wow, mammoths out of there! I've never seen mammoths out there. That's anyway. It doesn't usually so, it's probably because it dies before it gets there. Uh, the last level I did, I actually did 20 seconds quicker than my PB and only four seconds slower than my um, of, uh, my my gold split. <laughs> Upload for oh, easy awesome. world record and then go to bed and continue the next day. 13 hour world record. Let's go. I mean, it would count. Have you seen the Final Fantasy 7? A hundred percent. That's crazy. I know we're talking about Command and Conquer, but that's a 17, 18 hour uh, world record. The hundred percent Final Fantasy 7. It's crazy. Uh, couldn't imagine. Yeah, I, 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 I cannot do that. <laughs> Braver souls than I. <laughs> yeah, that's Building. taking it. That's extreme sports, isn't it? That's extreme speed running, I think. Yeah. There should be a category for like extreme Unit speed running. Ready. That's extreme. Building. But there comes with all sorts of, as, as someone who works in a hospital, there comes with all sorts of health risks to sitting down for too long. I should actually stand up a little bit. Yeah, you got another two minutes. Two minutes Warning, two minutes remaining. Oh, right, so we're literally just waiting on this timer. One minute to go. The next level is brilliant. I love it. Why don't we... You want to start talking about the next level? Uh, it's called Rescue Kasigan. Uh, so Kasigan is a... D um, That's the Greek guy, right? Y yes. Yes. The Greek guy that we're going to get to watch do something really cool at the end of this. Mm-hmm. Or Extract Kasigan is what it's called. Yeah. I have to pick the north option here. And this is a really interesting tactic for this level. I wish we could do put, the cutscenes, but... Uh, just put Hell March on repeat. I, I wish I could. I love it. So, so he's in the top left of the map, right? And he's, you have to sneak through the base with a spy. Yes. And there's a bunch of there's a bunch of attack dogs all over the place, and the 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 place we just landed is our island. There's nobody else on it. Yeah, correct. So we have time to to build some stuff up, but there's just subs all over the place, and it, we're just gonna make two ore refineries. That's all we're gonna make, and a naval yard. Yep. 
Construction complete. Yes, Construction parallels at once. Building. Strange tactic, but uh, yeah, I wish we could do the cutscenes. But I think if we did the cutscenes and played. The cutscenes add like I take it over the minutes, time. at least, yeah. maybe 45 minutes, yeah. The cutscenes are so good because they're done with real people and they're, it's their they're like full motion video. Well, this was the one that really got the, the franchise going, wasn't it, I think? Uh, in my opinion. That could be contentious, but... Uh, Building. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Because this, this one came out on on PlayStation, and Acknowledge. more people had access, I think, to, yes, to yeah. the game. But like, yes, I was playing uh, Command and Conquer from like the day it came out, yes, and Affirmative. it was it was on DOS and like Windows ninety five. Yes, sir. Knowledge. And I need the spy. Yeah. Oh yeah. my oh. god. You need the spy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, I was like, this is an interesting strategy, no spy. I've forgotten what I'm doing. It's been so long. You, you gotta build a... Uh, Might need another ref. Yeah. There you go. No, I think you'll be okay. Spy's only like a 800 or something. No, but the... Um, Construction options. The, the truck has taken damage. Oh, well, if you got enough time, let's do it. Yeah, okay, let's make another truck. Safety strats, let's go. Yeah, this is... Yeah. We're here to embarrass ourselves and the community. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I'm disappointed in myself. I mean, I haven't played it since in over a month, actually, so... Never mind. I'm doing quite well, to be fair. You are... Yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Better than I can do. Better than me. Best guy in the Discord. Best guy in the chat, let's go! So there should be a dog here. Gonna run him over. Oh my gosh. There should be. It'll be easier to run him over, you got three of them, so... There's so many dogs. I never... Well, this is wrong, brilliant strategy. Let him go. Yeah, you don't want to get ran over by him. For king and country. Can you sneak past those dogs? You can, indeed. On my oh way. my god. Yes, indeed. indeed. On my way. Normally you would go to the, the top right of this base to get in. And it takes so much it takes so long to do. You've gotta get there. There we go. That's fine. Now we can't be blocked here. Move out. Move out. Move out. Uh, of course. There we go. So good. That is so good. Uh, of Ooh, there's the dog from uh, before! Uh, of oh no! Uh, of course. The sleeper has awakened. Uh, of course. Move out. Move out. Uh, of course. Move out. I think yes, you can do it. Move out. Uh, of course. Move out. Yeah, you're out. Oh, there you go. Good. Waiting yeah. Out. That was sketchy. Affirmative. <laughs> but we've done it, so that was okay. There we Mission go. Accomplished. Mission accomplished. That was a minute slower than my PB because of um, simple mistake, just uh, forgetting to make the radar. <laughs> just yeah. Wow. Uh, this level, I forgot what it even is. I have no idea where I am anymore. I'm just wait. <laughs> is this the level where you uh, have to infiltrate the nuclear? Yes, facility? it is. Yes, well done. <laughs> Someone knows this game. I just guessed. We hadn't done that level yet, so <laughs> it was coming up. Got to take out this tree. You know, I love I love trees, but just have to take this one out. Sorry. It's in the way. It is in the way. How many potatoes does it take to take out a tree? That was like 50? Uh, but I don't think you can take out that one. Uh, no, that one's special. Yes. That's a special tree. That's very special tree. Conifer. Conifer. I, yeah. I know nothing about anything to do with wildlife. Affirmative. Yes, sir. It's It's green. Construction. It's green. Yeah, there are certain trees on this map that cannot be destroyed. You, I don't even think you can burn that tree. And if you can burn it, you can't. You can't blow it up after you burned it. So. Yes, affirmative. Right. We Holding Q to move the tanks around so they don't get hit, but I actually took loads of direct hits there, so that was not great queuing. My poor little light tank. 
Oh no. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Yes, sir. Affirmative. So, this tactic is very... Ugh. I hate it, but... Uh, Construction options. Two APCs. Seven engineers. Oh my gosh. And we're just going to run past everything, basically. Unit ready. This is a... No, nah, we don't do saves. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. I was saying oh, it sorry. would be so much nicer if you could just use one engineer. Yeah, I mean, I wish, but they're expensive and uh, yeah. I'm gonna hold it there just for a second. We'll sell the. Right, we've got an engineer from there. That's nice. good. Nice. You can get up to three engineers from a construction yard cell if you're lucky. And that's that's only if the. Construction guard hasn't taken any damage, right? Unit ready. Oh, I didn't know that. I think I, I think the buildings that I think the units that come out are proportional to the value of it at the time of sale. But you can still get the you can still get extra engineers. I just think okay. that once you take too much damage, you can't. But I, I I'm not the expert. And I'm barely functioning in this game, so I don't know either. There are people who know a lot more about this game than I do. <laughs> Considering. How many people do play the quick match? It's quite frustrating that yes, sir. not you many of them do the speed yes, runs. I wish many, many more would. Because they could be really, because there's a lot of really Yeah, they're good players. great players at the, at yeah. the ladder. They could be amazing at speed runs. Unit so, waiting order knowledge. Building. Reporting. Technology. You know, they, they know their unit control, how to, you know, groups, and group tanks. It's not hard, but. Uh, they just don't like flexing on computers. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Building. Right, group one. We're going to start moving with group one now. Group two. Following up. Oh, oh if you when don't the know, starts uh, attacking is when, is when to go. Uh, okay. So wait, 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 as soon as you hear the yak, you're like, it's time to time to roll out. Yeah, it's time to go, really. Well, if you didn't know, you select a, a group in this game. You hold control and you pick one through zero, and it makes the group. And you just only have to hit the number to to pre-select the, the units again. No, not everybody's familiar with that. So this is. Uh, you're about to destroy some more trees so that you can avoid going through their base, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, we want the APCs to go through. Yeah. Everybody else is a diversion. Yeah. Uh, they got a Tesla coil in their base, don't they? Uh, yeah, I hear it. I can hear it. That's up here somewhere. Thank you. I hear a Tesla coil going on. Yes, sir. Vehicle Test the coil here. This is the really sketchy bit coming up. Right, we actually lost. Uh, because you lost the APC. No, 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 Yes. You need to damage the, the construction yard a little bit. Or the uh, engineering. Oh no. oh, no. Yeah, we got to do a restart. So close. So, <clears throat> so that's my uh, that's, that's my like PB uh, attempt over. So. Yeah. <laughs> the, the APC got stuck on the, it, up against the tank. So got to keep going again. This is a very casual run. Very casual. Very professional, though. <laughs> That's frustrating. Yeah, we needed those four engineers to get into that building, but never mind. If, if, well, if, if both of the APCs had made it, you would have been good too. I would have been fine. That's why I make two APCs. Obviously, you can make just one APC, and that would be less time. But uh, obviously, you've just seen how dangerous it is with two yeah. APCs. So. What, what, what happens if you go before the axe attack? You've just got less tanks, less diversion, oh, okay. less things to get hit. So, so that's just a cue, mental cue for you to be like, all right, we're good. This is it. I don't have to count the yeah. tanks. I just know the yaks are on the way. Yeah, that's like nice. that's when it's time to start moving, really. Because after four yak attacks, your um, your refinery's dead. So. I mean, we can still get a respectable time for sure. It's not the end of the world. But, no, it's probably yes. the end of the world. But um, yes. yet. <laughs> It's the end of the competitive run, but uh, we'll, we can still get a decent time. Construction complete. Uh, uh, I right, think so we destroy the tree for fun, or so that we can build something in there. I think I more ritual. Ritual. Okay. Ritual, ritual sacrifice. Yeah. Just 
is become 100 percent of the runs that have that tree alive do not succeed exactly it, it's one of those things that if but you don't do it you're guaranteed to fail the opposite is not true if the tree's there you still might fail so look we sold the cy there and we got no engine in so i have to make another okay. one you did get a civilian Yes, a Joe. Is it a Joe? Yeah, a Joe. A Joe, you got a Joe. Oh, well, we know what to do, Joe. Yes, sir. There That's we go. right. There yeah. we go. Sorry, oh, sorry Joe. Affirmative. Sorry. Building. Oh. Yeah. Unit well, ready. get an F in the chat for Joe. Yeah, the Allies uh, can be pretty ruthless as well, you know. Yes, affirmative. affirmative. So we need one more engine. Training. Right. Unit ready. Doc hates trees confirmed. Yes, it is confirmed. Thanks, thanks Kratos. Yes, sir. Affirmative. <laughs> What's up, Kratos? How you doing, man? Good yes, to see you, dude. <laughs> yes, sir. Affirmative. Doc right, hates so, Joe confirmed. Uh, F oh, I mean, yes. Because I make um, depots, service depots yes, a lot, and there's always Joes that come out of there. And you have to take them out because Awaiting if you keep the Joes there and someone's going to punch up in your units. Too, what? If someone sends a light yes, tank into your base, or any tank, and they see a Joe, they know you built yes, a depot. Yes, so they oh, know that's that you're right. building. They know you that you have yeah. certain units on the map, so that's you right. have yeah. to do it. That's it's right. a giveaway. So you have to take out the Joes. Joe was two days away from retirement. Yeah, well, he was in he the wrong place. He leaves a wife and two kids. <laughs> he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He should not have gone to work today. He should have teleworked. Yeah. Should have told worked. Do not shoot the um, the ore truck here. The, the harvester. Yeah, if you hit the, the ore truck. Yeah, because that's a theme across all the command and conquerors. As soon as you attack the, uh, the AI, go nuts, the, right? Yeah. As soon as you attack the harvester of the AI, they just send everything, and they're like, "We're not putting up with this. We're not taking our money from us," which is beneficial a lot of the times. Because you can use that to your advantage, and I'm sure you've seen that already. This is already better. <laughs> Joe left behind a wife and two kids. Two kids both named Joe. Joanne and Joanna and Joey. Nice. All right, we have plenty of engineers this time. Oh my gosh, we just lost. Uh, what happened? We got it. We got it. Let's go. We got it. There we go. Oh, but that, that's very hard. That that bit. Um, Derek does a different tactic to me. Uh, he builds up the side and kind of creeps in at the side of the map on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But I don't like doing that. And okay. I've, I've, I've done them both, and they're both pretty much the same in for terms King of um, time. Yeah. So what just happened was is uh, we captured the the Soviet nuclear like headquarters, and we're trying to stop them from destroying London, Paris, Berlin with the nukes. And uh, we're in trouble. We're we're in trouble because the dogs are coming. Yeah, dogs coming, trouble. Tanya. Come on, Tanya. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're in utter trouble there. That is, that's happened to me in the practice as well. I don't know why he, that dog is doing that. And if we lose this, um, it's a restart. It's a restart. On my way. 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 Indeed. There's the dog again, but I don't know why we've been getting that recently. Oh, Tanya. Here we go. We got Tanya. On my way. Cha-ching! <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm there. Got to take out this dog up here because we need to send an engineer up here. Or king and yeah. country. Or king and country. There we go. Yes, or king and commander. Commander. Indeed. I know, I know this is gonna sound weird for a Command and Conquer, but these were my favorite levels. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they, these are great. I love them. They they are the, fun, but the penultimate one is really really tough. Yeah, there's one coming up later that's super hard. But yeah, I think you'll be you'll do good because you set like a world record for that level this morning. <laughs> great. So no pressure. 
I did it a month ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when I was in the in the mindset. Where's he going? Never done that before. It's okay. Just never done that before. Never. Never done that before. Not not, and, not once. No. He's only doing that for GDQ. He's doing it for you guys. Yeah. Special unit behavior today. They've all got first, the nerves. First time it's ever happened and the last time it's ever going to happen. They're all nervous as well. Zoom out. Of it. Affirmative. Engineering. Sorry about these sounds, they're quite repetitive. But... Yes, affirmative. Affirmative. Right, let's get this spy up here. Reading Control Center. Deactivated. Affirmative. Engineering. Affirmative. Unit. Oh! Yes, That's okay. That's that spy. You don't need spies anymore. We got time Shake it, baby. Yes, I'm there. I'm there. Chuck Chu! Ready and wait. Agreed. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Agreed. Right, we've got enough here. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Famous last words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. At least you didn't lose the engineer. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Yes, sir. That's right. Wait, wait, Do you have to keep one. Tanya alive on this level? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Yes. This is one of those levels where, like, yes, you don't actually even have to get Tanya. I think you can beat it without Tanya, but it's way harder. If you didn't know about getting her from the bottom, you would have no reason to think that you could get her from the bottom. <laughs> so you can play the whole level and then find out, oh, I could have gotten Tanya. If I'm not mistaken, aren't all the levels with, like, aren't you required to keep Tanya alive no matter what? Like, in all the levels? Um, yeah. Not the last level. Not the last level. Yeah, not, not the last level. Yeah, not the last one. Yeah. I, I mean, you need her for the first part, but if she dies yes, sir. afterwards, it's no biggie. Right, these yeah. guys go up. Very well. So to distract the flame tower. Unit and then you send the NG on the left. There we nice, go, and that should nice. be it. There we go. GG! GG! Five minutes behind my PB. Uh, cry. <laughs> anyway. Uh, this level is a naval battle. It's called Naval Supremacy, I think. I think it doesn't... They're, both of these levels are... really similar, aren't they? Yes, Reinforcements have arrived. They're both a uh, river on... You go, there's a river yes, at yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you have two MCBs because there's there's a left coast and a, uh, a right coast. That you're supposed to build a base on, right? Construction complete. Wow, I'm just super slow. This is terrible. New construction operations. <laughs> building. Acknowledge. So, just need a ton of tanks. Uh, we got to take out the base. You just have to destroy all enemy forces on this. Uh, well, I thought well, you just have to stop the navy from coming. Their navy from coming. Well, yeah, you have to clear all of the um, the, the Soviet units on the land. And then the naval okay. units will. Um, complete. New construction. Then that they'll be able to, the like, Navy. yeah, they'll be able to. Uh, construction complete. Oh no, that triggers our Navy to come up. Complete. The slowest Navy right. in the world. The Absolutely. slowest Navy in the world. All the yeah. battle cruisers. Right, we need three rocket men. Training. Uh, Are they called battle cruisers? Yes, sir. The battleships. Ready. They're cruisers. Ready. They're called cruisers. Oh my Cruises, god. Yeah. Training. Construction complete. Building. Yeah, that's why we need yeah, 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 yeah. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Building. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Actually, I'm going to get this ore over here first. Building. Construction Kind of have to creep up here with the... Uh, we need the ore here later. Yeah, ready. we need... Yes, and then you got to get close enough to the water to build a shipyard, right? Correct. Yeah. We've got to take the mammoths out when they come around next time around. Cattle bruisers. Yeah, okay, I'm clicking on them there, but... Uh... So th these mammoth tanks will regenerate back to 50% life if you leave them alone. They also have anti-air missiles. Yes, sir. 
They're very expensive and a waste of money. Unit ready. Vehicle reporting. Building. Vehicle reporting. complete. Unit ready. Vehicle reporting. Building. Awaiting uh, affirmative. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Vehicle reporting. Yes, sir. Uh, acknowledge. Reporting. Uh, acknowledge. Reporting. Uh, acknowledge. Uh, reporting. Uh, acknowledge. Reporting. Uh, you do need a lot of tanks to assault the uh, insufficient the base up here. On hold. Cancel. Awaiting order. Construction complete. Building. Building. Have you uh, have you ever done it with the uh, light tanks? No, I would or never. They don't, they don't, no, I would never do that. They take that would be just suicide. Yeah. What are they like? Two shots or something? Uh, I've never tried. It's just hard yes, enough with mediums, you know. Yes, yeah. I just that would be lambs to the slaughter. Repair. Unit right. ready. Building. Report out. Cannot deploy here. We need to see this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. Right, now we need to start making moves up here because we're slowly getting. We can take this out. There's Tesla's really close here, so. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Go, we just go bulldoze in there, take out the Teslas first. Wall factory and then the CY. Construction. Allied out. potato supremacy. Every time. If I remember correctly, they don't start off with their base on the right side even built. They no, they build it kind well. of halfway through. Yeah. So if you have to, if you if you can get over there quick enough, you don't have to deal with them having a big base. That's basically yeah, that's true. Yeah. In real time, this takes two hours to complete, and even then, you have to safely get the ships under or up river. That's right. That's right, if you were playing this casually, it takes about an hour to two hours to beat this level. Oh, a nice feature is that when you're selecting uh, Units and you have a harvester inside of it. I don't think it's it won't select the harvester automatically and yes, group it in there, right? Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much right. Yeah, it did not used to do that. I think the original it would uh select that. It would select yeah, the original it would select, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's something yes, that they a quality of life feature they added. So they added a lot of nice quality of life stuff to uh remaster. I really love Green Monster. I'm very grateful yeah. for it. Glad it yeah. came I, out. I, I hope that they do it for Tiberium Sun and Revelate 2. It would be so good. But I don't think that. I, I don't have to. If, if Petroglyph got, uh, got to, to go, I had to uh, do this. It would be so good. Naval unit, unit lost. That was your transport. Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think you can. If you select them and hit G, I think that they'll handle that on their own. They probably would actually. Guard mode, correct. Yeah. I just uh, forgot. Like, no, I just don't use guard mode much. I don't GQ. I'm um, pretty useless. I just do it yeah. kind of the old fashioned way. I'm very that's it. like I said. There's lots of optimization in this game to be done. Uh, I think it's yeah. a, the perfect speed run. It's a good amount of time. You can practice the levels individually. You've got the options to do that, and you know, in the gaming options. Um, there's RNG, which is uh, always interesting. Right. Yeah. Now you should be good to just roll up the river, take out the subs. If I recall correctly as well, uh, there's some spots on the map where uh, reinforcement subs come on and you can set up your units to just guard that or block it off or whatever. These guys, the these guys are the, the death of me. Yeah. 
Roger. Sold. Waiting orders. Unit ready. Building. Yes, sir. They're just taking a beating. Yes, affirmative. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Unit Acknowledge. ready. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Acknowledge. Yeah, like, this is not good. Because we need enough to, um... Yes, sir. Affirmative. We need enough to actually do the level. That's the most indestructible... Um, all silo. Like, you've ever seen. <laughs> right. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Affirmative. Unit ready. Waiting. Tactic is you grab the, uh... The transport ships, you get the subs to lock onto them, and then you just come in with your, your stuff to do damage. Because the transport ships are way faster than the, uh... The torpedoes. And as you can see, the, the fancy micro is doing right there. What are your uh, orders, Commander? I don't know what to do. Oh, here we go. Yes, what else can I sell? Uh, I don't know. Yes, not, not much really. Yeah, you're good. Just I think you're good. Just roll up the coast. Oh my gosh. Just straight yeah. to the face. I, there's nothing you can do either. Oh. oh, I forgot about those. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's uh, actually the Ukraine faction of the Soviets. The red is the Russian faction. Oh, if you press one, it um, moves your uh, group. <laughs> Because I use bookmarks and uh... Oh my gosh. I use bookmarks and I use press one as well. Oh, we're in a lot of trouble here. Yeah. Yeah, this is not looking good. Like, why is that going? What's he doing? Waiting order. Those Tesla cores really did a number. Yeah, they did. But I think they only have a couple subs left to destroy. Yeah, they hit like mules. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can get that guy from the coast. Oh, look. When your submarine gets taken out by a potato launcher, one more up here. There we go. There we go. That was pretty bad, though. That was terrible. Oh, there we go. Uh, here comes. Here comes the. Uh, Look at the graphics. The, the Allied reinforcements. Insane so graphics. Sparkly water. <laughs> they did a good job with it. I, I, I love what they've done. Unit ready. Building. It does. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. So we just got to wait for these two crews, one of these cruises, to uh, cross at the top of the screen, Unit and ready. this level is complete. But we are quite far behind now. <laughs> Current pace, 147, 1 hour 47. So, five five minutes behind. And I can't make that up either. But never mind. Still enjoying it. It's nice, actually, when you know that the run's over, you, like, from a competitive point of view, you can just relax and actually enjoy it. It's just cruise control from here. Yeah. yeah. And you also, like, you get to you practice the levels that you don't necessarily get to uh, do if you're always going for, like, PB. That's true. You can try other. That gives you an opportunity to try other things. You're right. Um, I've got a bit of time. I actually need to just turn the heating off. It's come on for something. All right. I I'll be right back too. Excellent. <laughs> this is the portion of the stream brought to you by everybody leaving. I feel like I, it would be irresponsible for me to leave as well, so I'm not no. going to. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. I'm back. Excellent. I'm sorry. All right. I was just... Time for you to leave. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> I was just sweating so much, and I just realized that my heating had come on for some reason. I have no idea why. Oh, dear. I, I Ooh, feel for you on that. It is always too hot. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so, this, uh, I think this is, um, is it an inside level? Or an outside level? I can't remember. I think it's an outside level. this one, I think the next one's inside, maybe? Right, outside. I gotta take out the, um, iron curtains. Reinforcements And capture a tech center. Construction options. Building. Construction complete. Right, so first thing we do here is we prepare the <laughs> construction. Take out the villagers and the. This is important, there's money up here as well. We didn't need that spy anyway. Double refinery, we just need to get our eco going on this. I'm back. Welcome back. Yes, sir. I did, I muted all my microphones, right? <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, we didn't hear whatever you were up to. Yes, sir. I was talking <laughs> to my lovely wife about yes, what's for dinner. Very well. well, that's important stuff. Yeah. I'm lucky she, she, uh, because today's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's oh, Day to all the mothers is, out there. It? Yeah. We had plans, and I, I woke up Thursday morning after the 1 a.m. invite to do this. And I, I went downstairs to start working, and my wife was like, we're going to have so much fun uh, riding roller coasters this weekend. And I was like, I'm not riding roller coasters, I'm going to GDQ. And she was like, what? She she knows what GDQ is, so she understood. So we just we moved the celebration to yesterday. Well, that's very understanding of her, and we appreciate yeah. that. Very lucky. Right, so we... Oh, we didn't want to face that so early, so... We'll just retreat now back Ooh. to the base. You have to it's... take that mammoth tank out, right? Because uh, it gets yeah. iron curtained, doesn't it? It only gets iron curtained, I think, if there are civilians here. This is not okay. ideal. Oh. I was expecting oh. it, but not so quickly. So if you, I did not know that. If so, if, if you go in there and wipe out the civilians, they don't they don't protect the, the village anymore. I I think so. I think. Construction Again. I am a bit of a... There's, there's lots of optimizations to be done here. <laughs> Kids, remember, don't camp next to fuel barrels. <laughs> yes, they, they can. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Take your face off. Uh, yes, sir. Acknowledged. Vehicle Acknowledged. reporting. So, I know this is a long stream. Oh, here we go. This, is it you normal can be NATO fatiguing kills? quite now. I, I'm starting to fatigue a bit. And especially because the... Uh, um, the the adrenaline's gone from actually being in sort of a position to do. Yeah. Um, we can put this here actually. Unit ready. Yes, Does NATO normally kill the houses of local residents? No. No, I would say no. Building. Probably no. This is an alternate timeline. You got to remember. Affirmative. Yes, that's right. It was a different yes, time. It was a different time. Literally. It was a different timeline. Waiting order. Literally. <laughs> So we need to make a barracks after this. Like, I, these build orders are all kinds of, um, just hashed together as to, like, what I think it is, or what's right, what I think's right. Uh, we need an engine. Also need some power. Training. See, will the mammoth tank, right, now the mammoth tank. Is, it, is, he gonna t is he gonna turn on? If, if you don't stop him from getting too close, I think he gets iron green. Maybe. And then that's just annoying because he just is staring. Oh no, he there did get iron curtain. Oh, there we go. Yep. Absolutely right. And then he just that's like sixty seconds of him just being an absolute he wants. unit. There we go. So iron curtain is uh, it puts an, uh, a a bright red. Well, you just saw it. It puts a red force field around you that makes you like invincible. We have to go. But if you if you do it on infantry units, I think it just it just takes them out. Yes, sir. Right, so it only works on vehicles and buildings. This is really cool. When we charge this base in a minute, there's only one building that you need to take out. Yes, 
that the uh, tech center, right? The tech center, yeah, and it just basically disables everything. Oh, we've got to go, I think. We've got to go. Let's go. I think, is this the first level you can build cruisers? I think so. Because I feel like I always build cruisers. I, I feel like I always build cruisers and just have them camp on the bottom. Like, right, because you only have access to water right, right there, really, unless you climb up with uh, uh, old, or silos. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I I don't know because again, I I just speed runs. Yeah, I just maybe I can. I don't know. Yeah, confirmed in chat. Iron Curtain is bad for your health. Yeah. Affirmative. Now, do you have to keep the tech center alive? I don't think so. I think I could. I did I sell it? I sold it. Okay. I just that was okay. autopilot, complete. Um, Unit lost. Well, that's Unit that could be risky. Yes, affirmative. Primary building selected. Do all this hard work and then sell it and find out that uh, you lost. Well, I just did it on autopilot, muscle memory. I had no yeah. idea really. Yep. Yes, sir. So you have to capture another building. Tech I have center, to destroy right? an iron curtain. The iron curtain. That's yes, it. So. Well, that's all you have to do. You don't have to finish everything else off. You just roll in there and take out the. Oh, take everything I got out. it. I got it. If you repair that um, wall factory quickly enough, when the helicopters start yes, attacking, then you'll save it. I was oh, too slow. Too slow, I, Chicken uh, Marengo. I want to say that those Apaches come off the map and they're over and over again, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, probably. Unit no, I, I have saved it before. Yes, sir. Yeah. You just have to see it. Yeah. If you see it quickly, as soon as they start attacking, you can, you can save it. They were like, turn on the iron curtain! Hurry up, what are you doing? Oh. Too late. Unit ready. Building. Primary building selected. Right. We are good to go. We're just going to storm base. Unit ready. Let's just go. Unit ready. <laughs> Hellmarks, that's right. Yeah, we love Hellmarks. They have uh, remastered, so uh, Frank Kaplaki redid a bunch of stuff. So there's like three different versions of most of the songs. And they're all obviously masterpieces. Iron Curtain. Wall Factory. Is that it? Let me take oh, out the tech factory. Yeah. The tech center is lost, right? Unit ready. Unit ready. Uh, oh, that's no good. Unit lost. Unit ready. Yes, sir. No. Yes, you got tons of money. What was that? You got tons of money. Do you have yeah. to capture the tech center, or do you have to capture the? Uh, yeah, we got to capture this tech center. Actually, you're absolutely okay. right. Oh, I got a ore track here. Look, you know, so sometimes the ore, uh, the ore truck gets grouped in. That happens sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Unit ready. Building. Yes, sir. Knowledge. Unit ready. There we go. There we go. Mission. There we go. Right now, this is a horrible level. This is the worst. This is the worst. This. So many restarts. So many restarts. Is this it? This is the one this you were it. talking about earlier. Not the last ones. The oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Mission timer? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, gosh. oh, my gosh. Engineering. On my way. Yes, sir. Affirmative. What, just do whatever you did earlier because it was really good. <laughs> last month. Affirmative. Last month. But I swear I watched the VOD and it said that it was this morning. Really? Yeah. No, I definitely was. Oh, oh my look, focus, focus. Ignore me. Focus. I mean, it's okay. It's not for yes, It's not competitive anymore. Remember, so. It's okay. But I would like to not repeat it. Have to restart this. Yeah. You have to keep yes, these units alive as best as possible. Yes, sir. Which 
is really easy to do on casual, but on hard, so much harder. As the name implies. I mean, it's really ridiculous how much more difficult it is. We'll wait, actually, for all the guys to come around here. So, the, yeah, there's units that are patrolling around. There's, there's a box that you can't see yet. And he's going to uh, do what he did to those kids in the village with the barrel earlier. There we go. Wait until there's... There we go. It's too late. Right. Oh, yeah, and you're on a timer. Which is different than the last level, right? Or last time you were inside the, the facility, right? You were timed before. Please take him out. My goodness. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world. We still got two NGs, not, yeah. our medic. We'll get three reinforcements on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just makes it a lot harder. Yeah. It, you'll be good once you uh, get the group back together, but. That's, that's I'm going to use an NG here, I think. So yes. spy here, because it's a grenadier. Keep that one safe. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Right. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Moving out. Affirmative. 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 Unit. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he switched oh. targets. Uh, On my way. Yeah. Yes, sir. On my way. Affirmative. At least you didn't lose the, uh, the medic. Yeah, that's true. That would have been it. That would have been it, yeah. Affirmative. Report affirmative. At once. There's ran yeah, there's random dogs that come right off from, from inside the fog of war, and you almost don't have time to react most of the time to it. Yes, affirmative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They always heal people who don't need healing. Right? Yeah, they heal the, the yeah. Reporting affirmative. Yes, sir. Moving out. Five versus one, and then you almost lose a guy. Every yeah. time. Yes, sir. Agreed. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Affirmative. Part of the part of the reason why that's yes, that's the issue though Agreed. is because Agreed. they're standing their ground, which is gives them a defense. That's true. And if they're moving ever so slightly, uh, and they the they other unit attack. stationary, they just take an absolute beating. Yeah, have to be yeah. stationary. Explosive charge. Yes, Reinforcements have arrived. Affirmative. Remaster. Yes, sir. Actually, we might do this. Affirmative. There we go. Does that heal all of Full heal, units? yeah. Full heal. Or just the but ones that are nearby? All the ones that are selected. Affirmative. Okay. But I, Agreed. They may have been nearby, yes, actually. Affirmative. Affirmative. Another dog here. Affirmative. There is another dog. Yeah, there is. Right, yeah, so now we have to do yes, this sir. bit. Agreed. We got our reinforcements. Admiral. Still going to be tough, though. Commander, my king and country. Well, yes, current country. Medic reporting. Moving out. Reporting affirmative. Ooh, you're so lucky that he healed that, that guy. Yeah. I'm trying to sort of kite as well. Acknowledge very well. Oh, this is. Get much closer than that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Agreed. Agreed. Very well. Yes, affirmative. This is a very hard yes, level to do very quickly. Is that Sean Connery? No, it's Doc. Very well. Affirmative. <laughs> yes, Sean Connery. On my way. Yes, on my way. Yes, on my way. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Okay. Shaken, country. not stirred. Report affirmative. Ready and waiting. Gash mesh money, Penny. Yes, sir. Very well. Report very well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Affirmative. Moving out. One grenade. One grenade. That's all it takes. Right there. Medic report. Affirmative. Affirmative. Right. Yes, sir. Oh. Affirmative. Right. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Uh. Very well. I don't know why they shoot these random scientists. This is not. Yes, sir. Very well. Well, it's not cricket, is it? Affirmative. You shouldn't do that. That means it's not, not very sporting. Affirmative. Obviously. It's not very sporting. They, work, they, they just work for the wrong company. That's all. On my way. Yes, sir. Very well. Affirmative. Very well. Right. This is a yes, very sir. tricky yes, bit. So. Affirmative. Affirmative. This is very tricky because yes, you're up against the grenadier. Indeed. Indeed. For king and country. Indeed. And a puppy. 
I don't think a, a dog has, a single dog has landed an attack on you. Oh, right, lost, no, okay. was that the medic? It's okay, that's okay, we've got another medic up here, that's okay. To lo of all the ones to lose there, the medic was not actually that bad. Yes, yeah. Oh! Why are, he never seen him uh, there we go. Something else you'll notice, uh, yes, pathing is not the best in this game. No. Right, this is a decent amount to go with. Yeah. But they do need healing. Uh, and with one notice, medic, obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer. There's 21 minutes left, and it's uh, it's the clock's ticking at like five times speed or something. Yeah. Right, we don't need the engineer in a group ever. Yes, sir. Uh oh. Yes, sir. No, that's good, actually. That's good. Moving out. Yes, sir. Moving out. Affirmative. Reporting. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Ready and wait. Affirmative. 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 Yes, sir. Well. Reporting. Reporting. Affirmative. Agreed. Waiting Agreed. Acknowledged. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Very well. Well. Somebody really should have designed this base better so that the flame towers could hit all Yeah, the I mean, that's a terrible place to put a flame yeah. tower there. In the corner <laughs> where it's... <laughs> yeah, it's not actually going to do much there. <laughs> and, and there's a wall blocking it. And... Yeah. Yeah, it's Op terrible. OPSEC is not yes, very light, not very good. Yes, sir. At once. Oh, I knew oh. that was bad. I was just being lazy there. Oh. I knew Sorry. that was bad. Another one here. At one. Yes, sir. Affirmative. And then now you just follow the bottom of the map, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yes, sir. Affirmative. There's still tons that can go wrong there, so. Very well. Very well. No pressure. Yes, sir. No pressure. No pressure, Mr. Doc. Mr. Doc. Oh, no. That was good heal. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Agreed. Oh, uh, we lost the medic. So whatever we got now is is it? You got it. You got this. You got this. So there's um. Oh no, that's what's his name. Yes, sir. Affirmative. That's the uh, general dude. One of the generals. Stavros. Stavros. Stavros, isn't it? No. Is it? No, Stavros is. Uh... He's at the end. Yeah. I forget who this guy is. I've never played Soviet Side so And I never watched the cutscenes. <laughs> so I have no idea who it is. So there's got this stuff on the right, there's like one one spot, and then there's a spot on the left. We got we got tons of time. Because I I think Yeah, you got this. Affirmative. Yes, affirmative. Awaiting Yes, affirmative. Yes, that was the Yes, affirmative. Yeah. Sub second in command kind of dude. Yeah. Yeah. Very well. At once. Yes, affirmative. We lose this guy really. Affirmative. 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 Okay, that's good. We need to keep an engineer here. Kratos says his name is Cosine. Okay. That's not what his name is. I'm 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 butchering what he said. It's, it's Cosig. Cosign. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it looks like cosine to me. It's not the guy that, that, that I say before, Cosigan. Cosigan. Oh yeah, Cosigan. There you go. It's Cosigan. But that's the guy we rescued. No, no, because Cosigan's a good guy. Yeah. I'm or traitor. Nobody knows. Flame dude. All right. Let's see what I can find on the Shit other one. Yeah. Very well. Agreed. Agreed. Oh my god. Oh! 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 oh, oh. All right. All right. So, up until that moment, uh, no dog had killed an allied unit, and uh, we just lost two. So, that's out of the way. No pressure left. This is the final level, everyone. Potato final level. It's called No Remorse. Here we go. So you have to move Tanya and the two thieves straight away. 
Reinforcements yeah, have okay. arrived. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. So you get these. You have a bunch of thieves, and obviously, what you'd want to do with them is capture those silos. But there's, I don't think there's any way to to, to get that. I think the the grenades just blow up the, the barrels before you have the opportunity to capture that. I got 100 percent of the time. I don't think you can do it even if you play on like the very slow speed. The, the focus, the concentration. Absolutely. Oh no! <laughs> oh! The dogs from Hades just appeared. <laughs> oh, I think. Never does that. You have to get closer. <laughs> that's See, that's then never. <laughs> then you forget to, like, bring your units down. Yeah. Cha Ching, did you just save that silent? No. Nope. Uh, I never save. I should no, no, save. save the silos. To save the silos. But that I just said were impossible to capture. Oh, there's a Tesla there. You gotta be very careful. Yeah. Chuck Chuck. This is where the zoom ability is really cool. You know. Yeah. You couldn't do that on the original. No. Chuck Ching. Well, also the original. You had to play in like 480 by whatever, 480 by 480 or whatever. Come on. Super zoomed in. So when I was there before, the dog... There, there we go. I know. Okay. Oh no! Oh my god! What? Oh that's no! That's, you should be right. probably. That's probably. Nah, nah, no, no, let's just see if we can do it. Okay. Can we? Yeah, let's I can do it without... I'm just going to see if I can. But yeah, there's a lot of money lost there. Wow. There's money there, so... Okay. Oh! Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. That was the sound of, uh... Oh! Got him. It's clutch. I mean, it's still a terrible time. <laughs> yeah. So I have well, to destroy... I can't get that, so... It's actually quite funny. Same tower will have me. Yeah, because the flame towers work even on low power. Yeah. Flame tower is always fire. They're mm. propane powered. It makes yeah, sense. She's oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Replay mission. Yeah, this is this is great. There's a Tesla there. Got to be careful. Meanwhile, Elon Musk. Uh, so this is reinforcements. Yeah. This is horrible. Okay. So this is speed running. Yeah. You know. So imagine speed, if right? you had been on you had been on world record pace. Nah, I mean, I was doing well at the start. First eight levels, I was I was on fire. But when you haven't played in a month, I think yeah. it's just shown. But it's all good. I just want people to see the run and hopefully enjoy it and want to take it up. You know, I hope everyone's enjoyed it. That's the main thing. What do That's people so think? Fine. What's the vibe in the chat? Do you think people, uh, people are uh, I think I think the chat's been popping off. I wonder if anyone will, will take it okay. take it out. Affirmative. I hope so. Affirmative. I hope so. I really. If there's hope one so. thing people take away from today, I hope it's that it's, if these games are fun. They're easy to get into, uh, and they're fun. <laughs> Which I yeah. said twice, but they're fun. And seriously, they're 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 way more accessible than, than you might think. Uh, yeah, I mean, remastered is very cheap at the moment on Steam. Yeah, it's probably um, twenty bucks, and you get both games. You get access yeah. to ladder. If, if that, I think it's cheaper than that. It might be like fifteen. Can we get a can we get a price check? All right. <laughs> so I I, be I believe we have a European, an American, and a Canadian here. So we're all gonna have different prices. <laughs> Let's, but I will let's, look let's just, it up. Let's just average them to get together, and we'll be good. All right. Remastered right, collection oh. is 27 for me, which is going to be like 22 for the Americans. Uh, <laughs> is, nope, 20. And then... 
Can't you just VPN from someplace and change the price? Hey, what about pounds for the English? <laughs> we still use pounds. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's like. <laughs> I've already got it open. 16 pounds sterling. There we go. It's pretty close. 20 US dollars. We don't want to shoot uh, the. Um... Oh, no, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh. Because you don't want to destroy the crystals. You don't want to dis destroy the gems. You don't want to friendly fire the crystals, yeah. So, uh, there is, uh, Stalin is hiding in a church on the other side of the map, and specifically so the Allies won't bomb the church, but I don't think they know about the war crimes we've already committed. There's a church here with some money in it, which we're gonna... There, there is. It's on the, the coast. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. Oh no, we need that guy back. Construction complete. Cannot deploy. Building. Right. Uh oh. Comes trouble. Oh. So we're just gonna focus on getting our base up and then building enough tanks to move across the map and you move everywhere. What was that noise? No. Oh. Base is under attack. Low power. Construction complete. New construction. There's the church. Get some money out of here. It's always a lovely random crate somewhere. It's nice. Money's always in the church. Building. Always. <laughs> That's contentious. <laughs> right, we'll go for all these second uh, wall factory now. Oh no, there's James here. We can go there. Wow, I've really gone heavy on the eco. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I recall correctly, they you'll get uh, those are the MIGs. Those things flew in. Um, they so they shoot missiles with the Yak shoot machine. They shoot bullets. Uh, I recall correctly, they send mammoth tanks on the north side of the map towards your base, and they use they the iron curtain. And they use iron curtain too. On hold. Uh, even though we destroyed it. Construction. Yeah. So. Oh, I don't think they do iron curtain. Actually, they have. They have one, I think, but I don't think they actually use it. I've never had it used against me. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Acknowledged. Our base is under attack. Building. Unit ready. Yes, we need a group down here. It's just going to be the group down here. Whoa! Okay. Or trucks just sitting there doing nothing. Waiting to get shot. We need money. We need money. Okay, this is group two. Shaggy's still alive. Yeah, <laughs> she's still alive. Is it? I feel like, yeah, I knew. Yes, this is not going that well. Yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done, everyone. Well done for hanging on in there and uh, staying with us. Yes, sir. I, you know, when you're watching yes, runs, it's um. Yes, sir. I don't know about everyone else, Unit but I really lost. like watching the uh, like competitive. Yes, sir. Like when they, you know when they're like close to a record Building. and like. <gasps> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. part of speedrunning I really like. Reporting. When people are just going, for, but a record can come out of nowhere. I know Unit that. Ready. But you know on this one when it's not going to happen. I'm so broke. Funds. So broke. My, my eco management's been terrible. Construction complete. Uh, this is the new graphic. Building. For uh, building. the chat, he was asking if it's the new graphic. Building. Unit lost. Yes, waiting orders. The what? We need to make a move. So. Is this the new? This is new graphics. This is new graphics. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Unit if he hits the space bar, it'll, it'll go. This, is, old this graphics. is the old graphics. And actually, this, this Unit is still, ready. uh, building. really good. 
like upscaled old graphics, I think. Yeah, those look really good. They still look really good, but they're old graphics. Considering this is 25 years old. Yes. Kratos says just blow up more churches if you need money. I think exactly. there's a, a crate on this side of the river, too. There's one right. down here, yeah. Right down there. Like this shot. But, yep, there we go. There's some money. But that's only that was only enough money for, like, three tanks. Need I'll more churches. It. Yeah, we always need more churches. Oh, look at this. Look. Oh, my. Oh, just run those guys over. There's so much, so much money just got ran over. Unit lost. Unit ready. Uh, so you just got to keep the tanks constantly uh, coming something. here. Yeah. But that's something else is that you can queue up uh, up to like 99 tanks. 99 anything, I think. Yeah, that's exactly. On so the original, you couldn't queue tanks. You had yep. to do it individually. That, that to quality play. of life is so nice. So nice. Again, they should all sell now. Oh, yeah. You have to do it in a special order. But that's only the bottom base. There's a there's a base. Yeah, the I wish the top did that. <laughs> they just sold everything. You're like, all right, let's go. Now we have to take out this middle section because of the Tesla. Otherwise, all my reinforcements that I'll send later on will just pass this Tesla and get taken. Yes, sir. Two K credits per crate. It's it's more like two and a half tanks, really. Yeah. Well, they're like 800 apiece, right? Okay, it's actually almost three tanks. We're going back down. And I keep updating my bookmarks as well as I go along. So that's uh, shift uh, W. No, shift R. Take that out because it's just here. All right. Shift R. Unit lost. Uh, yes, we are so broke. Unit ready. Building. Right, here we go. Ready. I, I wish Final I could buy a tank now. for 800 ready. euros. Yes, <laughs> yeah, uh, me too. What, you guys don't have tanks? No, tank. no, we're not allowed to have oh tanks. God. I think uh, maybe you can. I... I think we can have tanks. I think they're just really expensive. And I think they have to not have engines or something. It's, I think it's like engines, and I don't know about you, but I don't know, like... I know treads like that aren't legal, but I don't know what the ramifications yeah, are. Yeah, uh, tanks, tanks are definitely not street legal, but I think you no, can have them on your farm. <laughs> sure, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 800 monies. That's right. Tanks actually cost 35 to 40k secondhand. Wow. Which is $800 in, in 1950s currencies. Yeah, that's right. Inflation. This is crazy, this final level. This is, honestly. This is, yeah, this is absolute madness. Carnage. I like to take out the powers just because I don't want the Teslas being yeah. activated. You see that church right there? That's where Stalin's hiding. But yeah, or no, he's not. He's hiding in the command center next to the church. And he put the church there so that we wouldn't do air attacks on it or whatever. But yeah, taking out the power is almost better than disabling the Teslas individually. We are almost there. Oh, uh, oh look, another church. <laughs> oh, oh, what have I done? Oh. Ah. I'm pressing one instead of um. Ah. Uh, it one's doing the center of mass for the. Yeah, one senses your group. That's right. So you're uh, most likely you're hitting a hotkey that's selecting all of your units across the whole map. That's correct. Yeah. Right? 
which and then if you if you tap one again after you add them to the group, it puts you in the center of mass of of the group, so it pulls you away from the screen. Which is the quality life upgrade too. I don't think you could you could select across the the screen before. If you we are nearly done. Know about it. And we get to see the final cutscene. We are. And we get to see so the best cutscene. It is the best. I love it. You can see why it's called No Remorse, this level. It's an absolute beast of a level. I love it. Just gotta keep the tanks coming. If you take out the airships before the MiGs land, I think they just. Could do, yeah. I just. I choose to just do it the uh, certain way. Just personal preference, I guess. Oh yeah, no. I'm saying I think that they just they they just blow themselves up. Oh right, yeah, that's true. One final war crime. There we go. There we go. And then you're gonna have to take out the helicopters. We don't. Uh, we can't oh. take the helicopters out. All trucks, oh. yes. And then dogs, obviously, they're always quite annoying. Joes, we have to take Joes out. Get the Joe, get the Joe. Get through the mine fields. Random tanks. Now we're just going to shift A now. Shift A is select everything, every unit. Shift A. Whereas I kept a tank uh, group over here for... Um, here they are. And this... is going to be it. As soon as it says mission accomplished, that's the end. Oh. <laughs> Where's one more <laughs> units? Yes, sir. Tanya's looking. Oh, it's these. It's these. What? How anticlimactic yes, sir. is that? Oh, yes, sir. That's terrible. Yes, sir. I like to end there. Even Tanya's into Building. the right. Yes, sir. Okay, this should be it. There we go. Let's go. GG. 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 <laughs> and here we go, the cutscene. Thank you very much, guys. Let's watch this. Obviously, these are Americans saving the yes, day. I think so. <laughs> the best acting you'll ever see here. Moaning and grumbling. Over here, I found someone. Jeez Louise, it's Stalin. Jeez Louise. Think that bastard would survive? I love how he has a grenade launcher on the bottom of his well, rifle. Orders are orders. Come on, help me get him out of here. Come on, come on. Private, what do you think you're doing? Sir, it's Stalin. He's still alive. Private, I don't see anyone there. Right here, sir. It's I don't Stalin. believe you heard me, Private. I don't see anyone here. Do you? He spent way too much time in the pain, but... That is a bit red, isn't he? No, sir. I don't see anyone. Must have been the wind I heard. That's what I thought. Now move out. This is pretty cold. <laughs> what we're watching. Stone Cold Stavros. I love it. He's like here. Amazing graphics. <laughs> it's so real.
<laughs> it doesn't look fake at all. No, at all. Hit the space bar. No, don't hit the space bar. But change it to the real graphics. <laughs> Did you imagine if they remastered these? Uh, but the same people. Nah, no, no, that'd be. They did like, touch do the whole acting again. This at the end, he just that that he just ah oh, throws his hands up. Celebration. That's, that's Fatality. it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. That was awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, that was good. Thank you both so much. Uh, do you have anything else uh, you want to say? Um, just give it a chance. Um, get. We'd love to see some more names up on the leaderboards. There's only two at the moment on the hard, and the um, Soviet campaign hasn't really been touched on hard, so if anyone really wants to give it a go, uh, it's a really good run. It's got everything. I think it's got everything in the run. You can even have a toilet break on level eight, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, uh, the, there are tons of open records to be taken for casual, normal, hard, for Allied and Soviets, and for both the expansions. And uh, also, there's ladder, and we would love to have more people involved in the community. Yeah, absolutely. Also, just we're, we're happy to help follow. as well. We're happy to help in any way possible that we can. Yeah. But you, you heard give, me throughout the run. I, I clearly know nothing, but uh, I will yeah. help the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> you should, and make sure you give Doc a follow. Ah, uh, don't show no, him some support. We're, we're, it's it's all good. It's all good. Uh, everyone's yeah. awesome in the speedrunning community. Love it. You guys are awesome. Games done quicker. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Yeah, uh, thanks for yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you both so much for being on. And yeah, like uh, we've been saying all day, the community is very uh, helping. You know, if you need any help, just let us know. We'll help you out with whatever game uh, you need help with. Because, uh, you know, we, we all want to have more speedrunners in our community. So uh, thank you both uh, so much for showing up, for uh, showing off the runs. Uh, we do have more games coming up. So we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back with the next run. All right, thanks. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. Today is our can't do do. Ooh, clo oh, I was so close. I was so close to not having one of these all day. Command and Conquer Community Showcase. We're having games from all of the Command and Conquer series on, and uh, we have uh, Command and Conquer Remastered. And this is Nod Hard. I'll uh, I'll let the uh, runner and commentary introduce themselves. Hello, hello. It's Pezza here. I'm the speedrunner for Command and Conquer. I'm doing this for about. A year and a half, I think, um, doing speed runs on on this game. Um, it, Command and Conquer is slight disambiguation. It's the original Command and Conquer, uh, Command and Conquer One, the, the game that kicked off the franchise. Um, sometimes we call it Iberian Dawn in the, in the uh, in the community to kind of make it clear which which version it is because we're we're, all, we're play, all playing Command and Conquer games today from the series. Um, I'm playing, going to be playing the Nod campaign on hard because I hate myself. Um, that's kind of the hardest. I, I think most people agree that the Nod run is the hardest run and obviously hard is the hardest difficulty. Um, it's kind of come at, at a good time for me because I've been grinding this run um, to get world record times on hard mode. So I kind of know it, but there's still there's quite a lot of uh, risk. Uh, there's There's a bunch of levels where we just have to hope that RNG goes our way. And there's a bunch of levels where the strats are kind of um, uh, on the edge and, and may go wrong. Uh, so we're going to hope for the best. We're probably going to make a little bit of uh, safety saves and stuff just to make sure that we get through. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Euler is here as well, and he's going to be doing the uh, the commentary. You're here, right, Euler? I can't hear him. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> yes. Hi. Oh, oh. oh he's dropped. He dropped. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Right. Hello. Okay. He's there now. Right. <laughs> Oilers here still again. He's going to do the commentary. Uh, we're going to get on with the run. Uh, the run will start when I click on this lovely nod icon. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go in three, two, one, ow. Brotherhood of Nod. Now we're off. Uh, so 
First mission. Yes, sir. Reinforcements yes. have arrived. Yes, sir. Yes. These are have these not buggies. They're pretty terrible. We're basically just ignoring the rest of the units. I'm going to try and do the whole level with these ones because they're the quick ones. But they're very fragile, and so we're probably going to die. This is one of the levels where we hope for a good RNG. We've got to get past these troops on the... Ah, oh, we did This is a white. Okay, yeah, we got to restart yeah. already. So, he, he, he's he got to get these buggies all the way through that, what you just saw, with all that minigun fire. And then he's got to cross that bridge, and most of the time there's a, a civilian. I think it might be a, it might be a Joe also. And he, uh, he'll block the bridge, and then that to, causes a wipe. Yeah, we have to kind of manipulate these minigunners to run in the right places for us. But they don't really want to... Oh, they're not letting us pass again. Uh, <laughs> this is a good start to the run. Two restarts on, on level one. Oh yeah, sorry about the screen flicker for a uh, little restarts. Right, third time lucky. There's one specific spot I can put these, these buggies in. Just up here somewhere. Where I'll draw all those minigunners down. That's it. That's what we want. All the minigunners come down, that's better. And then we can run we can run them in a circle. We can hopefully get over the bridge. One of the big features of this run is is like the car thing. And going over bridges is horrible. This is the guy we've got to kill. As long as he doesn't run away too much, we've got it. Okay, I, I think I'm back. Am I back? There we go. We're through. I don't know why this keeps happening. Level one it wasn't done. happening. Another run. You're back. You're, you're, you're back again. Sorry, you're, you're back. back again. So this level, you, you gotta build a little base, take out a, a GDI base. You see that green stuff okay. on the oh. map? That's the, the resource for the game. It's called Tiberium. Hence the name Tiberium Dawn. It's uh, highly toxic and hurts infantry units. Construction complete. As they move across it. Oh, get it. Tried to get the harvester there, but it didn't manage. It didn't work this time. But this level is the most reliable level. <laughs> the, way that, the way that we do it. Yeah, it really is. Because it's just mini gunners, right? And you got a bunch of money. You just pump them out. Yeah. Because the way it's not the way they, they intended this level to work. They want you got a harvester and, and everything. And, the whole nine yards. We don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. We can just. Uh, time for that. Yeah, we don't have time for that in this run, so we're just uh, we're just gonna go nuts with these minigunners. And Tiberium happens to be doing this small minor thing of terraforming the entire planet to be in inhospitable to human life, but and details. That's right. Hey, hey, spoilers! 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 spoilers. No. <laughs> it's not this Tiberium game. <laughs> is the future. I am the future. <laughs> Oh, uh, we've got we've got minigunners all over the map now. It's, it's not it's not ideal. So did did you did you yeah. tell them that you're we're a, a terrorist organization? <laughs> we didn't we we didn't talk about Nod yet. Nod are the bad guys. So we are the bad guys. And there's going to be quite a lot of war crimes in this yeah. uh, in this run. Uh, we are we are up we, against GDI, which is Global Defense Initiative, which is uh, like a uh, a UN United Nations funded army that's specifically put together to deal with Tiberium and the threat of Nod. And I am a mechanical man, yeah. So this, this, this one is, uh, is one where we, we, need, we need a good help of luck with the RNG. Um, you're supposed to, again here, you're supposed to be building your base. Oh, that's not good. You're supposed to be building your base up. Um, but all we need to get in is, oh, uh, we lost. <laughs> we'll restart that yeah. one. You're supposed to be building not, a base up. Uh, yeah, not are the get, good guys for sure from a certain point of view. Certain perspective. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be building your base up here. Canes. Yeah. Uh, but instead, we just want to we want to get the uh, construction yard up to the top. Yeah. Up here. Because we, we we gotta we gotta get our uh, compatriots out of uh, the, the GDI prison that they built. In what is this Egypt or something? Yeah, or the Sudan. So, what it wants you to do is build up a base and get an engineer and run up here and capture this. But instead, we sell the construction yard and we hope we get an engineer, which we did. Which yeah, we did. Try. There we okay. go. Nice. So are we the four. baddies? We're we're going to see. We're going to see some war crimes on this one. 
because our job yeah, is so to... Yeah, so we have to take out a village, right? Yeah, we've got to wipe a village out. I, don't, I can't remember why, but we're wiping the village out. We're going to wipe the village out for the same reason we had to take out Nakumba. In a bad village. A threat to our supremacy in the region. We want to run through, but this has already gone wrong because this guy didn't bother to run through. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we... So, the only thing that we have to do in this level is destroy uh, some of these... Uh, Civilian this, structures. This is go it's gone. It's, it's gone wrong because that buggy got stuck, and so these guys are going to kill my vehicles. You if we're lucky, might we take out that grenade, and then you might yeah, be. If able we can to... get the grenade, it might be okay. Nope. That's. Oh no! I'm going to restart. Yeah, They're all going to die. <laughs> yeah. It's all because that buggy got stuck. It's, an, yep. it's, an, it's a small risk associated to that, yeah. but it's not too bad because it's quite a quick level. Yes. So we want these these vehicles just to shoot down the map down here and not get stuck and not fire on these guys ideally. But pathing, like this game is awful for pathing. Like, so yeah. Is... If you you just watched you just got done watching the the red alert run and you thought the pathing was bad there, it is fundamentally much worse. Okay, we're good. Even we're, though we're, the game's a year year difference. We're better here. We're better. These guys are a bit further behind than they usually are. But they're okay. So it's a little bit little bit slow, but this is this is more or less the bet the pattern that we want. We want to keep all those vehicles there. And then we just gotta go around and, and kill these kill these buildings basically. Yeah, that's it. There we go. There's nothing else that's gonna come and get us. I just gotta hope that the uh, the guys actually do what I tell them to do. It looks like they're listening to you. Yeah, we're doing it. Sometimes they just like to stand still and do nothing. Yeah. Okay, we're through. Always be blowing up churches. Yes. They got the money. That's where the money is. Yeah, you gotta get the money. Yeah, this is the the, the Sam site mission. Yeah, gonna, so this level, you have to build a base, we have to destroy a GDI base, and build a SAM site, which is the surface-to-air missile launcher. And if we don't, if we forget to build the SAM site, we can't yeah. win the level, which yeah, is really something that happens build, all the time. Remind me to, to build the SAM site. Yeah. So he's going to drive up into, almost right into the, the, the GDI base. There's, he's, he's half a screen away, and he's going to build into it. Yeah, we're going to try and try and build our our base and base creep into their base, basically. Yeah. And so something fight. that's different uh, from the other uh, Command and Conquer games that you've seen is we only need one engineer to capture any enemy. Yeah. Building, engineers, engineers are the real heroes in this game. Engineers are so overpowered. They're so. Overpowered. See, he's like tanking that mini gun or the the, the guard towers, uh, fires, shots with uh, the handed nod, which is nod's bunker or nod's. Uh, yeah, so we captured their building mm -hmm. there, and then we need to remember to build a sam site. It's the important thing. So we can get more money by selling that. Then this is going to be okay, as long as I don't sell my construction yard early, which is what I like to do sometimes on the devil. Okay, so we can sell that now. We can just build a bunch of guys and we can just mop up, mop up their stuff now. Are you going to go chase that harvester down? Yeah, there's still a harvester down there. He should come back though. He's, a, he's, he's got... Looks like a big bad beetle boards. Okay. Anybody remember that show? Done it. So? Big bad beetle boards. I okay. I don't believe you, so I guess I'm opening up Google for the um, for the billionth time. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this is this is the quickest level. Blink and you'll miss it. As long as I don't screw it up. It's just we're just gonna run around and grab a crate with this guy, uh, and then that'll be it. Basically, we just grab that. Yeah. So that that crate contains a component for a nuclear weapon, which is why it was very imperative that we got it. Later on, done. 
This is going to be an RNG level, this one. One minute permission, yeah. For the most part. So this level, you have to uh, wipe out the entire village. Just the people, not the buildings. Yeah, so more, but, more, more war crimes going on in this one. Yeah. But the buildings are on the other side of a GDI base, so we have to get through the base. Yeah, we've got a rough all we need, base. All we need is a couple, a couple recon, re, maybe one recon bike and one buggy, but we got to get through. Well, yeah, we're just going to send it down the middle, basically, and hope that we make it. Uh, yeah. That's the strat here, and if it doesn't work out, then we're, we're going to reset. <laughs> that's, on, that's... on normal mode, or on, yeah, on normal mode, you can just drive the MCV all the way through the base and build a new base over there if you need well, to. It's not looking too fantastic because that tank's on red. Oh, we're going to, we're probably going to die, but let's go for it. See if we get through. Anybody can get through? We've got two bikes. Two recon bikes. Yeah, start clicking. I don't know, I don't know if we, uh, we're probably not going to make it. Oh, they're probably chasing not going to work. Bike, so. The bikes are not so good at killing these guys. What we can do, I don't know, that, we can get them to chase that guy all the way up, but no. We're all out. Uh, it's going to be a reset because these guys are going to kill it. Let's, let's go again. It didn't work out. Yeah. That was, it, does, it doesn't always work out. It doesn't out. always work out. Uh, this is uh, just one of those ones where you kind of have to. Uh, Hope for the luck. There's a lot of RNG in these runs, and uh, exactly who gets attacked by what, and how much damage they take. It's all a little bit hit and miss. And, uh, yeah. This one is very much. If we get some runovers here, it makes, it makes a surprising big difference because we can get rid of some grenadiers. If we get some good pathing, like we're not getting with that construction yard. The, so what's the difference between normal and hard? Uh, on hard mode, the enemy has... Well, the, the computer on hard, they they have more life. They do more damage. You have less life. You take more damage. I think your stuff costs more. Their stuff costs less. Uh, the computer, the AI isn't any smarter, though. Yes, the AI they, does, they, still does they, the same All stuff. they did for hard mode was really change the stats. We've got quite a lot yeah. this time. So we should hopefully be good. Yeah, this should be good, but they can still take everything They can out. still wipe me out. And just be careful. And sometimes there'll be random civilians just hiding. Sometimes yeah, they attack the find civilians. find the last one. Let's find the last guy. Where is he? Down On there. the right, maybe? No, nope, right, there, right there behind that building. Yep. No, it's not the last guy. Oh, oh my goodness. That's the last one. Oh, I'm going to wipe again. Because... Oh, there, right there, there. it is. <laughs> it's all the way up there. Got him. <laughs> okay, which, this is this is the one. Uh, annoyingly, my my splits are wrong on my screen, but it's that level. This is the, this is the one which I really don't like. Ready and wait. Away, sir. Starts from oh, yeah, this level's well. hard. This is, there's, there's lots of bad stuff. And it starts bad here because you don't really have enough units to do this fight. The beginning, they give you a very few starting units. Um, so you have to do quite a lot of micro here. Oh, I lost one. Try and take out this grenadier. <coughs> we run over here. We got some broken base over here that we're gonna have to sell immediately to get some engineers and go and capture yeah. the enemy base. And we didn't get engineer, so that's, that's annoying. Yeah, that is unfortunate. There's a, other, yeah, there's a GDI base on the other side of this river. There's base over here we're going to capture yep. when we get when we get our engineers ready. Unit ready. Yes, sir. And we lost. Oh, no, you missed a cycle. Yeah, well, I always miss that cycle. Uh, so I'm not, that's not a big problem. The more of the big problem is that we're 500, we're 500 down on, on the money. That's, that's the more annoying thing. Um, New construction. So those rocket launchers yeah. are targeting his yeah, helicopter. Yeah, these guys are coming after the helicopter. We're going to have to do a little construction little dance building. with the helicopter in a minute because we want him at full health because we're going to do some GDI some building. slightly broken Capture. stuff with the helicopter. Uh, helicopters are great in this game because they can, they can, they're a bit broken with the way that they work. So we're going to go up to there and back down so that we don't get attacked. 
The strat space is going to be um, build this New helicopter full of engineers and then. Uh, yeah, you gotta get vision. It. You gotta get vision of their base, probably with the harvester. Load up some engineers into the, uh, the helicopter, and then fly into their base and capture all their stuff, and then just start capturing buildings with engineers. That's the thing. You gotta. There's the. So he's sending this guy up top right now because there's orcas, which are flying missile platforms, basically. Yeah, we're gonna and bring the down. He's gonna bring them down. They they want to take out his mini gunner, but. They're not going to because his bazooka troops that he started with are going to do the job. Or rocket soldiers, sorry. They're going to take out the the orcas, and the computer will never rebuild the orcas. Yeah, there's. there's there we go. Good, we got them both. That's nice. But we're at, we're at, we're down on money a little bit because we had to. Uh, Building. We had to. Uh, so this, this guy, he's going to be the scout now. I'm going to move that one over there. We're just going to pause for these guys. Seriously. Those guys are coming from the top. They're trolling me a bit. Because we don't want them following the harvester. That's the main thing. Yeah, it's fine. Because they can follow the harvester all the way. Oh, uh, unlike... All the other Command & Conquer games that, that you've seen today, you have to build your buildings adjacent to your building. So you don't have any space between them, which can be quite annoying. Oh yeah, we're going to do a quick save here. I remember that. I almost forgot, because this can go wrong. <laughs> this, is, this is high risk, because we're, we're taking the harvester, we've sold off our construction yard. Uh, we need to get, we need to see enough of the base, and if that happens, it's not great. Um, but we just need to see enough of the... What's that? Where's that tank come from? <laughs> Where's that tank come from? Why is there a tank there? Seriously. <laughs> okay, so we might... This This is probably a white. Um, that tank's not usually there. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can do it. No, you're good. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Okay, we're lucky, but this. those tanks are going to kill my base, probably. But you don't so, need the base, because you're we'll going to have your own base. I need yeah, to be able to sell base. the base in a minute. All their base are belong to you. Okay, so we're capturing stuff up here. And then we're going to sell that for the money. And the idea here is that uh, we then put this here and build some engineers in their base. And start capturing stuff. While they now you can sell your MCV, right? Yep. You got to take out that. We need that to take power that power point. as well. There's slightly too many. Slightly. Ah, uh, no, it's not worked. There's too many. Too many well, of these guys. That's what the save thing. was for. Yeah, that's why we saved. <laughs> it's too too many. I was slight. I I was slightly save. too slow. Load the save. Load the save. We didn't quite aggro them all. Um, so we'll. we'll I, I restarted, didn't I? Rather than loaded. Yeah. That was load muscle memory. <laughs> We'll, we'll load up the one we just saved, because yeah, that that happens sometimes where it doesn't quite work out. But we'll, we'll do the same again, and hopefully it will it will work out this time. Well, maybe you'll get more. Uh, oh. We still got we still got quite badly damaged by the airstrike. Uh oh, yeah. The airstrike's pretty brutal. Well, that, the tank seemed to be aggroed for some Oh, reason, you got... Which isn't well, that, bad. That works, that not works. bad news. Yeah, okay. It's not too bad for me because it means the tank's not in the way up here anymore, so I don't take yeah. as much damage with the helicopter. That doesn't usually happen. So, yeah, things things, things that don't usually happen are happening again. <laughs> as yeah. is the pattern for today <laughs> on these runs. <laughs> the Monocog is having one of those days. Oh, the helicopter back on the bottom. So yeah, we just put some we just put some uh, sandbags down so we've got somewhere to build <laughs> off of, and then we do that. Yeah. So, have you guys ever heard of the uh, the sandbag strategy? The computer will not attack sandbags or walls. 
and you can just you can basically beat the computer with we just walls. That, yes. If you're playing yeah, casual. So it worked this time. Uh, we captured their barracks, so that's very important because we can. Uh, and really, we would like to um, take a harvester if we can. I don't think we're going to be able to. No, don't attack it. What? Oh, there's a tank behind it, isn't there? So instead, yeah. we're going to try and build a tank if we can. Where, where's all the money? Build a tank and then sell the, the weapons factory. So this war factory is is glitched. It does not let yeah, you sell. Yeah, there's a war Okay. Okay, so we're just going to capture that factory. for a bit more money. I do not have as many troops as I would like at this point. There you go. Yeah, there you go. For some reason, that war factory is glitched, and the tanks, the yeah. units always pop out behind it. It's important to build a tank if we can't capture the harvester because we've got some guard towers to take out. Yeah, so that medium tank is going to take. The, it's going to keep the infantry alive. It's going to go and take out these things. I do not have as many units as I would like at this point. I don't really know why. I'm going to sell some stuff. And... Oh, that guy's just taking, getting killed. We don't have anything else to sell. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys that hide down here as well. We're going to have to take them out. Um, yeah, he's going to aggro the guard towers quickly while I do this. Otherwise, my... Um, Infantry get absolutely destroyed. And then we're gonna get down here. Uh, I don't really Grenades? like taking I don't really like taking out harvesters with infantry because they like to run you over. The AI for the harvesters defending themselves from the, the AI for the harvesters is pretty is brutal. Uh, so okay. we'll just keep back some guys for a minute while we go in here and see what's see what's up. Oh that's a lot of units. Yeah, so they'll just run me over there. <laughs> uh, but I got a tank, which is good. Well, the good news is, is you can't lose. Yeah, it's a double, double. I can't lose. It's good. It's a little bit of time loss. <laughs> uh, but the tank, they can't row with the tank, and there's no other units left, so we should be good. And there's one more. Oh, my, where is he? Where did he run to? There he is. So we got. We're, we're getting past level eight here. You can you can do it like this and do scatter, Mission but it takes a long time. There we go, we're through. Well, I believe least. that's with the, the X key. Yeah, you can get through there. So yeah, that's my least favorite level uh, of this run. We've got past it, so happy times. And here is a more fun one with the commando. You got leverage. You got it. I'm on it. Have I'm on it. Um, yeah, so this level, you get a commando on the bottom. And then we have uh, two engineers and uh, some rocket troops, and we're we gotta we're supposed to recapture our base and then go take out their base, but the the AI has a build order and it hasn't started doing anything yet, so we're we're gonna go take out their base before they even have the opportunity to do anything. Yeah, that's right. We're supposed to go bottom left with all these troops and, and uh, gain control of our base there. Instead, we're going top right. See, they don't even. They're, they're, his engineers are just running right through his guys. They don't even care. Um, we'll do some. Yes, we'll do some fiddly stuff up here. So you, yeah, you have to, to yes, pay close attention no to the sub location of the uh, rocket just, soldiers. We just aggro out we got Yep. We gotta get that orca yeah, out they're of in the, the wrong space. Otherwise, they're they're in the wrong spaces. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen. <laughs> okay, that's better. We need these two forwards. And then forwards one more. They have to outrange the um, the guard towers, otherwise they all die. And there's only certain places you can get them to stand. It's very micro, though. I think in most of the other games, it's not the case where like your units they kind of stand randomly, but. Certainly, in these early games, they stand in squares of five. Yeah. They've got five possible yeah. locations. Uh, and these guys can outrange the guard towers, but only if they stand in exactly the right spots. Yeah, and that's because every everything is a tile, and the infantry have five locations that they can stand like a, you know, like a, a die. 
five side of the yeah. die, of the six sided die. So if the commander goes down there now and we do some slightly risky stuff up here. So we're going to go in here and we're going to capture a silo, which draws the fire of a Humvee. And then we're going to capture a barracks. And then we're going to just start making engineers. Yeah, so we're going to go, basically we're going to start capturing their base. And the AI doesn't really care that we're doing that. For reasons. Good. Oh, they rebuilt that guard tower already. That sucks. So first we go for this. They built another guard oh, tower. They built it back wow. as well. That doesn't yeah, that, normally happen. That's <laughs> never happened before. <laughs> at, at, least it, at least it wasn't an advanced guard tower. They built it so quickly. Okay, so that we capture that, we capture that, we sell that. We've got two guard towers to bug after now, which is annoying. And, then, and we're gonna build a tank. Did you get a tank? Oh, and, and then missed, you got to, Oh, you missed the cycle. Missed, and I missed the harvester as well. So that feels. That seems like I've been really slow. But, but, but I don't think that I have. I don't think you've been slow. I, which is... <laughs> was I was I dawdling too much? It must have been something you did last level. We've got, we got some weird RNG going on. But it should be okay. Yeah. Should be a, it should be fine. So I'm going to take that back up there. Things are happening. So we should sell that. We just need to build engineers up there now. We're waiting to capture the harvester when it comes back. So that turret is for that tank. Yeah, the tank's doing weird things as well. But he he's yeah. going after. He wants he wants the commando. I think. Yeah, he's going off to the commando. Great. They, they have there. a gunboat. They have a gunboat right below you on the river. We're going to start capturing stuff. We might be able to build that guard tower again now. That's I grade slightly. We want to get that before we get airstrike, that's for sure. Yeah, on airstrike we wipe out all your yeah, stuff. So sort of an un unwritten fact in this is that... Um, oh, I lost it. I heard my commando die, so that's kind of sad. Computer needs uh, comm set, or comm center yeah, to, the comm center uh, to do the controls airstrike. the controls uh, the airstrike. I don't think that that's true on every level. Uh, and I don't, is that actually true on the original? I don't think that's true. I think the computer just has it. Okay, so it didn't go perfectly. Oh, there's the gunboat that we were talking about. But you don't have to destroy the gunboat. It doesn't count. need to take that, something. No. Ooh. Right, Ooh. We're going to go down here and kill this guy because he's annoying me. So we're just going to build as many troops as we can at this point and hope that it's enough. Oh. Did this guy get damaged? You might as well sell that now. <laughs> what are you doing, Tank? Are you gonna, gonna attack me? I think he's gonna get run over. All right, I've run out of money now. So that's all the troops. This this needs to be enough troops to win. I'm just gonna do, do this. Because it might not be. <laughs> um, so we're gonna aggro some stuff and that's, that'll bring all their units for me. Annoying. I, I lost. Yeah. I've lost quite a few stuff here, uh, and they've got guard towers again. Oh, the Humvees gonna take out you. Oh, oh, they're just they're going for something. They're driving right in, right into your kill box. Yes, yeah, this is what I want. <laughs> when I want yeah. them to come come at me. Uh, we got a couple. Oh, uh, you got you got enough troops to take it out because the rocket troops are. You can take out the the guard towers with the rocket troops for sure. As long as you don't lose a grenade that causes... So when grenades die, they yeah, explode. Yeah, the grenadiers will explode on themselves. And is... if they all have low life, the whole thing just goes off. We'll, uh, we'll get bad times. Okay, good. Uh, now I need to try and figure out how to kill these guard towers from up here. Guard towers are not a horror every day. This doesn't usually happen. Usually... Oh. <laughs> doesn't usually happen like this. Normally we're... we're, we're we're slightly better off in terms of troops. And they have built back both their guard towers at the beginning as well. Oh, I oh, can't get around. All right, well, I think I've messed it up. And there's another tank as yeah, well. Yeah, that's a reload, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to sort these guard towers out from this angle. This guy can do it. 
from there. Is under I think happen. you can do it from right below the uh, silo on the right side. Right? Let's do this again. I might have, I might have soft locked myself here a little bit. Because I did have a tank. I'm not sure what happened to the tank. Somehow he got killed and all that excitement. Mm. And they built back both guard towers, which doesn't normally happen. Normally there's just this guard tower down here and we don't care quite so much. Yeah, because if it's just one guard tower, we can just run right in. Yeah, you can, you can do one guard tower fairly quick, fairly easily. I think I'm going to try... I come uh, down. Here comes the tank. I've got hardly any rocket soldiers this time. That's bad, this is bad. This is a bad place to be in. I can't oh, no, really go, I you can't go you under can't them. Go through them. Can't I can't go under them. Is there another, another tank. tank on the map? Another tank, I've got no money. Um, yeah. It's the, it's, maybe, it's, it's, yeah okay. maybe it's time to call it. This is unfortunate. <laughs> Might have to restart this level. I'll give it a go. I think you can get those towers with... How many rockets you got? Three? Just these guard uh, towers. Can you do with three? Right, let's, let's just, just, just go. We've got one. Oh, that grenade, though. Watch out, he doesn't care. Go for it. Okay. All right, get the next thing. No, 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 get can do it. Yeah. We can do it now. <laughs> oh, look, those rocket guys are going to take you out. Your own friendly fire. Just go. I'm going to do it carefully. There you go. <laughs> Go. Oh, it's a bit slow for a, a bit slow for a speed run, um, but I'm I, I'm scared you of guard towers. It just got it. like I said, it doesn't usually it. happen. Usually we have a tank, and usually go, they haven't go, rebuilt go, these. Go, 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 You got it. Go, go. <laughs> Boom. Oh, what? It's not what? the last thing though. So, all right, all right, all right. There's, there's money be, in a church. There's money in the church on the there's, left. There's going to be one. Like, there's rocket there's money in the, somewhere. There's, there's there's money in a church on the left. I don't need money. I need to find out who, where where the last so thing is. To make more units. <laughs> where where's where's the things? He's in the silo on the bottom right, standing right in the middle. Or I mean the the, the field on the bottom right. Who? Right away, sir. Okay. Right away, sir. Did you somebody chase chase? Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. I you saw that? Holy! <laughs> That's good eyesight. How do I get there without? Is he getting... coming? He's he move. He's moving. How do, no, I, no. how do I get there without dying from the, sh the gunship? You just <laughs> attack him with one guy. Just just bait him out with one dude. Out. You might be able to control fire the ground here. Waiting more. Roger. Ready and but that's why I was saying you could go to the church and Ready get the money and then build more troops. Yes, sir. That's alright. Should be good. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Okay. <laughs> cool. That was obviously a lot slower than it should have been, but never mind. Uh, which one of so, these do I need to choose? I uh, think it's uh, this one. That's the that's probably the whichever one you want. Ten. Yeah, we're going here, I think. Is this the I, This is I, the main thing. If one. I click the wrong one, then I just will load go the right one. I will go back and load it. Yeah. No, we're good. This is it. So we are going to assassinate the scientist who's doing the research for the iron cannon. And uh he's on an island, so we're driving these buggies straight up to the top of the map because we have to get sight of the uh highly secured top secret ion cannon research center that's located in some random country in africa in the mid 90s and um when we do that we're hoping that one of the civilians is yeah. going to use a flare that lights the stuff up and once we get over here okay, then we'll we get up. there we go it, there's the flare okay. first try this right, one that so one can go wrong um but we got the helicopter there. we're gonna grab the helicopter you also, you didn't used to be able to uh, grab uh, air units in the air on the original. So that's a very nice quality of life upgrade. Okay, yeah, we just need to blow this one up and there's a scientist in there we want to kill. We're going to be a little bit careful because there's grenadiers and stuff. And there can be, there can be a whole bunch of guys which pop out when you blow it up, which can be bad. There we go, it's fine. There we go. You're right, it, it may possibly be a red alert inclusion to be able to grab the air units. 
Uh, I don't have the splits to tell me which one. It's this one, uh, I think. <laughs> either sure one's hard. Pretty sure it's this one. One <laughs> it was of them. I think it's. It's. I think it is this one. One of them's terrible, and one of them's one of just them. just quite bad. <laughs> right. Yeah. This, this is one. the right one. So you have a, you have forces on the north side and south side of a river, and we basically have to do what we've been doing the whole time. Get to the GDI base, send engineers, and just take over all their stuff. The problem yeah. is, is that there's a gunboat that separates the two sides of the forces, and if you lose the forces on the south side of the river, it's a wipe. You have to restart. Yeah, there's no reinforcements on this side, so I'm going to play with these guys first. So we know that he's targeting that artillery. Yeah, we maybe we'll leave him over here for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, if you wait, same square glitch. Uh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. If you wait too long uh, to do okay, stuff with the units on the top of the map, they'll get hit with an airstrike. The main yes, sir. units we need to save are these rocket guys, so I'm just going to gather them slightly while we take out these tanks. There's a there's a mammoth a, tank. A mammoth tank. That's the which, one that we need to take out. And then, mammoth tanks in this game have uh, dragon tow missiles that one shot infantry so they're like looking one direction if you cause them to turn their turrets they'll spit out a missile so you have to be careful about how you interact with them especially with yeah so units. we just need to take this moment tank and then we can do the main force yeah. it looks like we're good also that's, there's a that's, church that's on the side of the river yeah so we're going we'll go and take these guys over but then we can do we can do the rest of the level now and there's a church with money yeah, we'll get we'll get the money I've kind of de-risked this level slightly. Normally, in the speedrun, I try and do both sides at the same time, but it adds quite a lot of risk because if you screw up, you're going if you back mess up forth. the bottom half, uh, then you've, you, you're restarting because you can't resupply the bottom half. Yeah. So he's got a, he's going to lure the orcas out again with the command over. Yeah, quick. we're just going to wait here for a mammoth tank to show up. Yeah. No oh yeah, tank, I forgot about that. And then mammoth we're going to hit him with these ones. And then we're going to lure the orca out. These guys can come on You see that guard tower right there? We're, we're, if, dodge, we're dodging the guard tower by sending these guys out one by one. There's a pixel. If he's one pixel to the right, then. So you got to send the units in one at a time, here. stuttered like that. And while we're waiting, we'll try and find that money from the church. You got to take out the... There's a mm. tank, right? Yeah, there's a tank here. We're just going to wait again before we take these guys down. He has the uh, he has that rocket launcher attacking the concrete around the uh, construction yard. If he hits any of those buildings with the explosion, it yeah. will aggro the whole base, and then That's it's true. a wipe. We we need to kill this wall, but we if the rocket soldier sometimes he attacks the, the like he misses the wall, and that will kill the yeah. run as well. So that's not good. So we've got we've got that. Now here's a lovely part. So we capture this, which aggroes the guard tower, and we capture the two power stations, which low powers them. And then once the power is low, once it's down, the guard towers go down. The tower stops. And we can we can and build our it. stuff in their base. And if you capture the communication center fast enough, you don't have to worry about your uh, commando dying from an airstrike. But you gotta low power them and keep them low power because you don't want those advanced guard towers turning back on. Yeah, so we're in they, there. Right now, they don't have any power plants, so we're in, in the money right now. You can position the artillery on the south side of the shore to take out the guard towers that are guarding your old base, too. Yeah, so the main the critical thing here is just I want to try and stuff. capture the harvesters because they sort of are the key to unlocking the money. Because yeah. um, when you capture the refinery with the harvester inside of it, you get the unit. And also, at nice. the end of the level, the harvest on this can be really annoying. But we've done that. Yeah. So now we should just be able to spam out some guys and get on with it. Capture the, the war factory. And then it's just money. So you see those APCs? Those come in from off the map, and they have engineers and other units in them. And if you don't have uh, your stuff together, that can just be a nuisance, so just driving your base cap for like, no. Yeah, these can be horrible. Well, we don't have to worry about that, because this is a speedrun. Uh, 
Yeah, we've run over so many of my guys. Just we then. do have to worry about them running us over. They run me over. <laughs> and we'll, we'll do that there. And we do that so we can get some more guys out. Helpful if we get the. Uh, if you capture that, I lost that, all my guys uh, there. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, if you capture that research facility, which you just did, and you have an airstrip, it unlocks stealth tanks. Does it? Yep. I have not heard of that before. Uh, well, now, now you know. And now we'll just have to battle. <laughs> fun, fun facts. Yeah. Okay, so this should be okay now. I think we're going to be fine. This can be a, a, a horrible bit in the end. Uh, where Still got to take out those towers now. We've got these ones down here. Well, that should be fine. We've got plenty of guys over here. Ingenious strategy is you tank the machine gun fire with your harvester. You're good yeah, to go. That's not the reason we like the harvester. And then whatever else is left. Hey, here we go. There straight we go, through. Lovely. I like to be straight through there. Okay. Level 12. Stealth tanks are definitely very cool. Yes, sir. Oh, I do. Okay, this one. There are a couple of ways of doing this one. First job is to aggro those mama tanks. I did, which I did quite badly. Yeah, well, it's okay. But once you get there, once they have their, their, once they lock onto that unit, they, they keep <laughs> it's got, it's got on one that HP. Unit. <laughs> yeah. What, what we're doing, the objective of this level, is to capture an advanced communication center so that we can steal the control codes for the ion cannon. Oh no, they're going around the wrong way. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Get them quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. You gotta take that guy out so you can drive the other way. It's. Oh no. <laughs> not like this. Not like this. No problems. Oh, oh you're so. No. Oh. oh, I killed him. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. He's after the bug. You're good. You're good. Oh, as why are you attacking this guy? Rocket, oh, rocket no. launcher. Rocket launcher. This, this doesn't usually happen. <laughs> Get away. Yeah. Okay. So that that rocket launcher is essentially a mobile advanced guard tower. Oh no! I've lost oh, all my guys no. here. All right, this strategy, this run is. is that's that's going to take, take longer. Take longer. It's going to take longer. It's okay. He's staying so just fine. leave him. Get rid of the. Yeah. We don't need. He's we dead. don't need that. <laughs> he's he's been deactivated. Construction complete. That's a shame. But never mind. We don't really need those guys. We'll just build a couple more tanks. This is the one level on the run where I'll allow myself to do an airstrip. There is a strategy on here where you just kind of rush up and deploy your base near their base and then try and try and get in it's very difficult on hard but it's uh, it's risky so oh, come on this is not ideal <laughs> fine take it <laughs> Um, yeah, so there is a so you need like two you... turrets, right? Two turrets, I'm building two turrets up here. Yeah. That should be enough to take out the, the forces that they have that come up. What's that thingy doing in the game, right? You want power. We want to ignore that for a bit. It's really going to be fine. What's this harvester doing? He's okay, just... Good. Uh, there's some more... Harvester. Yeah, there is a strat on this one where you can shoot your your uh, your construction yard right up the map straight away, and try and go into their base with very few forces. Um, but it's super high risk, and I haven't been able to get it reliable enough to do it as part of a campaign. And it's kind of like uh, five percent success or something stupid like that. Yeah. So this SAM site is going to draw fire from the ion cannon and it's going to be useful for taking out the uh, the orcas that are inside the base when he brings them back to his base, which is very important. Because uh, the SAM site seems to be on the prior higher priority list of uh, targets for the computer. I don't know whether you, why, why did these two... <laughs> why do these two humpies keep spawning? <laughs> that doesn't usually happen either. <laughs> The computer's usually, trying to show off for you usually, guys. <laughs> usually we destroy the two humpies and then they stay dead. 
<laughs> they keep rebuilding them. <laughs> yeah. Something weird is happening with my game today. Okay, we're gonna build. All of the games. Building. We're gonna build a comm center because I want a couple of. Uh, I want a couple of flame tanks because the main thing that stops me from going straight in. Um, oh, I need to aggro the stuff as well. I, don't, I need a. Um, I need a. I need a bike as well. So that strategy he's got with the the flame. The flamethrowers is you, you spread them out kind of nice, and then the computer will just funnel its units between them and kind of just barbecue. It's great. Okay, we're gonna aggro some more stuff down. There's more stuff up here. This is just, this this part of the reason why the other strat is so risky is because there's a bunch of tanks that tanks. live up here, and yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Are you gonna be able to uh, fight that without the? Well, they're going around the side, which is a bit frustrating. There's an iron cannon strike, which is fine. It's fine, we don't need this anymore, really. So it's going a bit scrappy, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. Hopefully. We do need to go get the workers, though. I do need. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I need to build some engineers. Okay. Oh, these, are these guys still coming back? <laughs> how, how many times? It, maybe do it's it, maybe it's 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 probably because the mammoth tanks alive at the bottom. It's glitched out. I swear. Maybe it's the only thing that's different. He's still there. No, nothing I can do really now. Oh, that rock. Okay. That so we're going to get the orcas to come down. Oh, there's still a tank there as well. It's interesting. No, not anymore. So we're going to go there. We're going to bring a bunch of orcas down. Oh, that hum what is the Humvee? What is these? What is going on? Yeah, oh, that, that's friendly fire. That's a regular attack, I think. This guy. Maybe you did still need that turret. Oh my gosh, he's about to run over our guys. Um, I'm being hammered. <laughs> I'm being hammered with everything in this one. <laughs> Let's hope it works out. Insufficient funds. I never run out of money. Okay, so hopefully we've got rid of most of the stuff. I could do with a couple more tanks. Um, but somehow the money's gone away. Construction complete. Building. So we're gonna, the entrance is in here. There's grenadiers yeah. which, which live over there, which... That's what the flamethrowers are for. Which, the flame which is why I bring in the flame tanks, yeah, exactly. Building. Um, Reinforcements so we're, have we're taking this up here. We got one more? Complete. One more. And here comes some guys. Here comes some guys to ruin my afternoon. Yeah, it should be fine. There's here comes a there's a tank. Where did he come from? <laughs> this is not. Never mind. He's going to re reinforce that man. And there's still an orca. Whoa, whoa. Stop that! Whoa! Oh well, we're going through here now. Bork is usually dead by now. We got the flame tanks because they're good at grenadiers. We just want to go through the wall here, really. Oh, we lost an engineer. Oh. It's okay. Yeah. Once you capture the construction yard, you can. Oh, oh we, of course, of course, we get <laughs> triple air strike. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna wipe now. Oh, if you can capture that construction yard, we can get the construction yard. We'll save it. We, okay, we saved it by the skin of the teeth. Although the orca still being alive is is not brilliant. Oh, but our construction yard just died. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh. Well, you got money. You got money now. No, we wiped. It's over. <laughs> it's over. We're gonna do it again. This has never happened before, ever. Don't know where that tank came so, from. <laughs> yeah. some, some weird stuff was happening on that level. Yes, sir. Out. Okay, yes, we'll sir. do it again. We'll do it properly this time. Yes, sir. If, I, if I'd had that construction yard for, for 10 seconds longer, 
I would have yeah, been fine. Yeah, it would have been fine. Uh, because I, all I needed to do was build a Hannah Nod up in their base, and that would have been absolutely fine. No problems. Uh, but because they killed my Katrachi Yard just at that moment, before I managed to get the yeah. Hannah Nod in, that basically killed the level. Is uh, is sad. But we go again. It happens. This level is not very forgiving. Here we go. We got at least you have. You got we, we did the mammoth tank properly this time. This is what normally happens with the mammoth tanks. We just kind yeah. of. Uh, and this is what normally happens with that rocket thing. It normally just goes away. Uh, but this is this is feeling better. Now you have units. So we got all these. We got all these tanks now. Uh, so we're in a better place already. But the uh, rocket launcher will come back for these units in a minute, so we'll just try not to lose too many of them if we can. Where's my tank? I need the tank. I think I lost a buggy somewhere in there as well. Well, at least you didn't lose everything. Yeah, but we got we got we got more. Yeah, the tank's really the one we want to attack that because he'll survive. Yeah. Yeah, we got these things. <laughs> What happened to that buggy? Must have been. Uh, sometimes the mammoth tanks like to use the yes, mammoth tusk on you. <laughs> and then uh, it just their, turn around their, and throw a missile at you. Yeah, that's their rocket thing, isn't it? If you if you accidentally block them in, then they can they can start to fire at you. Yeah. Random dragon tail missile straight to the face. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so this is, hopefully they'll only build these things once this time as well. That's a bit close in. Okay, there we go. run out of money. That one just about survived though. Yeah, okay, this is more like it. Yeah. Okay, so same again. We're going to build a SAM site up there. We're going to have another one there. We're going to airstrip. And then we're going to aggro the, the tanks down in a minute. Uh, can someone tell me if Visroids exist in this game? No, they do not. But uh, they do spawn in custom maps. They do not exist in the campaign. Though. Visroids are Tiberium creatures because Tiberium mutates. Uh, orbit, living organisms as it terraforms the planet. Okay. I will sacrifice this one to aggro the tanks down now because I think we're in a good place to do that. No, it didn't go far enough. Come back. Oh, you no, did. You no, did. Too far. <laughs> no, you <laughs> too, too far. far. Okay. And they they all went back. It's a shame. I want to drag them down so I can clear the path. There you go. Construction complete. Waiting order. Roger. Ready and waiting. Yes, sir. Our base is under attack. Oh, we can put this down now. Oh, the ion cannon on time. Ion cannon time. came in. Building. Yeah, we want to put a... To the comp center. That wasn't all of them, though, was it? Building. That was not all of them. Uh, there's shit, there's more tanks up here than, than came down. Problem. Oh, so let's grab the orcas. <laughs> Got some Oof. names, guys. Okay, good. We just want to do all the same stuff, only not have it mess up right at the end, like it did last yeah. time. I'm just going to plant these flame guys out here again. Well, now you don't... It doesn't seem like the Humvees are spawning anymore. No, we didn't get the Humvee glitching this time, did we? The it, has, are being, it has to have something to do with the mammoth thing. I don't know why I did it last time. We're constantly being harassed. You gotta get the, still got to get those orcas. we got to get the orcas out. Which, oh, they just and you didn't even get all of them last they time. They just either. destroyed my Sam side. Oh. oh, no, it's okay. It survived. <laughs> Yeah. Are they, is he going to come after this mini gunner? <laughs> I, I felt like he was going to, but. Yes, moving out. Yes. Reinforcements have arrived. 
Apparently not. It's okay. So just want to get the orcas out, like you say. Make sure you get all the orcas. Yeah, we get both orcas is done heavily. I thought you got both of them last time. But I thought I thought I did as well. They didn't build them though, so I must not have done. There we go. There's now they're dead. I'm gonna flame on my own guys now. Okay, good. Okay, good. Flame on. Okay, let's go. This time for the win. Yeah, you got plenty of money too, so should, should be fine. I didn't do a safety save last time because this one, th at this point, it's not particularly risky. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why it went so bad last time. Affirmative. Ready. Okay, my Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, just want to, that part of the way, reason that this is so bad is that they instantly reinforce their, their grenadiers over around the corner. Oh, whenever, yeah. whenever you think it's done, they'll come back with more. Oof. That's close. And more and more and more. <laughs> and more and more and more. <laughs> there you go. Now, now's your chance. Get in there. Where are you oh, going? What is that? The pathing? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> pathing. What the hell? All you had to do was walk around the corner. Did you? All right. We had there wasn't it. anybody in your way that time. We had it. No excuse for that. This game. That's it. So we're going to get out of there with those guys. Right. And then we're going to be able to handle it. We're just going back to the original idea of this, of this mission. All we have to do is get an engineer in the top right um, uh, into this comm center over here. We're just going to, uh, going to show some maps. Get some scouting going on. So all, we, all we're going to do to, to get there is walk over there with build engineers. up some engineers and we're just going to capture everything Oh! Hello. <laughs> I thought that was your engineers. I was like, oh. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to walk across the top of the map. Basically, we're going to capture everything up into the right. Look at Joe getting in the way. Joe's are getting in the way. We're just going to sell it and make a, make a path for ourselves. Going pretty well across the top, so it should be okay. As long as they don't aggro my engineers on the way for some reason. I think that's it. And then we sell that, and then as long as nothing comes, this this is going to be going to the final level. There we go. There we go, baby. So we're through. Not being the greatest of runs, but we're through to the final level. Last level. Um. We're going slightly long. Yes, sir. Moving out. No New construction options. Yes. But as long as I don't screw this up, um, it so, should be good. So you you start uh, between two rivers. There's gunboats on each river. Yeah, the first thing we do is aggro these gunboats. Yeah, once you get the gunboat to target a unit, it stays locked on that unit for the remainder of the level, which effectively disables them. Yeah, they can really the, ruin ruin our day. Yeah, there's a, a GDI base over here that's got two Chinook helicopters that we, we need to capture. We're going to capture this whole base. And then, once we have the helicopter, we're going to fly across the river and capture, capture, capture. Yeah, I it's quite enjoy this level, actually. It's really fun once you it's get the relaxing. helicopters. You basically, the helicopters are basically a broken unit in this game. You can, you can do things the level wasn't really supposed to happen. We're going to try and get this harvester immediately. Oh, we just got there. Perfect. Yeah, so you want to, you always want to try and capture the refinery while it's got a harvester in it, because it saves you from having to kill the harvester later. There's a, a, a guard tower hidden behind that tree right there. Yeah, so I uh, just need to kill this guy. He's shooting up, shooting up my stuff. 
I just need to kill this one. And then we will just slap this down here. Which now has Which aggro is shooting it. Oof. How goes the, uh, the stuff? This is the only slightly risky part of the, of the oh run. Oh my gosh! This is the only slightly risky part of the run here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where we're going to... Um, we're going to try and get across a, quite a lot of enemy units as cheaply as possible, basically. And we're mostly going to be using flame guys. We've got one good tank and one bad tank. Um, we're going to abuse the fact that those silos so have we do tons this, of money. We aggro the guys and then we flame them. That's, that's the yeah. general idea. Yes, sir. And then we want to cap yeah, we want to get them, capture those those uh, those silos. So we're just going to aggro and then we're going to come in at the side with flame guys. Oh. And we'll try the same trick again. Lovely. Yeah, oh, that, that one's that one's being a bit being a bit uh, flamethrowers are not friendly fire friend. Yeah, flamethrowers are not ideal for for anything. Uh, it's gonna. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this this one. He doesn't really want to play ball. Yeah, it's fine. Let me capture these. And that will aggro those. And then you ignored me, it's not very really helpful. Then we're going to put down another one of these. Ah, oh, the tank came, so that's not great. But we just want to... We just want to get these guard towers out. Ah, oh, flamethrower kill my own guys. That's fine. Okay, good. All right. And now we get the helicopters, which are up, parked up here for us. And we just got one tank to go. Yeah, there's one tank on the on the end here. I don't know what he's doing. He's behaving a bit strangely. And I don't really want those flamethrowers in the way. No, we've already got. Yeah, you can go over here. I'm going to destroy that power. So we're going to do all sorts of fun and games with engineers now. And these uh, these helicopters. And this is where we this is where we start to break the level. It's quite fun. It's quite a fun level to play. Yeah, we're going to cross the river and just start capturing, 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 capturing. It's quite so great. Quite a good, it's quite a good end to the run because it's relatively relatively chilled once we get to here. If I say that and then it'll probably go all go wrong in a minute. There's plenty of time for it to go wrong. So, yeah, we, well, I think what the game wants you to do is capture these things and then start to build a base out. Yeah, you ca yeah, you, you fly across the river, you capture that the the hospital. But instead, we just go plant, straight into the back. There. With the with the power of these helicopters, we just pop straight over the ridges into the back of their base and just the back of their base, and we just start. Maybe really, I've got to build these guys. Bit of a shame. Well, the first, yeah. the first, the first port of call is really to low power them. For some reason, my mini gunner who's scouting died, so I'm just going to have have to do one scout with that. Yeah. Uh, first, first port of call is to low power them so their advanced guard towers don't work. And then you get we, basically free reign of the whole base. Yeah, and we do that by capturing all their power plants, which we can do quite easy because again, this side of their base is is not really defended. It's the uh, GDI building. And we're just going to nick their money. Yes, sir, right away. Nick their power. Unit ready. You got it. GDI also down here. Captured. We've got loads of money. Selected. We're going to capture all their buildings. Building. Simple. Ooh, that's good timing for that, that harvester. Right? Yeah, that's good. And we're going to sell that for money. Start spinning the needs. Oh, okay. If not, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's we fine. Just need to do the same sort of thing over here. Yes. Oh, you, what, 
Once you've captured all their GDI building, their construction yards, you basically there's nothing. nothing yeah, that's deal. basically game over. Yeah, that's just gonna be a uh, matter of cleaning stuff up from here on out. I'm just gonna. Uh, well, they put another harvester. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> That's good. That was a, that was the wrong call at this point in the level. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, AI. Oh no! Uh, killed they something. They killed that on. refinery a bit too quick. Sorry. Right. No, I want to build a couple of tanks if I can. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow days. Attack that guard tower. Come down here. They, they are called chinooks in this. Yes. Somebody was oh, asking uh, what the uh, oh, got a thing there. What the what? Back. The what the sandbags do? The sandbags uh, allow you to build. Oh, I didn't get it. Next to it, it counts as a as a building, so you can build around it. Also, he placed no, that sandbag down. He placed the sandbag down to prevent the computer from rebuilding in that location because the computer has a set footprint; oh. it'll never build outside of it. That answer your question? Oh uh, yeah, I don't usually I don't usually lose that power station. I'm usually a bit quicker to build the uh, the grenadiers. I didn't want them to rebuild it, so yeah, I just uh, I just uh, put a sandbag because I don't want them to go to get power back. It's the main thing. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. We've got a tank on this side, but not on that side. So this tank it's going to be used to, to aggro the guard towers for me. Yeah. The tank is going to be used to tank. Yeah, you can take damage. This one we're just going to we're going to smash the guard towers. Is what the hell? We got loads, we're just have, loads of money on this right now. I might have missed it, but did you get the uh, that that new harvester they built? No, it's still, it's still somewhere. There's still a harvester it's somewhere in the bottom the middle. Went, went, to went cross away. The river. So we'll have to chase yeah. him. Yes. 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 They're usually down here somewhere. So yes. the run is about to end. So get ready for the timer. <laughs> Once we find the last unit that's down here somewhere, and somewhere in this crowd, I'm, all my guys are dying. So that's lovely. <laughs> uh, too much Tiberium to run over. Oh, there they are. There it is, right there. Right there. So this is the last thing. Um, Three, two, one. Everybody dies. There we go. GG. <laughs> GG. 107. So, yeah, do we have time to uh, watch the the Indian cinematic and uh, pick a monument to destroy with the Iron Cannon? Uh, what was the time on that? It was five minutes. Yeah, I don't know. Your uh, efforts have landed us here. Yeah, I think Before we could. We're a little over, but... So, all right, chat, what do you guys want to do? Paris, the White House, Brandenburg Gates, or Big Ben? Thanks for the GGs, guys. Yeah, this, this ending, cinema, ending cinematic is pretty epic, to be honest. It's true, like, 1995 quality graphics going on here for this, uh, this pseudo-hacking matrix type. So Frank Kaplaki is actually in this scene. He's the first guy to die. The, he's he's the uh, he's the he's the guy that uh, um, he's the musician. That's the music, yeah. Um, that's, the, the music is awesome. Actually, the um, they've started. It looks like we're, it it looks like we're getting a bunch for Big Ben. Uh, Big Ben, Paris. I, I'm pretty sure Paris is canon, if I recall. Paris is canon. <laughs> yeah. Brandenburg, Paris, Paris. I see quite a lot of bits for Paris. Somebody would have to count them up. Yeah, this is supposed to be the hackers breaking into the GDI iron cannon in this uh, in this sequence. I mean, this is what cybersecurity looked like in the nineties, guys. <laughs> exactly. Like that. This is it, cutting edge. In fact, <laughs> this was peak cybersecurity. We've only gotten worse at it since then. So. <laughs> It's like the uh, same sort of era as that, like uh, Jurassic Park hacking 
hacking. Uh, 1995. Here we go. If you, if you die in the Matrix, then you die in the real world. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> so, all right. What, I think we got... I want to... Uh, I want to say it looks like the White House is the target. Have we got lots of votes for White House now? I see. I just see White House a lot. I only got like a couple for Paris and something about burning baguettes, and Big Ben a few times. I think may actually might be Big Ben. Big Ben, actually. The world. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the choice. Choice screen. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. <laughs> I, I wasn't paying enough attention to, to see how many, uh, what the tally was. I saw a lot for Paris at the beginning. You have done much to aid the America! <laughs> one says Paris, White House, America, White House. I saw three for White House and one for Paris in, in, the, in the thing. One more for Paris, one for Big Ben. Uh... I saw it for Paris, so, so we're going to go Paris. I saw it for All Paris right. at the beginning. <laughs> the French. Jeez. Sorry, Paris. Melted. Melted. All right, there we go. It's all over. All right. Thank you very much to uh, EDQ Hotfix for having me on. Sorry, it wasn't the perfect you. run. We went a little bit over. Um, this this, this totally is a very, it's a very hard run. Um, but um, what happens, happens, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I do stream this as well on Twitch. Um, if anybody wants to see me beating my head against these runs and, and having painful experiences and occasionally good ones, <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> then, then come and watch uh, and see me banging my head against these, these runs. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for having me on. Uh, thank you so much for being on. Uh, now, we do have some more runs coming up. Uh, we are going to take a quick break while we get the next run set up. Uh, just a quick reminder, though, to everybody at home. Uh, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bitch cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel do really help support us. It helps uh, the hotfix. So if you like watching any of these uh, community specials where we have communities come on, showcase games, uh, if you like any of our weekly content, it really does help us put this kind of stuff on. So uh, if you can... Uh, we really appreciate it. With that said, we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to go to the next run. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Picks. This is our Command & Conquer community showcase. We have a bunch of people from the Command & Conquer speedrunning community in to show a bunch of different runs from the various games. And we've got uh, GDI uh, Casual for the original. And I will, uh, we've got some familiar faces here, but I'll let them reintroduce themselves. Hey, what's going on? Oiler the Great, and uh, I'm here to run the uh, GDI campaign on casual for Command & Conquer Remastered. Yeah, and it's Pezza. I'm back, back uh, to commentate a bit on this run. There's another run I know fairly well. <clears throat> we, did, we did not on hard. Um, yeah, we just finished that. that. The hard way, <laughs> and now we're doing judo uh, and casual, which is hopefully the easy way. Yeah. So this this run is going to be a lot different uh, because our units are buffed. They're stronger. They're faster. They're braver. They do everything. They're cheaper. It's going to be fun. Yeah. All um, those all those grenadiers that were ruining my day earlier are yeah. going to be making our day happy. Yeah. So time starts as soon as I click the GI icon. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Let's jam. All right. So we're starting off. We're storming a beach in uh, northern Europe, and we got a uh, yeah. Yeah. There's there's a few ways a few ways around to doing that as well because you can. I, I think quite a lot of people when they start out playing this game for the first time use that construction yard to run people over. I know I yeah. did when I started playing it because you don't really know that you're supposed to build buildings. Uh, so, so you can use it. You can use it to run people down. Yeah. And if you kill the the turret uh, last, oh, oh, then the oh, buggy doesn't yeah. spawn. Are we going to do it? Are we going to get the no buggy? No buggy. No buggy. Let's no play. buggy, no buggy. Here we go. Yes. We've got no buggy. That's yes. the first way. That's good. Uh, level two 
is the first level, level you get some engineers. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> we can, in theory, use the engineers to capture some buildings, but um, we don't really need to on, on casual because we, we can save that power plant from blowing up. And then you can just build mini gunners and mini gunners spam the whole level. But in, the, in a second, we'll get some, some engineers uh, to pop out. This is actually the same starting section. The uh, same level. Uh, it assumes yeah. that you built a base. The same level as the first as the first uh, first mission, only with a bit more added to the top of the screen. Um, and they, we, we're, we're, we're saying like Nod came and, and start to blow up our base, so we need to reinforce it again. Uh, so we get three engineers, and it's really important on the other difficulties to definitely capture these three buildings with them, um, which we've done, which is great. Um, and then we can start to just build out loads and loads of mini and, uh, and, and overwhelm the rest of the level. Um, but I think we can make it work in casual because our units are so strong. Uh, you can make it work without, without doing it. Yeah, just a few, few more mini guns to mop up. This is a bit frustrating on, on this speed run where sometimes the mini guns are just roaming that, around the map. That's no it, reason. that's it, that's it. There we go, we got it. Yeah, so attacking those two silos in the top right <sighs> aggroes them all across the map. All right. Yeah, that's true. And this is the first level we get grenades. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna yeah. get level three, which is also the level where they introduced the idea of SAM sites and airstrikes. They're trying to get you to destroy oh. the SAM sites. Uh, again, it's, it, it's wanting us to build a base and, and, and go and pick off all the SAM sites so we can airstrike them. Um, but because the engineers are so overpowered on casual mode, it actually changes the whole strats of the run. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid we, we have to skip all the cutscenes in the speed run. And luckily they are skippable. Um, so all, all that we're going to do on this level and quite a few of the other levels is build a little base, build as many grenadiers as we can, and then just run them, and, and you'll you'll start to see their buildings fold up like cardboard on this difficult on this difficulty setting. You just sell the construction yard. We aggro the harvester or bring out some of their units as well. Sometimes that's a strategy in some of the levels where you want to deliberately attack the harvester. Often you want to avoid that, but sometimes it's not too bad. Because it can uh, draw all of the units away from the base and, and let you in. Um, uh, you got the airstrike. Once we cleared the SAM sites, you get the airstrike. And you can see that... Oh, it's close, close. <laughs> Oh, we've got a power station. Actually destroyed a building. It's one of those things, even on casual mode, the airstrikes aren't that strong. Uh, but when the computer uses them, they, they seem to be... be what? All, all oh, no! Oh, the harvester, the harvester escaped. Okay, though. Yeah, no, the grenades are the, just demolish everything, their, right? Yeah, look at their buildings just evaporate behind the cloud of grenades. They're... Uh, Mission. There we go, and we're through. We're gonna go. Go. Level level four is the quickest level. This is the one on on this campaign where you'll you'll miss it, miss it if you blink. Um, yep. Oops. Oh, I don't have my. Just, right, this is the right one. Yeah, we just got to run around and uh, and uh, get a crate. Uh, and again, because our because we're on casual, and our units are super strong, uh, super fast, really to, super yeah, we don't have to worry too much about the enemy units. We just need to run and get the crate, and that's the end. There's uh, a chance yeah. that I get blocked on this river, across yeah. the river, by units right there sometimes. Sometimes you get blocked on the bridge there. That's it. But it's fine. Easy. So we just recaptured part of the nuke that they stole from us. That's the That was Greg mission. Burdett with fake news. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's oh, not, not, not oh, propaganda. No. That's yeah. Max literal propaganda from Kane. I think I just picked the bubble that I don't like. This is not the level I wanted. We did the wrong one. It was supposed to be south, but yeah, it's fine. You could play this one as well. This is this is unexpected detour. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna spam grenades, so it doesn't matter. There are three different level five variants. The the south one on there is slightly 
slightly favorable. Um, but this one is just basically the same. This is one where we, we pretend that the uh, DDI had some budget cuts, so we have to go to an old base and we have to fix it up. Um, so this is this is the base that we discovered that's old, and then again we have to clear out all the, all the forces from, from the rest. Big news network. Um, and, and again we have we have sound sites. Oh god, this level, pick off. Yeah, this level so is one, actually super slow. One of the uh, one of the problems on a lot of the a lot of the levels is you. You have to b destroy every building to win it, and you have to therefore go and find the sand types, which are not necessarily anywhere near the enemy base, they're just somewhere around the map. Uh, and the, the classic the classic meme is uh, the end of the level you also is, is when you get the airstrike, uh, because it's always a sand site you destroy last. You're picking up a crate here, get a whole bunch of money from that crate over there. Um, yeah, on this level you can go below the base, you can go to the, to the south of the base, and then you can sometimes snipe some of their buildings and the sand sites that are in the base from, from underneath here. Actually, tank running over uh, running over your units is something that doesn't happen that much on casual. The tank's not usually that bothered. Yeah, so you can see we're just building loads of grenadiers again. This is going to be a common theme for, for this run. We're, we're just going to be good using the grenadiers and they'll just... Once, once there's a sufficient volume of grenadiers, they'll just sweep through. Uh, in other difficulty modes, we would probably try to do an engineer rush. Um, just going to, he's going to wait to get the, get the harvester while he's in the refinery, so that's good. Harvester's taken care of. Harvester can be annoying to chase around the map when it can run over your units, especially when you're using only infantry. Uh, it can be, can be a big problem. Just going for the construction yard. Oh, those grenadiers just melts. And then it should be over pretty quickly now. Just a few more buildings to take out. So it's be the, the level's basically won at this point. Ah, uh, then we get the airstrike <laughs> once the level's already won. Let's see, see, if we can, see if it can take out those silos. Is it going to be strong enough? We only get one plane. Oh, I did. We got one silo. And then last thing. And GG's. There we go. Oh! Wow. That was... Dog. I should have picked other level. Other level's way faster. And oh, then this we get to do the commando level, which is oh yeah, which is real tough here. guy. Yeah, real tough guys coming up. Real tough now, guy. Um, Reinforcements have arrived. Time to rock and roll. Time to rock and roll. Ever <laughs> <laughs> this the the best soundtrack of this one. Keep them coming. No problem. No uh, problem. On on the other difficulties, you get a bit you get a bit worried about about destroying these sound sites because. There can be, like that happened there, that two, um, two minigunners can pop out of the SAM sites and they can, they can kill the super, commander. Super unforgiving on hard and super unforgiving on original. Yeah, and this is a big skip on the level. This is one of the big skips. So the level really wants you to go all the way around the map uh, with, the, with the helicopter. But instead, there's a little bit of land poking out and we just jump on there. And because we're on casual, Ooh. we can be super risky here. And, uh, oh yeah, you could never pull that fly, off. On, uh, we could fly right into their base. I think, it, <laughs> I think that was a little bit further than Oily was expecting to go into you their can, base. Yeah, you can actually fly all the way over here to the airstrip. We have the option to just destroy any building and win, but if we don't take out the airstrip, we have to. The, that adds a level. That's right. The you got a um, present for the, you. The briefing is deliberately vague on this one. It cuts out with static to not it's tell you what because the mission he's, goal is. He's he's being jammed. But if you blow up any other building, you have to do an extra level. You have to play that level again. But if you blow up the airstrip, you skip straight to level eight. So this level, we have what a not uh, uh, a UN funded base that is dilapidated. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So we got another another broken down base, but we start with quite a big force, and because this is casual and because our units are overpowered. 
Uh, we're just going to go and smash them with this with this force that we've got. This is another level where on the other difficulty settings you, you set up an engineer rush uh, and you um, put some engineers in the APC uh, and uh, try and capture all their buildings to, to finish the level. Here we go. I'm going to pull all their units out of the, the base. Yeah, we're going to aggro the harvester. And then here comes the big wave of guys. And as long as we don't get too much flamethrowers action, then pretty much it's going to be game over at the beginning here. Uh, and then with any luck, we can build we can build a few uh, few reinforcements and take out the the flame the flame uh, thrower units are the only ones that can cause the grenadiers a bit of problem. Um, so taking out the barracks there. To stop any more flamethrowers entering the battle, um, and then it's just just about picking off the rest of the level. Really, just to clean up um, this right-hand side of the map where those tanks are coming from is the thing that always slows me down on this level. Because there's a big windy, windy road that goes all the way around the right-hand side of the map that's hard to get to, and then there's there's these few units which live up there on a couple of sand sites, um, and it can. On the casual run, it's very quick run. These these levels do not take a long time on casual, and you, if you waste, you can waste 30 seconds to a minute trying to get around that bit of the map to mop up the last few units and the last few sun sites. If if it, if the level goes against you a little bit, it, so this one, even though even though the level is is pretty simple, it can be a run killer if the, the if you waste too much time. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Also, there's money. Uh, there's right a here. money crate there. Money crate. <laughs> if you need it. And there's one guy had it hiding in a tree. And this, that's the worst part of this level. It's uh, almost a troll. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy that stands in a tree and he can't, he's actually stuck behind the tree up the top and it's almost impossible to see. But you can't win the level without getting that guy and walking all the way around here. Um, Which is super annoying. So. I, I usually try to airstrike him. He's, he's in there. Well, just can't airstrike even, him. You can't even really see him, but he's in there. Oh! I was like, I, I missed, missed it. The first one missed him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's over. <laughs> it takes so much longer. Uh, so yeah, there we go. We're through through level eight. Uh, we're getting our UN funding cut. So this is the same level regardless of which side you pick. Yeah, there's only one level nine. <sighs> yeah. Ready and wait. On this, on this level, normally, I would be thinking about going straight to the top left and, again, sending engineers in to capture their base. Um, but on casual, we can just bring out the grenadiers again and uh, go smashing through their front door, basically. Uh, we also get a force down the bottom. Um, these ones can be a bit of a problem because a bit like that level 11 for Nod, you only get these guys on the bottom of the river and if they don't, they've got to destroy those two turrets. And if for, for whatever reason they fail to do that, um, you're, you're kind of soft locked on this level. Um, now this is the original CNC, but it's the remastered version. This is kind of the... It's the uh, it might look more familiar now. Oh, there we go. This is what it used to look like. We've got some... We, we, can, we can press spacebar. It's a really cool feature they put in, to be honest. We don't have to use the remastered graphics. We can use the original graphics. Uh, so there's a money crate over here? Yeah, there's a money crate there. But it kind of burns my eyes a little bit. <laughs> After a while. <laughs> the old DOS graphics. Uh, it looks far worse than the Red Alert one that we, that we looked at earlier. Um, but yeah, so we're going to use the Grenadiers again. And we're going we're to go straight through the front door. They've even got an obelisk. It's the first time that we see an obelisk and it's supposed to be super scary. Um, oh but it, my gosh. Oh, that has to nearly, nearly ran them all over. <laughs> um, but yeah, as long as, as long as we don't get too many flamethrowers or too many runovers, then this should be fine because Quite a so I'm I'm just hitting G, and then they're Deep. letting the units do their own thing. They're doing the guard. Yeah. And the two ones, yeah, just send those grenadiers in. They're so strong they'll be able to take those out, and then get the interesting buildings at the back of the base. Ooh, one shot, oh, one, one kill, one, one hit, <laughs> one hit for the for the the, the, the 
building with the most health and it just went down in one. Uh, this is why we don't mess around uh, with with engineers or on these levels on casual mode. Because uh, we just don't need to. So these gunboats are supposed to be get blown up by the obelisk, but... That's true. It's canon. It's canon for the story that those yeah. gunboats die from the obelisk, but because we already took out the. Obelisk. I thought I sold my construction yard like three times. <laughs> sometimes, even if you click it, there's there's a small glitch there. Sometimes, even if you click it, it doesn't sell. Sometimes you have to actually make sure you see the animation. I've had that yeah. before as well. If you click away too quickly, I, you have to. You I, have to. I just thought I thought too hard about it and didn't. Yeah, happen. you have to really. You have to really make sure you click it, and not just click and move. You gotta. You gotta make sure. The game's like, are you sure? You really want to say a construction yard? <laughs> Make sure you click it hard. <laughs> click it. Click it hard. Click, That's it. click what? it right. What? What's left? What's left? I don't know what's left. I don't think. Oh, there's a SAM site under the shroud at the top of the base. Oh, yeah. Oh, my top, gosh. Top yeah. Right here. Right there. Yes. I was like, yeah, I got everything. We're good. Now we got everything. Now we're we'll good. Get we'll get the airstrike. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank. Now I can't thanks, even use it. Thanks, airstrike. All right, so this is uh next level is orca level orchestration. I'm gonna go left. Yeah, so this is the level ten, which is the one you're supposed to get the orca on, and you're supposed to use the orca to take out a bunch of turrets that are around the map. A, and it's a bunch like, of same wow. sites. Everywhere. The orca was really useful at taking out the turrets, um, but again, we just want to use grenade, grenade, uh, the grenadiers because they were they're so really, and uh, all our units to be honest are overpowered a little bit on on casual, but the grenadiers especially. So those tanks are not doing a lot for you. <laughs> just just tr stuck pathing. Uh, so yeah, we just do grenadier spam on this one as well. Normally, when I run this, I do the other version of level ten. It's definitely the one to choose on normal or hard. It doesn't make that much difference on casual. Because um, on the other difficulty settings for the other version, you can move your base next to their base and, and just pop out engineers. Oh, did I just block stuff. myself? Oh, I, oh okay. no, you're lucky. Um, but on this one, we don't really need to capture anything again. We just want to use grenadiers. Um, it's not such a problem. There is a pain that we need to also also go around the map and destroy the turrets. Yeah, There's a whole I'll bunch of turrets. Out later. There's a whole bunch of turrets still around the like narrow pathways at the top of the map. Yeah, pathing is awful on this map too. This level was in a demo disc apparently in the early nineties. That only had three levels. There you go. Fun facts. I didn't, didn't know that was a thing. Imagine, imagine having demos, <laughs> demo discs. Those were the days. These were the days. And again, there's there's a big scary obelisk in the way, but we're just gonna we're just gonna one shot it basically with these grenadiers, and then power into their base. We do have an engineer. Is that from the from the cell? That's from the cell. <laughs> what, what carnage can we make with this engineer? Nothing. <laughs> well, I'm hoping to get just some money out of this. Just doing push-ups. There might be, yeah, there might be the uh, the. Um, Come you on. Wanna, you want to take out those? You want to take out those artilleries if you can. They can be punishing. Yeah, we're safe. If you destroy all the other silos, right. it, it, the 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 silo mechanics work that the, the Tiberium will shift around. There we go, destroy, baby. Yeah, so that's, the silo fills up if you destroy the other silos because the Tiberium has to move into the the non-destroyed silos. That's why Oil has done that. I lost so many units. Yeah, there's a, there's, it's a much smaller force than it was. I'm not quite sure. I think those those um, they're delicate right now too. Yeah, they're all red health, which is not ideal because if one blows up, it could blow up some others. Even though they're yeah. strong, we could lose a f we could lose a few here. And there's still those turrets sticking around over there. 
Uh, so yeah, there's SAM sites in the, kind of up the hill in the back of the base, which is probably where oh, he's going to take his men in a minute. And then there's a few turrets to mop up around, around the top right of the map. I'm just going to take out these turrets and then go a little bit slow. If only you had orcas, it would be... If only if I had three orcas, two orcas, and I could take out everything. I don't know if the orcas are actually stronger on casual. I guess they are. But they're still... Well, you can take out a turret with uh, two orcas. You just have to micro them. They're still pretty... Yeah, they're pretty slow. Yeah. They're not that great. They're not that great, really, the orcas. Because you have to, they have to come back from the forward so much, and the map's quite big, so they take quite a long time. Can I even hit him from here? Yeah. They go back and forwards. Yeah, there's just the, the, the handful of turrets left and the Sam side down here. But I hope these grenadiers don't blow themselves up. Woo! All right. Get you guys an airstrike. I'm gonna get an airstrike. No, uh, more on it. Yeah. Last couple of Sam sites. Grenadiers don't seem to blow it, don't seem to damage themselves too much by standing real close like that. On the other on the other modes, the, you, the grenadiers would be taking damage from their own grenades if they stand next to it. It's really Here we go. The mic, the mic Here, Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting tactic. <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> That's it, baby. That's it. Let's go. Oh. Uh. Someone earlier was asking if the uh, choice between levels gives you different missions. And, uh, it's not, not typically. You said the, the, the switch does. between missions? Yeah, like when you're right. given the option between, like, it arrows and it gives you, like, a left and a right or a center. It does. I, Most of the time they're different levels, yeah. Sometimes it, the levels are different, arrows. but the missions are usually the same. Yeah, yeah, I there think are some... That's sort of like a more of a nod thing. Okay, yeah, so on this one, yeah, there's okay. the, 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 the idea agent is that we're, res okay. yeah, we're rescuing okay. Delphi. Or a Delphi secret agent. From the, he's in the top right, okay. and all we've got to do is reach okay. the top right. Okay. But of course, there's a big okay. enemy base in the way between okay. us and them. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. And so what the game wants you to do is take that construction yard, okay. build a base, okay. blow up their okay. base, and go through okay. it to rescue him. Okay. But because we're on casual, okay. Uh, okay. We, we don't have to worry about anything. Just, we can just run through their base. and. Okay. This almost always works unless there's a flamethrower in the wrong place. <laughs> if there's a flamethrower right isn't. there, okay. yeah, on fine. normal or casual or, or hard, you're okay. over. Okay. You're done. Yeah, if there's a flamethrower in the wrong place, there's hardly any okay. units there right now actually, which is weird. Yeah. But sometimes there's a flamethrower right on the corner because they build random infantry. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, there's, there he is. Um, and we just get a helicopter to fly in and it's game over. It's that easy. Structure sold. And that was level 11 done. Uh, and we're going to play accomplished. the most broken level in casual <laughs> next. Oh uh, yeah, this is, level's real hard. Um, so because we're on casual, our units have lots of lots and lots of health. And they take lots of hits. Um, and level 12 is supposed to all be about rescuing Mobius. And we, we need to Hello? take out all... The, we need, to take, we need to take out Hello? take out all the Sam sites on the level because we Hello? can't get Mo we can't get Mobius in the it's helicopter just, just, just. without the, with the Sam sites there because they shoot down the helicopter and to show us that they send in a helicopter and it gets shot down and then we have to go and kill the Sam sites because everybody builds a good base around <laughs> enemy Sam sites but because this is casual and our our helicopter has like stupid amounts of health he the the, the, the helicopter that's supposed to get shot down doesn't get shot down at the beginning and we just put Mobius in the helicopter and send him away uh, and that's the end and you literally don't have to do anything <laughs> so that's that's level 12 done good job mission accomplished that's, that's it baby that's it baby <laughs> <laughs> on the other on the other difficulties those there was a bit annoying but on casual that's so annoying, annoying. annoying on other difficulties <laughs> this level this you pick either one it doesn't matter they're the same level we're, we finally pinned down Kane, and he's in one of his bio uh, bio weapons facilities, and uh, 
We're we're here. We're gonna stop them. That's right. Or at least that's what we're telling ourselves. But the whole mission here is just to destroy one building up there. You can do this on any difficulty. It's basically the exact same. Yeah, it's slightly easier on casual. Ah, most slightly. <laughs> slightly, because slightly because the uh, the missile so launchers. The, the missile don't launchers are, uh, one shot, don't yeah. die. On the other difficulties, you're a bit paranoid about the missile launchers getting killed, but basically they've got enough range to kill the target building up here. You just need to take out the wall, and then you target them up there. Um, and they're not... they're pretty tough, so they don't die, and then you win the level. And that's it. That's it? Mission accomplished. <laughs> so, so that's a good one. That's it, Barbie. Let's go! I keep forgetting i got to skip these uh, cutscenes. Trying to skip Fishing and barrel time, boys. Fishing barrel, Fish barrel time. Um, and yeah, this one I quite like this one on casual. It's quite a fun level because. Yes, uh, oh, let's see. Yes, sir. Yeah, the, the the story here is there's a convoy coming of Nod troops, and we're to going to reinforce try and take them out. the uh, headquarters. And so we're going to head them off at the pass, effectively. Um, but on casual, we can do this really cool thing. Um, we know where they're going to spawn spawn in on the map. And we've got some really fast, strong strong units here. And so we're going to race as fast as we can uh, around to where they where they spawn in on the map. And we're just going to arc our units in front, which means that they won't be able to spawn in. Uh, and then there's only going to be a handful of units left on the map. And we'll, uh, we'll win easily. Uh, we'll win quickly, most importantly, because it's a speed run. Never played on casual. The casual Whoa. is casual is hilarious though. Yes, sir. Yeah, we get up here and we park one, two, three units across the well, across that gap, uh, and and that's it. Well, there's a flame tank that's somehow on the screen but off the screen. I've not seen yeah. that before. Well, at least he's he's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna die. And then all we've got to worry about is two one star two, tank and these two artillery. Two artillery. And that's it. That's all that's left yeah. on the map. And there should be a whole column of units appearing to come down and get us, but they're not. They can't get on the map. We've, we've blocked it. Um, and that's it. That's game over. And that's how that's, how that's done. Whenever I run this one on casual, I always have, I always have my heart in my mouth slightly. Because this is the, that's the second last level. And it can go wrong blocking up the, yes. the pass there if you're... If if a couple of units, if if like a flame tank spawns in, uh, it can destroy your units and stop you doing that. But we're all good. And we're into the last level. All I'm going to do on this level is capture silos. Yes, sir. I think uh, I'm going to I'm going to try and give you guys the iron cannon ending. I think we can do an iron cannon. Ending. What's the, I got, think I can do it. Uh, so yeah, this is this is the final level. Kane has built his temple in Sarajevo. The cradle of his temple. The cradle of his temple. The and, cradle uh, of my we, temple. We've got to go and make a crater of a temple. Um, so they they generously give us one tank to do that with. To, to, yeah, to take the bad guy out with. Yeah, one tank. one tank. That's it. That's all we're getting. That's all the resources that we can have from from. The whole world's the behind this attack, <laughs> and all we have is one tank um, so yeah this i i was i was playing this level earlier trying to remember how to do it on hard and uh, it's actually quite it's quite hard on hard even <laughs> even with some of the we have um, and it's actually it, it can go wrong as well on casual a little bit. oh yeah it I, when i was practicing for this uh it went real wrong um that's why but i'm getting okay. extra refinery there is th this particular version of the level has some conveniently placed silos for us. So we can basically bankroll the whole level by going down the right side of the map here. There's a couple of turrets we've got to take out. Hopefully those light tanks don't come for us. Oh, but they are. That doesn't usually happen. I know that they're driving on, it's fine. They're just, they're just, they're just attacking and running. Hopefully they don't run over the engineers. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. We've got to watch out for those light tanks. There's two light tanks that patrol. They go up and down. Oh, we lost an engineer. Bad times. Yeah, it's okay. But the the 
the strats for this level on all difficulties are kind of pinned around this little area down here. There's six silos um, conveniently placed for us outside the enemy base. Um, and we can capture those silos and get a bunch of money. And then we can sell them and the enemy will rebuild them for us, which is great fun. And then we can capture them again and get a bunch of money. Uh, and if we ag uh, like like the other levels, if we aggro the harvester, then it will bring all their units to us. Um, and sometimes we want to do that, uh, like if we've got a huge mass of grenades. We do need to watch out for flame tanks though, because they are the one thing that can rip through the grenades. They're pretty much impervious to everything out, but the flame tank is dangerous. And they're not too happy about artillery fire either, but the flame tanks, they're gone now. If this was anything other than casual, we'd be done. Yeah, we, we wouldn't be able to do this on non-casual, because our units are they're not strong enough. Um, so we need slightly different strats there. Um, but yeah, we need to capture so we need to get a little bit more money, and then we'll use this as the, the staging, staging post. Yeah, that Building. gives us a whole bunch of money. And if they still have harvesters running, and if they, <laughs> oh, yeah, those flame, those flame guys. Yeah, so we we capture them and then we sell them off once we've got our own, uh, and then we get a bunch of money, and then hopefully we actually want them to build them again and fill them again for us. Um, well, while, while we're busy over here. Construction complete. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and capture more silos uh, and go into this. This like there's two parts to the base. Three parts. Uh, there's two parts of the base. Yeah, there's there's two main parts up here, and then there's a sneaky sneaky extra construction yard down in, in the bottom left. Um, yeah, these these guys are all going into the the bottom part. Um, there's carnage happening everywhere. There'll be lots of grenades going off. This is just the grenade spam approach like we've taken for the other levels. We just try and uh, rip through as much as possible. We can, if you can take out the barracks, then that... Take out the Hand of Nod, then that... Uh, that makes it makes a, a lot less stressful because we know that they're not going to uh, uh, flame us. And yeah. it is nearly GG. Oh, oh. We've got the advanced content for the for the iron cannon strike. That's good. I'm gonna try and try and give the good ending. <laughs> uh, so if anybody doesn't know, there, there are two slightly different ending cutscenes for for the the GDI campaign, um, and you get a slightly different cinematic if you destroy the the uh, Temple of Nod with an iron cannon strike. It's quite a cool little cinematic. So that's what is going for there. Oh, give me some more engineers. Oh, I was about to let them all die over there. Uh, they were nearly done. They're nearly done. There's one more. Do stuff. They've still got. They've still got the construction yards, but because it's casual, they don't rebuild their stuff at a particularly fast oh, rate. My my biggest problem right now is I don't. I have low power. Oh my gosh. Our base is under attack. And sell the old comm center. Oh, no, that's okay. Ah, uh, I don't even know where I put. Where do I put it? You Good can thinking. That one here, we don't need that anymore. Good thinking. And now we've got far. <laughs> plenty of grenades now. There's one sound site in the middle of the map, and then there's construction yards. And, and, and then the Templar Nod is in the bottom right. Yeah. We were, I don't want to attack. i got to kill it with the iron cannon. Yeah. We got. Nod has their uh, has their nuclear weapons in this one, so we have to watch out a tiny bit. Although it shouldn't affect. Yeah, us they're going to nuke us as soon as I attack. Uh, oh, you got that. that nice. One one random engineer survived. We could sell that sell that one for money. Build even more grenades. <laughs> They'll also nuke you when you destroy that. Yeah. Um, that refinery for reasons because they like they nuke you when you kill their, their their first yeah. little base. 
and the nuke you when you first attack there, and a nod. Did, they, should be. They, they did not nuke me? Oh, okay. There it goes. Oh, oh, oh so no, they killed your radar. Oh no, they killed your power. Oh, okay. Attack. I was like, they killed my <laughs> comm center, no. I only have that <laughs> base need, one now. just need to re repair that power. I was like, then that's sell, it. Sell, sell the construction yard there and repair the power. Yeah. Structure sold. Unit ready. Oh. Somehow they were they survived. Maybe that's because it's casual. Normally they would die from a nuke. But maybe casual doesn't actually destroy destroyed the buildings. I remember the old on the original Commander Conquer. The nuke was so devastating. It just like your base is gone. <laughs> yeah. It was horrendous. It was the worst. it was terrifying. <laughs> on the original one. As soon as you knew saw the nuke go off, you're like, okay, this could be the end of the game. I think I've got everything on the map now. Just for some stuff over here. Yeah, there's just there's one. I can see one red see dot on the radar. Speed this up. And there's just a couple of things left. There you go. Yep. Yeah. And then and then it's the bomb section with the with the with the temple. I think that's everything. Oh, it's gonna. Be, it might be <laughs> Look at the grenadiers. Look how many grenadiers you've got. Yeah. <laughs> I think you've got enough. <laughs> And then we're just waiting for the iron cannon. Showing off the super weapons. Oh, here comes the second nuke. No, 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 no! Run away, run away! Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait for the iron cannon. Yeah. How long does it take? It's gonna take a, a minute it's, or so. And I, well, if I could sell some stuff, I can't sell my construction. To, ah. Oh, you got nuked again. You still got power though. It's fine. You don't need to do anything. You yeah. just have to wait for it to to, to become ready. Uh, well, you know what? If I yeah, if I build it's another comm set, it's it's, it's, it's just there. gonna it's gonna low power me. Maybe there. How many grenades to get keep it. it low? GGs, GGs. Oh, two grenades. Is it is it gonna be too strong? Mm -hmm. They're pretty mighty. And just waiting for that little segment, that little green segment to, to go all the I'm way doing this to clock. give you guys the good ending. This is the canon ending, actually. Don't kill it, though. <laughs> Don't kill it. <laughs> You're getting oh, so close. <laughs> Here we go. It's ready. Let's do it. Oh, boom. Ah, I might not get, that up. might not be it because those guys survived. They must. Joe. Be. There we go. GG. Gosh darn it, right Joe. GG. Easy. Here we go. So we'll get a special clip. You'll see. You'll see. Also, I think we're gonna f use our air units right here. There we go, baby. That's an orca. There we go. The cradle of my temple. It's fun fact. Kane directed like all of the cinematics for all the Command and Conquerors. The temple's been blown all the hell. We need to get out of here before... Kane or Joe Kukin. Topside has suffered significant damage. That's right. Structural integrity has been compromised. I estimate GDI will have access to this command center in approximately 20 Real minutes. Real tough guy. Real tough guy. Believe it. He's displeased. Yes, yes. There we go. If you don't get the iron cannon ending, some rocks fall there. Yeah, does the. Uh... It was all worth it. Here we go. Cain lives. Oh wait. Cain lives. Peace through power. And we have right. saved the world. Yeah. Good ending. And this is our United Nations.
Marcia Swayze, uh, Patrick Swayze's brother's ex-wife, everybody. Of the world but, in fact, we don't need to watch this part. <laughs> uh, GG, that was a great run. Yeah, thanks. I hope everybody enjoyed it. It was fun. This has been fun. Well played. This whole thing's been fun. Uh, I'm so so happy to have been invited to do this. This is it means a lot too. This is so fun. I've st the whole community and community being able to come together and, and come do this has been so good. Yeah, it's uh, been awesome. It's been awesome to have yeah, y'all here. Yeah. Um. Thanks, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I, my name's Willie the Great, and I like to uh, speed run retro games and like on NES and uh, SNES, and I play uh, Command and Conquer and stuff. I'm also uh, the one of the only active mods for Command and Conquer: Tiberium Dawn, Red Alert, and Remaster on Speedrun.com. And um, if I would love for you guys to start to try and break some of these records or just take them because we've got a lot of open records and the it's a great community and we'd love to have more people so thank yeah, you for having me to, uh, shout out to Euler for, uh, for verifying literally hundreds of my runs hundreds <laughs> hundreds sometimes back to back world record oh next day world record <laughs> so I, I I used to have all the world records and then uh Peza come come came and took him from me. But I hurt my wrist, so I stopped playing. But he's he's he is very good at this. He is very good at this game. So I think that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for having me. This has been a blast. I'm gonna. I need to rest my voice. I'm talking for too long. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You you yeah. definitely you you've earned a break. Thank you both so much for being on. Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, you know, having the community on uh, that showcase of the games has been great. Uh, I appreciate you all both coming on. Uh, great runs from both of you. Thanks, we I do, appreciate it. We do have one more run for the night coming up. Uh, before we do that, we're going to take a quick break. Right before the break, though, just a quick reminder. The Frame Fatale submissions are open now until May 20th, so you can use exclamation FF and Twitch chat to learn more. That's up back in just a few minutes with the last run of the night. Go! Let go! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hot Fix. This is our Command and Conquer community showcase. We're showcasing a bunch of games in the Command and Conquer series with the speedrunning community. And uh, for the final game of the day is Command and Conquer Renegade. Uh, we have some uh, new faces. I will let them introduce themselves. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Noto or Alex, whichever you prefer to call me. And... Uh, I'm about to run this amazing game for you to all today. Um, yeah. And I'm DJ Ted. I also run this game a little bit, and I'll help commentate and assist wherever I can. All right, cool. Um, so a little bit about the run. Uh, we are going to be running any percent, uh, which is ran on the recruit difficulty for the fact that it is faster. Um, the recruit difficulty features essentially double health compared to the next difficulty, which is the main reason we do it. Um, you also uh, do a little bit more damage. That's So that's the main reason we run on it. Um, there's also this difficulty which features, as we will see, the world's worst auto-aim. It is entirely a hindrance. Um, it does not help you aim at all. And in fact, will troll some parts of this run and make some parts substantially harder to execute. But we need to run on it for some uh, skips to work based on enemy health. So. That's why we're going to run our recruit today. Um, if there's not anything anyone else would like to add, without further ado. Yes, I'm started. All right. Uh, and so time starts when I press recruit in three, two, one, go. All right. All right. And Conquer Renegade. So this game is not like any other games we've seen today. Um, this is a boots on the ground game. We aren't seeing this from the overhead perspective. So... Oto, can you explain what this game is about, fundamentally? Uh, uh, yeah. Why is it so different? So, Westwood decided they would make a shooter whose multiplayer had RTS mechanics. Um, which was a great idea, except for the fact that it sold really badly. But, it's really fun. Um, in terms of the actual gameplay in the single player, it is very much a, like, adventure shooter you would see in a lot of campaigns and kind of 
any AAA shooter these days in terms of like a Titanfall or a Battlefield or a Call of Duty. Um, and so it's gonna be fairly linear, um, but we're gonna, gonna run around the world, collect ammo, ammo pickups, do objectives. In the meanwhile, uh, there are currently some GDI forces, the main protagonists of the Command and Conquer series, and they're getting beat up in this ambush. So we need to go help them because we are playing as the Commando Havoc. Um, who I saw, I was watching some past runs and in the chat people were shouting out Havoc as the Commando and uh, Tiberian Dawn, so that's pretty fun. So we're gonna start Scorpion Hunters. This level um, is by far the easiest level in the game. It's the tutorial level. We're just gonna jump over some rocks and kill these Black Hand who don't actually matter to die. And now we progress into every runner's favorite part of the Renegade speedrun, uh, whatever we call this. <laughs> it's RNG. RNG nonsense is how we shall call this. Um, it's entirely an auto scroller. So there's two enemies that are important to kill, and I just killed the two, which will trigger that rocket soldier spawn, which builds up that APC, which progresses the auto scroller. Next up is about 30 more seconds of auto scroller, where all we care about is this guy right here, this good fellow. And by I shouldn't call him a good fellow, he's actually a really big jerk. Um, He's a big meanie. Yeah. We call him Rocket Guy because all his job is to do is to hit one rocket on one helicopter. And he has about a one-third chance of doing that if we manipulate the enemies correctly. I got stuck on the tank, but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, don't worry. I'm stuck on the tank and I cannot move, but it does not matter. So it's all on Rocket Guy to hit the shot here. It all comes down to this. He doesn't shoot. Um, so that costs <laughs> us 10 seconds. <laughs> it's... You can make sure he doesn't get distracted by enemies, which is we did successfully, but because he had a clear shot, but then it's up to him to actually hit the shot. And he's really If he doesn't hit the shot, he he um the helicopter will actually blow up itself, which will progress mission eventually. But yeah. But now we're stuck on the tank. Uh if this were if we weren't stuck on the tank, I would grab some ammo over there and save like half a second by pushing this engineer towards the tank to make him repair the tank faster. Uh, but that's... How did you manage to get stuck on this, by the way? It, it's really common for me, actually. Okay. Oh, I, I, yeah, I get stuck all the time. Yeah, so uh, once the tank will respawn when it gets repaired, so that changes the collision and you get unstuck. Uh, we blow up that Humvee so it doesn't get in our way. It saves two seconds. And now we are going to just drive this tank towards the enemy base kind of willy-nilly. We're in literally no danger. And one for the community, we're going to do a funny meme strat here. Uh, if DJ wants to explain that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, in a nutshell, whenever you shoot a, as a, in a tank in this game, it gives you a small velocity impulse, which does give you a slight speed boost in the opposite direction you're shooting. So we shoot backwards, and it gives a little bit of a speed. It, it's very minuscule for most vehicles, and it's sort of just a meme for it. But it technically does save time, technically speaking. Very technically. Um, so yeah, all we need to do is blow up these SAM sites, and then we progress the auto scroller once more. Um, yeah, we're now just going to kind of wait for this level to end. There's a lot of ways to pass the time here. You can kill your friends, and then get yelled at by your boss for killing your friends. Uh, we can make fun of Renegade's culling. Observe the texture is culling badly, is having a culling bug. Um, but yeah, there's a whole super weapon ion cannon laser thing blowing up the entire Nod base. So that's interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, we towards the end we picked up two rockets there, so that will help as ammo carries through between levels. We're going to use those rockets to uh, do some fast things in the next level. Rescue and Retribution. Alright. So, Rescue and Retribution. This level is the most popular IL for Renegade. Um, it's pretty uh, tight in terms of its actual just execution, in terms of its movement, and has a pretty big skip we'll see um but i will not spoil it because it's pretty cool but in the meantime we will just kind of walk on this beach i am going to be jumping up hills uh in this way because it is slightly faster uh given that basically uh renegade decreases your decelerate like so take some of your velocity when you go up vertically so when you jump you're just going through the air vertically instead which has the same aerial speed as just walking horizontally and then we're going to ignore these guys because we don't care about them at all. Um, which is kind of a reoccurring theme we'll see throughout the Renegade speedrun, actually, is that is uh, we do not care at all about our friends. Um, not even Captain Duncan. Not even Captain Duncan. Speaking of, where is he? 
Uh, I haven't seen him in a while, personally. But. Yeah. So, Captain Duncan, for those unaware, is a really nice guy. He's like, gives you an ion cannon. He's so amazing. Um, but for some reason, no one in a Renegade speedrun has seen him for three months. He's been missing. Yeah, it's been about three months. Yeah, we need to yeah. file a missing persons report. And I mean, if I had to point the police to a suspect, I would definitely point them towards the runner, Yuke, who uh, I think had something to do with his disappearance. <laughs> Shout out to Yuke, by the way, uh, for the skip that you are about to see. Um, as we formerly used to use Captain Duncan to... Uh, he gave us a super weapon because he was really nice, and he would let us blow up buildings. Uh, but now we have cooler ways to blow up buildings than giant super weapon space lasers. Never thought that's the day debatable, but it is faster <laughs> to not use it. I'm a speedrunner. Yeah. I think cooler equals faster. So we're just gonna yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. We're gonna go along this river. Um, we took a little bit of fall damage there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that fall damage though does illustrate actually the if you see the bottom left, my health and armor. There's literally one difference between health and armor in Renegade, and that's that you take all damage when you fall. Um, oh, I- crap, I forgot to do the thing that would've uh, given me good luck for the run. Uh, it's over, unfortunately. Uh-oh. <laughs> nope, no context for that. Not getting context. No one's getting context for that. Um, you have to watch more Renegade speedruns to find out the horror. All right, this guy drops health, actually, which is really nice because we're going to jump off a cliff soon. Um, and I'm personally not a fan of dying when I jump off my cliffs. Like, I typically I typically choose to avoid doing that as much as possible. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to jump off this cliff and kill this grunt over here. And then we can't take the full fall here. It will kill us, so we need to take a partial fall. I kind of took that a little bit safe. And then we're going to kill this buggy with our rockets. Detected. All right, so now we are going to approach the final section of the level where we will see Duncan skip. Um, Duncan skip is skipping using his super weapon he gives to blow up this communication center. So we're going to kill these guys around here. We're going to importantly shoot this communication center with our rifle, which seemingly does nothing. And I'm going to make a save here. The GDI flame tank. Got it. Okay. So that is Duncan Skip, if uh, DJ, you want to explain that. Yeah, so, um, first of all, when he was shooting the, uh, the comm center with his rifle, uh, the main, main thing that was doing was triggering the engineer inside it to start his repair cycle. Um, if we start that early, we will have a bigger window to destroy the building. Um, after that, we actually shot through the building, and there's a bug in the original release of Renegade that allowed you to shoot through walls in first person. Um, with a very specific angle against the wall. And there's a massive control terminal down there in the bottom floor of the comp center, and we are able to destroy it through that way using the sniper rifle. All right, yeah, so that skip was found by Yuke. It's called Duncan Skip because we skip going to Duncan in the level who uh, gives us a super weapon to kill that comp center, which is necessary for the mission to progress. Now we're into Armored Assault. Armored Assault is a vehicle level. Um, this is pretty commonly, I think, a very hard level for beginners to learn when they're learning the speedrun, because it's vehicles are kind of a whole different thing in Renegade. Um, first things first, you'll notice when I steer, um, I'm actually not going to be holding my direction I'm steering. I'm going to be mashing the direction I want to steer, uh, because when you hard turn, when you turn in Renegade, uh, you have a very fast deceleration. So instead, I'm going to be mashing steer, but like uh, undoing, like press, unpress, so that the deceleration doesn't actually take effect. Um, and that's called top steering, and it's uh, important to make turns at high speeds. It's a little yeah. bit less. And it's also, oh, sorry. It's, it's less impactful for vehicles like the Humvee, but like for tanks, especially, you really do want to tap steer. Because if you, if you don't tap steer, when you try to hold steer in a tank, you're basically standing still in place, which is really, really bad. All right, so this Humvee is a little bit slow for our tastes. So we're going to take the less healthy um, and confusing for our side, but they deal with it fine. Uh, not buggy, you know. Um, all right. And so we're going to transition to the buggy. That was a little bit slow, but whatever. The buggy is used because the buggy has a slightly higher top speed than the Humvee. Um, that's a... Yeah, all right. So now we're going to have to... Up, up around this corner is a lot of tanks and a mobile artillery. Uh, they're going to offer us their mammoth tank. We say no. Mammoth tanks are slow. But yeah, we need to make sure that mobile artillery misses its shot. It's really bad at leading its shot, so that's not too difficult. 
And then we're just going to kind of ignore our friends who are asking for our help to clear the area. Because helping your friends is slow, so um, I don't know why you'd have them. Alright. No, I, I agree. Yeah. Alright, so next up, this is a skip called Tank Skip. Uh, this is... Basically, there's this tank in front of me. I only need to get shot by, once by it. If I got shot, sh get shot twice by it, I am going to load my save. Um, which involves me going at this precise angle to make it miss its shot that it was leading. And I got it. Um, so that's actually a pretty hard strat for most beginners, I think. Um, I really struggled with, with learning that. Um, but now we have a buggy, and we completely ignored fighting a tank. Um, so that saves time. There's this rocket soldier here. Uh, he was nice, and he kind of stepped out to let us kill him. You know, Nod's... The kind of reoccurring theme of this game is that Nod isn't too great at actually thinking about how to stop Havoc, who, in the speedrun, is kind of just running as fast as possible at them face first, with no second thought. Which is also, I think, how the game is played casually most of the time. Yeah. Alright, so there's Rocket Soldier here on the bridge. I'm missing really badly. Uh, I need to load my save. Uh, okay. I completely whiffed all my shots on the uh, Rocket Soldier on the bridge. Uh, yeah, and now I hit so him instantly. The, the, the important part about this level is that you need to keep the, the buggy at high health because you really need it to survive. And if it doesn't survive, like, you just, you need to restart. This bridge is by yeah. Sam so Rocket Soldier's are scary. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of rocket soldiers in this level. Why'd that tank shoot me? Oh. I've never seen that tank shoot me there before. You yeah, might be able to make it, make but this. it's going to be this. tight. I can make this. Uh, actually, that's sketchy. This is really sketchy. <laughs> I'm super sketchy. I've made this before. I've made this before. <laughs> it's possible, but like... Okay, so the main reason why it's important to keep this buggy is we need the buggy to stay alive to get past the obelisk. Um, the obelisk uh, will kill you instantly if you're not in the vehicle, and um, if you get close enough to the obelisk, it will stop shooting you, and that allows us to move past the obelisk and go through the uh, the dam door. I took a um, really slow backup here. Oh wait, I'm also not at the right place. Are you saying what am I doing? Okay, I took a really you seem lost. I took a really slow backup there because I'm not used to. Uh, doing that and now we're there going we go. to do a certain skip called dam skip this was also found by the runner named yuke because he finds kind of all the skips for this game um i'm gonna throw 5c4 and now we're gonna see why i need to keep the buggy alive because there's this obelisk it's a big laser tower yep. thank you gdi soldier for giving me a fast buggy what it's not a very fast buggy oh wait that's actually really bad i'm not okay anyway that almost worked that almost saved me like 10 seconds, but instead it cost me five. Okay, that was a little bit scuffed. But basically what happened there was that that bay door at the end uh, is locked unless you kill the dam. But going downstairs to kill the dam is slow. Um, so we throw C4 at a bunch of rocks and it splash damages the master control terminal, the basically the big like central point of the dam. And that kills the dam, which opens the gate. And the point of the buggy is to tank the obelisk, the big laser tower shot for us, which... Um, Otherwise, it would have one-shot us, so, uh... That was a little bit sketchy, though. And the fact that our buggy died really fast, because the obelisk shot really fast, and I used to sh Uh, I for kind of forgot that it once it gets warmed up, it can shoot really fast in this game, because that usually doesn't happen. Um, usually, I'm a little bit faster at that skip, so that, that doesn't actually need to occur. <laughs> but, we are through it. We didn't lose that much time. That was still pretty solid. And now we're going to just kind of run through the rest of the level. Um, we are terrified of rocket soldiers in this game. Because um, they do a lot of damage. Not just with their rocket launchers, but specifically, they can headshot you. Um, <laughs> any single damage thing can headshot you in this game. Flamethrowers, yeah. Rocket launchers, yeah. Tanks, yeah. So, um, I'm a little bit terrified of getting headshot by rocket soldiers. And it's not only that, um, the headshot multiplier in this game is insane. So it's, it's just super scary to get hit with any sort of large burst damage weapon. Yeah, like rocket soldiers and snipers will just one shot you. Know? Yeah. So now we're going to head into this hand of Nod. Uh, this is just some pretty tight movement and us ignoring quite a few enemies, other than if they're in our way. Um, we're going to do our second bless the run, which is to kill that chef. Lock the general who's kind of in charge of you will get really mad at you if you kill him 
for some reason. Although he would totally shoot you. That chef will totally kill you if you let him. It's kind of a bug in the game, it's funny. Um, so now we're gonna start a cutscene. So, a little bit about the plot of Renegade. That's us, Havoc. Yeah, he's the guy with the sniper rifle. Cool. Uh, those three scientists, um, that girl Sydney, um, Petrova, and her dad, Sydney's dad Mobius, are, um, getting on board that plane with that General Ravishaw. He's kidnapped them and we want them back, right? And we know who is involved in this plot to kidnap these scientists. Our ex-girlfriend Sakura. So we're gonna stalk her with our sniper rifle. That's the thing you do to your ex-girlfriends. Uh, trust me. Great plan. You're so dead. And then we see Oops. that guy, Mendoza, slap her uh about life say ass on GDQ. I I you just did. Okay. Good, good <laughs> I mean I do. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not much to do about it. <laughs> okay. And so we tried to kill him for for slapping Sakura. Um so uh we took a sniper shot at him. A random g grunt walked in front conveniently, and then the cutscene ended. Um, now, that's supposed to be a boss fight with him, but you can kind of just jump off the building like we did there to avoid, like, dealing with your interpersonal problems. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot there was a boss fight there. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very easy to miss casually, even. Like, I've missed that casually before, but there is a boss fight there. I don't know that I've ever seen it, now that you mention it, like... <laughs> All right, so now this is the plotter ups. Uh, our ex-girlfriend is a little bit mad at us, us taking the sniper shot at her, at her current boyfriend. Like, I don't know what's up with her. That's kind of makes no sense. Um, so she just shot us down onto an island. She took a helicopter and we were in a plane. She just shot us down. So, like, I don't know what's up with her. Um, but conveniently, there's a bunch of non-soldiers on this island, so we can go blow them up, you know, exercise our problems in a normal, healthy way. Renegade's story is very, very in uh, intriguing. Yes. So, I, since, since we're talking about the interpersonal problems, there is a great line we skip where Admiral Locke is, like, talking to Havoc and is like, hey, you know, Sakura's on their side. Like, there's not going to be a conflict of interest, right? And Havoc goes, conflict of interest? No, I have an interest in conflict. <laughs> One of the I love this game so much. <laughs> one liners of this game. All right, so we just kind of walked through a bunch of radiation of uh, Tiberium. It's okay. We have plenty of health to deal with it. What are these Nod soldiers going to do? Shoot us? Yes. Are they going to kill us? Hopefully not. Is taking armor safe here? Yes. So I will do it because it's a marathon. I would never take armor there if I was in a full game attempt. It's not worth the half second of detour in, in the straightest line possible to run to where I want to go. So we're gonna kill that Nod Officer. There's three Nod Officers in this complex. Um, they will spawn reinforcements if we don't kill them fast enough. So I killed two of them, including one with the jumping no scope. That's courtesy of the auto aim. I'm, no, sorry, uh, my bad. I'm actually that cracked at aiming. Um, I'm really incredible actually. All right, so now we're gonna uh, have superpowers about knowing where the key card is to find to get into the communication center because we need to download information on where they are. We're gonna shoot our gun a little bit to make this guy run at us. Hello, run at me, please. Thank you. Sorry, uh, when you shoot your rifle there, usually he will react to the audio cue and run towards you, but that time he didn't because he's a big fan of our speedrun going slow. Unfortunate that we get a hater this early on. But now we're gonna run into the communication center as our friends in our voice, namely Captain Sowansu, the gunboat captain, uh, is yelling at us to help him because helping your friends is slow, so we're not gonna do it. All right, so now we're gonna run to this uh, comm center. There's a lot of people here, but we're kinda gonna ignore them. We're gonna download the information and immediately get out of here. Uh, Renegade has, a, by the way, a quick 180 button that I just pressed there. I don't actually have that high of a sensitivity. And now we're going to go up this elevator, and oh look, it's a boss fight with our ex-girlfriend. She's not mad at us. But you know what beats her being mad at us? Us shooting down her helicopter into a volcano. So I, th th there's a really cool thing uh, that we didn't really talk about, but you're not really supposed to be expected to use that elevator, which is why this fight is so easy. Typically, you're supposed to walk back up like the ramp, and so Sakura's already taken off from there, uh, but that's slow. 
yeah, so we take the fast elevator and she's not ready for us to come out just kind of Warning, shooting her down. Joke's on her now, but hope she knows how to swim in lava. Alright, I'm gonna make a save here because I shouldn't die here, but I could. You're pretty low anyway. Alright. There's a, sni there's a sniper on the crane, so that, 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 that's Yeah, there's a sniper there, there who can kill you. I've never died to him before, but DJ repeatedly is like, No, no, he could kill you. Ah, I'm oh, I've, died. I've died a few times. All right, next up, Stowaway, my favorite level in the no game, both now and as a kid. Uh, basically, we just escaped from exploding yeah, volcano okay. triggered by shooting a helicopter into it uh, onto a big ship. Uh, so this, we are now going to just kind of take a detour blowing up stuff on a ship. Not really anything to do with the plot, Sabotage actually. The four Nod missile racks. But, you know, it has some great one-liners. Uh, we're going to shoot some conveniently displaced explosive barrels. Ignore this guy, because he does not matter. Uh, his purpose detected. in the world is moot. Locate and destroy. And uh, we are just kind of run through the ship for a little bit as we look for the first mate. Warning. Um, Tiberium life there's some detected. clever foreshadowing of the future plot here. We're going to kill this Tiberium zombie. Do you think we can fix it without And then the we're going to wait for this elevator no while these guys talk. They noticed us, so I have to kill this guy. If I shoot As I shoot this right guy, right guy notice he turns onto a mutant. Uh, uh, that's right specifically, so I'm not going to kill him until I up the elevator. Alright, and I grab armor on the way the elevator comes down. And uh, we are now on the upper deck of the ship. Alright, so now... Uh, we are going to see an innocent scientist <laughs> being berated by a Nod soldier to give him an aspirin. So we're going to kill him for him. I was doing him a favor. And now we're going to look for the first mate up here. Um, going to pick up this armor just in case. Doesn't really lose time to pick it up. Grab a flamethrower from that guy, which is really nice of him. So that means we don't have to grab one on the way back. Gonna kill this first mate, grab his keycard, and just kind of get out of here. Um, I'm getting shot a lot, um, but very much the theme of Renegade speedruns in terms of doing them fast is not caring about people shooting you. <laughs> so, I am... Um, Under recruit difficulty, you have so much HP that you can just typically, like, what we like to call yellow. You just yellow pass through a lot of parts of this game because you just have so much HP to tank. I kind of got stuck on the stairs there, but now we have the best cutscene in the game. What's with him? He's sick. We gotta find a way to get him out of here. We'll take the sub. You got the control key? Not yet. Get going. I'll meet you there. You're going up against the whole crew by yourself? Don't seem fair, does it? Maybe I'll shoot left-handed. Yeah, Havoc's a real tough guy. <laughs> so, uh, I saw this in chat earlier, so I had to bring this up. Uh, somebody earlier said it would be hilarious if in Commando difficulty, Havoc started shooting left-handed. <laughs> that would be so great, actually. <laughs> That'd be pretty fitting, to be honest, given how hard that difficulty setting can be. DJ Thud here uh, is actually the main commando difficulty runner in the game, so um, he's the authority here. <laughs> and I agree, that would be really funny. Um, we're gonna now just kind of rig some missile racks to explode. It's kind of just a random objective in the middle of the level that we have to do. Um, now we're gonna come up on one of the scarier parts of the level. Uh, there's two ways to do this. The cr theoretically, like, glitchier way is actually slower if you played the first half of the level like I just did. So I'm not going to do it. But uh, ba basically, we're going to run this way. There's a lot of snipers around us. We don't care about them. And then we're going to blow up these torpedoes. Um, there's a way to skip having to blow up these torpedoes by... Um, essentially abusing how that trigger uh, works, but that's actually, you have to wait for 12 seconds, which only saves 10 seconds if you do the first half of the level like I did, which is the fastest way. So it's um, not worth it, unless as a backup strike. Now we're going to just kind of head up the ship. We're going to kill the chef with a flamethrower. Fun fact, my friend in culinary school once saw me speedrun this game and said she wished she had a flamethrower after seeing that chef. Can't blame him. But now we're going to run through a very scary part of the level because there's a lot of enemies. And we're going to kind of ignore all of them and hope they don't shoot us. But yeah, here's the captain of the ship. Uh, I have some choice words for you, sir. Those were my choice words. And then we are going to jump off this console. Uh, DJ, do you want to explain what I did to actually make that jump work? <laughs> yeah, so... Um, in this game... Physics are frame rate dependent, and they sort of behave slightly different, differently depending on what your frame rate is currently at. Um, in this game, if your frame rate's lower, you have a slightly higher jump, so we have an FPS toggle key 
we use to lower our FPS to allow us to jump over that console to get us through that window. If we had a higher frame rate, that jump just wouldn't be possible. Yeah, so I have an FPS toggle key on my mouse button um, that I press here. Um, now I'm doing the fast, but very, 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 very scary strat here, which involves hoping three snipers don't shoot me. None of them shot me. I'm truly the best Renegade player of all time. That was entirely luck-based, by the way. Um, in theory, you can go slower and kill the snipers, but the fast strat there is to just hope the three snipers don't shoot you, and the safe strat there is to not take that path where they can shoot you. Uh, but we got it. None of them shot us, because we're gamer like that. Alright, now on to Deadly Reunion. Um, this level contains the most important skip in the game, also the hardest skip in the game, um, as well as a reiteration of the lesson I've been repeating throughout this entire speedrun. Helping your friends is slow, okay? So all of you, like, wherever you're watching on GDQ, um, don't help your friends, alright? It's slow. I want you to learn that from me, okay? I am wise. I'm Do not follow this guy's example. <laughs> so we just kind of <laughs> let a flight tech shoot <laughs> us there. Only in speedruns. Uh, yeah, so we just kind of let a flame tank shoot us there. Uh, that is a lineup to just kind of not get shot by him, because his, uh, specifically the hitbox on where his flames are, you can kind of just abuse that. Uh, we're gonna kill that rocket guy so he doesn't shoot us, because he's scary. And we're gonna kind of walk up here as our friends yell at us to help them, because, but you know what? Helping your friends is slow, don't do that. Now, I would like to point out that before the speedrun started, at least five of my real-life friends texted me good luck. Um, all of you watching here, um, sorry, helping you is slow, so, uh, forget about it in the future, alright? Dead to me. Peace. <laughs> alright, so, we're not gonna shoot this tank, he will only aggro on us if we shoot him, otherwise we're just gonna kinda shoot all the other people here. Uh, there's gonna be a guy with a gun we're gonna shoot as he falls, just so he doesn't shoot us in the back. And then we're gonna kinda just keep on, as our friends yell at us to help them. More. And also as that helicopter dies mid-sentence, which is kind of important for a thing that we skip, because why would we do a boss fight, op an optional boss fight when we don't have to? That plays. All right, so we're gonna blow up this APC and then blow up this turret and then kill this rocket guy who's not ready for us yet. I killed him, right? Yeah, I did, okay. Uh, the, way, the way I know how I killed him is my minimap on the bottom left. It's probably too low resolution to see for anyone on stream. Uh, cause it's really low resolution even for me. We're also gonna kill this guy as we head up. And then now we're gonna do a small time save named after our very only, uh, DJ Thed. Uh, that's called DJ Thed Jump, or Thed Jump as, uh, cause he came up with it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which saves like a little bit of time. We FPS cap to get on that railing early, and that's kind of saves us some time. Alright, now I'm gonna reload my rock launcher so that I'm ready for this flame tank to spawn. And now there's like three different side- I got hitbox, let's go. Um, there's three different uh, side quests here that we can do. Uh, doing them is slow though, so we're not going to do them. Um, and in terms of being hitboxed, uh, the flame tank in this game has a very, very, very buggy hitbox. And I hit a shot, but it just kind of didn't register because its hitbox is very buggy. So now on to the vehicle section. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have more friends yell at us, Hey, help us, please. Even this guy's gonna say, help me. Come on, dude. I hit the trigger for you to say your line. Help me. There we go. He's a, even even that poor soul is gonna say, help, help me. me. Oh, please, help me. Yeah. I don't know what controls when he says so, that line. But we're not gonna help him. Alright. Next up is, uh, this tank's gonna miss his shot. This tank is the worst gamer in all of the world. My headset is falling off my face. As I drive and funny memes <laughs> drought. <laughs> Alright. Don't worry, I can hold W. With one hand. I just didn't get to sh click and do the funny memes strat to save, like, three frames. Rip run. Alright, we got really, really hard sip coming up, by the way. We'll, we'll let the trick speak for itself, but, like, it's really, really hard, so let's... For a All right, yeah. Uh, I just, by the way, just used the animation cancel a tank shot with a rocket launcher. But hard skip incoming. Got it. Nice. Beautiful. Let's go. All right. So that's hard Woo! skip. It's actually really, really, really easy. We call it hard skip because it's funny. Um, 
the trigger to fail the level if you don't help your friends is badly placed and you can kind of just walk around it. Which is why I got out of the tank and walked left. So walking left is the most important skip in this game. We're gonna ignore these rocky guys shooting at us. We also just did a much harder trick called Leerness Jump is kind of what we're... I've called it a bunch because Leerness is a big fan of that jump. Uh, where we jump on some tires. It saves like a second and if you miss it, it's kind of bad. But um, <laughs> you can it's do it if you... Bad. You can do it if you lock FPS, so I go for it every time. Alright, now we have this our good friend Patch, who's in a good spawn. Thank you, Patch, for being in a good spawn. And then now we're gonna do Deadly Arena Defense, which I... That, I'm so lucky that hit, holy crap. Alright, I'm gonna focus for a second, because this is actually really hard. I can't believe I got that, too. Nice. I actually just completely really clutched nice. that. It was, it was a little slow, but yeah, you got it, you got it. Wow. All right, so I focused um, and I almost missed it, but didn't. And this guy walked towards me, which is actually really fast. So uh, this defense is really tightly routed if you're kind of a second off. Um, we need to kill eight soldiers, the three artilleries, and uh, I killed this artillery, right? I did, okay. Uh, we need to kill eight soldiers, three artilleries, and the two helicopters, uh, which we did in that routing to make sure we kill the helicopters right away. That is the eighth. And that was the defense. That was kind of a flawless defense, other than the quick st stutter at the beginning. Which was... Yeah, pretty... That, that's pretty hard. Um, I'm happy I got that. Eva, All right. Position on the scientists. Now, we're upcoming is the stealth level. Central computer system now, located on the are we going to be stealthy? Of, of course not. Non we're going to let this tank shoot us. I kind of accidentally aggroed him early. Yeah, you, that was I, really was early quick. on the aggro. That was really early on the aggro, but it doesn't matter, actually. I just need to <laughs> walk left, right, so we... I mean, it did almost run you over there. Yes, he did. But he didn't. And therefore, I claim I am just skilled um, and not extremely lucky. All right, so this is Grip the Black Hand. Yeah, it's a stealth level. Uh, we haven't been stealthy whatsoever because it's slow, and I don't plan to stop being fast. All right, so we're gonna go, kind of go up here. We're gonna grab a super weapon and a rifle and uh, a key card. But now we have a super weapon. Ooh. It kind of actually breaks Command and Conquer lore in terms of how broken it is. Um, but we don't care about that for now because we care about going fast. A day. Ah, you suck. Oh, oh, ah. That guy died. Alright, so that sniper was scary, so I kind of... I used the flamethrower because the flamethrower stuns, so I was just kind of holding... I got stuck in the door there. That was fun. Alright, uh, I'm gonna do the old strat here because I kind of want safety. Um, so, yeah, there's just kind of a lot of things in this hallway that I'm gonna kill. I dropped a C4 on one of their toes to kill three of them at once and to splash Always. damage. Because C4 does yes. a lot of splash damage. That's the old strat. The new strat is just ignoring them, so you don't have to turn around and throw the C4, which saves like, you know, a third of a second. Um, but, you know, marathon safety. So. Alright, so now more cutscene plot. So, our ex-girlfriend's mad at us for shooting her down into a volcano. I don't know what's up with her. I would be totally forgiving of that. And then now we're gonna have an evil villain speech by the short King Ravishaw. Forget it, Junior. Kill him. My pleasure. <laughs> and like, then we take our ex-girlfriend hostage. So, what? You'll kill my like, DJ, it's a, it's a perfectly re relatable and uh, healthy relationship. Yeah, like, right. I don't know what's up with her. Why is she mad at us? All right, so uh, Ravishaw is going to blow up the lab, with ha which has a bunch of explosive chemicals in it, because he's really smart. That's actually his characterizing feature. Not that he's short. But now uh, we are going to run away from this exploding lab. Uh, we pick up the health pickup. Um, and we're supposed to protect City Moby as the person we came here to rescue on the way out. Uh, but she can find her own way, you know. Escort missions are slow, so let's just kind of walk this way. She'll find her way out. I'm sure she will. Like, 99% of the time, we're fine without Karen. And then there's like a 1%. At least yep. I've had a 1%. <laughs> it's happened to be once where it didn't care. All right. Now, yeah, the other, the other day it did. Before we walk through the store, I'm going to pull up my super weapon and a gun. 
for no apparent reason. None at all. This isn't a boss fight or anything. It's also as hard as the helicopter boss fight. Maybe 1% harder, which is really hard. <laughs> the helicopter boss fight that we ended in three seconds. And I got it first try. Okay, um, basically the super weapon and gun headshot just kills everyone in the game, so we just kind of headshot him with it. Um, that's actually harder on this difficulty than on harder difficulties. Because on this difficulty, the auto-aim that I previously mentioned was really annoying. Um, if you aim on their body as you um, line up your shot, the auto-aim will think you want a body shot. Even And so even if you change to the head, it will always body shot. So you actually have to aim that weirdly and have a... I have a setup for that to make sure I never actually have to um, care about, like, doing that uh, crosshair placement, alive. and I just always get the headshot. Stuff you have to work around it anyway, but, yeah. yeah. Alright, upcoming is Obelisk of Oppression. Uh, the first two-thirds of the level are an auto-scroller in disguise. Except it's an auto-scroller with RNG of when it finishes. Everyone's favorite. So, to make... Try to manipulate the RNG of when it finishes. We're gonna... There's a turret behind this wall here, we're not going to kill it, and we're just going to stand here and wait. Because there is a certain member here of the Dead Six, the commander team that we didn't help at all, and she's a little bit spiteful at us. I don't know why we didn't save her life or anything when she asked us to, but you know. No, no, so I have a complaint. This doesn't look very fast. Yeah, uh, well, it's an auto-scroller, so... <laughs> Just thought I'd voice my opinion. Well, uh, thank you, your opinion's been noted. Um, but as a corollary to the fact that I don't help my friends, I also don't listen to my friends. And their complaints. That's that's fair, actually, yeah. So, uh, Can't we're gonna, argue with that logic. We are going to clear the way for uh, Hotwire, our quote-unquote friend who we didn't help and who is mad at us. Um, in the game, she's not actually mad at you, just that's the only actual reason I have behind why she decides to troll my speedrun so hard. Um, we're, we're gonna clear the way for her, and, uh, where is she? Uh, okay, let's... Oh, wow, you came around the corner fast. I hit the trigger. I didn't realize I hit the trigger. And then we're gonna bolt this buggy, and we're gonna wait for her, because we have to wait for her to start the auto-scroller, and the farther we are away from her, the less likely she is to progress it. So now we have to clear these... Uh, this defense place of when she that she needs to go hack a sand side at. Uh, I'm just standing here instead of moving forward because I need her. This is where the trigger for her to progress the auto scroller is. All right, Hotwire, anytime now. Anytime now. <sighs> anytime now. Come on, Hotwire. I would really appreciate it if you walked past this line. Yeah, there's like there's like a trigger box right in front of Let's her go. that she. That she barely avoids walking into a lot of the time. All right. Uh, it's so frustrating. So, uh, yeah, she sucks. That's like, that was the slow version, by the way. Or like the medium slowness version. There's also the really slow version that costs you like a minute instead. Um, that kind of just kills runs. <laughs> so now we're gonna progress. Now there's a 52 second auto scroller in which we have the time to get to the end of this alley, pair of alleyways. There's an alleyway past this one. Oh, I thought I had zero. I was gonna ammo glitch. Um, there's a small glitch in this game where if you run out of ammo and pick up ammo in the same frame, you auto-reload uh, without having to do the animation. Um, it's really easy with a rocket launcher because you don't, it doesn't actually have to be on the same frame with just the rocket launcher. So I was gonna ammo glitch there, but I... That sniper was nice to me. All right, so not SSM deployment confirm, confirm the voice line that just played is actually the marker that the auto scroller has ended and I can progress past this point in the level. Um, if I didn't wait, the point in the level, by the way, is basically exactly where I'm standing right now. Um, if I didn't wait for that line, the mission would fail because it would say you haven't helped your friends yet. And then, which is dumb because I did help my friends. I had to wait for them, but you know. So you can go very much too fast there. I only went a little bit slow compared to optimality there. Um, and the reason I was slow there compared to optimality is just that I was waiting at the trigger, which gives a better likelihood of Hotwire crossing the trigger than progressing onwards, where it's more, it's less likely that she'll cross the trigger. So there's this tank, we're not gonna worry about him, he'll miss. See, he missed. And then we kill the guys around him, and then we're just gonna walk forward. There's this flame tank that's gonna go right there. Uh, we also don't care about him, because he can't follow us into this alleyway. 
I did kill that guy, but he didn't follow me, so that's all a-okay. Reload my rocket launcher, pull out my sniper, kill this sniper with my sniper. Make a quick save because this part's actually really scary. You can die very easily here because there's a sniper above us that I'm not gonna kill. Hit this big explosive barrel that I wish did more damage. Pick up I'm really low actually. Alright. I'm really low, but that's fine. Um, because we're about to get into a tank. So we're just gonna shoot some rockets at this flame tank. Um Make sure we have our personal ion can out, our super weapon gun out, as we get into the tank. Because now we are going to animation cancel our tank shots with shooting our super weapon. Like this. And the tank dies. Thankfully that, that artillery missed. I thought it would hit me and that would have actually made this end of the level much harder. Um, I'm, not, I'm very ready for this Nod trap of having two rocket guys right here. Somehow. I'm not sure how. I maybe have played this game before. Um, and we're going to tap steer like our life depends on it to get around this corner as fast as we can. Alright, and so the rest of this level is actually just, uh, we're going to have some the hardest vehicle section in the entire game right now as we start with this flame tank. Um, and then we go to this tank. And then kill that tank. And our tank is really low for some reason. I think I took an extra shot somewhere. It should, should still be able to finish it without a tank. Yeah, you can it, still it, finish it this without the tank but... if your tank dies. It's just like a smidge slower. Nod obelisk detected. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, there it is. All right. Whatever. That is fine because I'm not going to walk into this obelisk range. I'm just going to shoot these missile launchers behind it. Miss. Oh, I did. There you go. Yeah. All right. Another level ends in three seconds after we kill those. So I'm just going to stand here and be happy that obelisk of oppression didn't really troll my marathon run. <laughs> Because that level... I mean, it kind of did. It kind of did, but it less so. Um, all right, next up, we... The reason we were fine with using our super weapon gun there and not actually saving the ammo for future levels um, is because our, we just go to prison uh, due to the plot of Renegade where we get led into a trap by Sydney, the person we rescued two levels ago. Um, and so we're put into prison, and our ex-girlfriend is actually not mad at us. She decided to see sense... Uh, after we took her hostage, shot her into a volcano, um, shot at her boyfriend with a sniper rifle, stalked her with a sniper rifle. Anyway, she decided to forgive all that and free us from prison, and now we're gonna prison break. So we're gonna. Go I mean, technically, Sakura said that it was a diversion to release. So, yeah. There was no cutscene for that. We skipped that. But. Yeah, we uh, we skipped the cutscenes in between the levels, which actually explained the plot better than I could ever. Um, we're gonna just kind of run out here and grab this buggy. Um, this buggy is like that buggy in Armored Assault, the third level. Very important to keep healthy because we need it healthy enough to do a trick. Um, uh, this is actually probably harder buggy to keep healthy. Um, ignore the fact that I took a tank shot in Armored Assault that made it much less hard, or much more hard than normal. Um, we're gonna head through this gate and then we're gonna pick up this armor upgrade it increases armor for the rest of the run. And then we're going to head alongside this cliff. There's a tank beyond this cliff. It will shoot either high or low. Uh, that's the bad version. I just need to load save there. Why is my escape key stuck? My escape key was stuck on my keyboard. I'm going to load the quick save there because the tank just decided it didn't like us and shot us. Hopefully. Nope. All right. All right. That's fine. It only splashed damage to us there. Um, basically, the tank will either aim high or low. Um, and... Oh, very occasionally drive forward. The drive forward is actually the worst uh, because when it drives forward, uh, you must... Um, when it drives forward, uh, you can't really dodge it. Uh, but now we're going to do flame tech skip, which involves driving in such a way the flame tech doesn't really hit us, which we just did there. I did the slow version of flame tech skip, because, which is a little bit safer because I didn't really have... The splash damage from the tank made me have less armor than I'm used to having there. But that's still faster than killing the flame tank or walking around. Uh, Look, which both of which are bad so options that are slow. So we're gonna pick up this rocket launcher and head into this I'll underground complex. Thanks for the assist. Good to see and uh, there I used the Renegade the feature that lets you it's manipulate where you get out of a vehicle uh, by holding the direction as you get out of the vehicle to make sure I got out on the side that I wanted to get out on. So now we're gonna reload our rockets because we're, I predict that we're gonna run into an APC and a buggy in approximately right now. Oh look, there's an APC. 
And then there's the buggy. I shot the APC on its side to ensure I splash damage the buggy, so my second rocket will definitely kill the buggy. And now we're gonna just gonna uh, run towards a tank that is on this left side of this corner. I don't need to really know. It's, uh, so we're gonna get this tank. Uh, these guys don't matter at all. Um, we'll shoot. We'll shoot them for fun. And then we're gonna see hear a lot of help, intruder. Help. Yeah, they're we're the intruder. They want help from us. So we're gonna. We have an interest in conflict. Um. And then we're gonna get over a tank here and then head into the further underground. And I'm gonna pick up, uh, I'm gonna pick up this rocket because it makes our thing future have a little bit more room for error. I'll just kind of jump off this club. All right. You wanna explain what I'm gonna do in this section as I focus on doing it? <clears throat> oh. All right, so this cutscene, or sorry, this, this uh, entire level is very, um, focused on the underground area of the uh, the garage area, which is where Mobius and Ravishar are um, being held. Yeah, and there I just uh, basically threw the um, underground section, used the flamethrower, and I tap fired it to stun lock all the enemies as I ran through them, because flamethrower goes through enemies and it stuns them when it hits them. So uh, there's a lot of enemies there. You can't actually feasibly fight them all at once most of the time. So you actually just stunlock them as you run through them. Now we get a cutscene. Yeah. Where it turns out Dr. Petrova, the, so, one of the scientists, is actually the big bad guy. Wait. It gets better. Ravishaw? A new and yeah. improved version. At least he's taller. I'm taking the Mobius girl with me. I have no need for the others. Do you understand? What's my RTA right now? Uh, An RTA is about 47 N ish. Loyal, strong, that is really solid. Wow. You are living okay. proof that this probably won't PB, but <laughs> it's really solid. 4726, right? 4726? Okay. Yeah, it's really good, actually. Kill him, my pet. Kill him slowly. Alright, so Ravishaw is this boss fight. I forgot to quick save, but it doesn't matter because I got first try. Where we headshot him as he walks forward towards us. He's gonna throw us, and then we are going to shoot him as he goes up here. And then um we are going to do a time-honored tactical crouch on the boss. And that is evolution of evil. Um, boss fights in this game are not very technically interesting. Other than the uh, they don't one. have a lot of depth. Well, yeah, yeah, that actually, actually, that's actually kind of true. Yeah. But most of the boss fights, they they just require you to deplete their health to a certain point. Usually, it's like one HP, and then they'll like do a predetermined sequence of actions before you can do the final blow, which is kind of strange for gameplay, but I mean, that's just how the game works. To talk about my one taps. Uh, yeah, I was just running through the elevator <laughs> over the elevator there um, to ensure Mobius the trigger for him to actually get in the mo elevator falls because we're gonna escort Mobius out of this underground cave system. Um, this escort mission sucks because Mobius um, has a really good has a really bad habit of walking in front of my bullets. Um, Mobius can't really take damage from the enemies on this difficulty. He can just take damage from you, and your auto aim will auto lock onto him. And you do bonus damage to him. So couple those things together, he's really good at dying. It is a miserable level. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's funny to me is that this level is actually harder on recruit because you do more damage to Mobius, and your auto aim can target automatically onto your friendly Mobius uh, ally. That's so Mobius it just is makes just it so kind much harder. Casually getting stun locked. Come on, get, stop stun locking Mobius, please. All right, so we unstun lock Mobius because he's escort mission. Woo! Uh, and then we're gonna run through this part uh, again. Enemies? Do we care about them? No, they're slow. Let's not deal with them. Um, we're just gonna walk in a straight line, even through that Tiberium, which is the straightest line. If you kind of do a pixel perfect lineup, you can actually avoid taking damage there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna kill that guy because he can sometimes shoot us. This guy usually doesn't shoot us, but he's shooting us today. Our health looks low, but it's not. Don't worry about it. Because 
This guy decided to drop armor when he died. So our health is now fine. That was a scary grenade launcher bounce, but it was fine. Um, we're gonna headshot this guy so he doesn't stunlock Mobius in the elevator. And then we're gonna get into the elevator. That turret kept shooting Mobius doesn't matter because they don't do damage to him, just me. We're gonna blow up this tank in front of us. Um, and then now here comes one of the scariest corners in the entire game. So I'm going into third person to look where they are. That's kind of a very bad setup, but I got it anyway. So those guys are really scary because there's a rocket soldier and then two acolytes. Acolytes do a lot of damage and heal each other and kind of themselves. So as we progress through this underground, there's a lot of turrets in the corners. We're just going to kind of shoot them. And then there's two stealth guys to the corner here. Mobius acts as good bait. And then we're going to reload our rocket launcher, which I almost forgot to do because there's four more turrets. That didn't die. Okay. Sure. That's fine. That also didn't die. All right. Uh, that was a little bit scary. But now is Rocket Caverns, which is even scarier, because this is a Rocket Cavern with six Rocket guys and a sniper. I'm not going to kill three of the Rocket guys, because they're slow if I look backwards. Uh, but they might try to shoot at me, and it kind of I'm leaving it in uh, God's hands here. Um, oh, look, they didn't shoot me. Yeah, that setup is pretty hard for them to shoot you when you walk that way, because they're not at the right angle to shoot you. Uh, we're gonna walk through this part. I'm gonna try to get Mobius to push me from behind, actually, because it pushes you and he... No, I missed it. Uh, that saves, like, actually, can actually give you a really big speed boost there. That's pretty hard to get. Alright, now comes Garage. Um, Garage is probably one of the me most mechanically difficult parts of all of this game, and it is kind of RNG of how fast it is, uh, because it's entirely based on where the enemies spawn. Yeah, you can explain this as I focus. Shoot. Yeah, so <clears throat> Mobius um, is very, very tanky to other enemies. Um, so you can let him take all the damage as you try to sweep this room. Uh, ideally, not dying as you do it. Ah, uh, yeah. that was really bad RNG spawns, man. Ideally, okay, so the AI in this game is very RNG That's based. Really their their behavior is not predictable at all. Really and my save's really far away, so I have to take this quick save. Ideally, you want the AIs to group, get grouped up so you can sort of burst them down one by one, technically with like a flamethrower or something, heals them very quickly. But since they're all spread out, it makes it very difficult to clear this room. So that was very just gonna have to take our time here. And Mobius is auto aiming on me. Okay, got it. That was yep. basically the worst possible energy over the way they could spawn there. Because usually, yeah, that was that was really really unfortunate. Yeah, okay. Luckily, I kind of saved it. It's unfortunate, though, that I had to load two saves. The second save was kind of my fault. I should have known there was a guy behind me, based on the spawns. Alright. Now we're going to get out of this garage. Uh, we picked up an armor upgrade. Uh, and the rest of this level is kind of home free. Um, there's some guys to shoot, but they don't really shoot us or do damage. But yeah, that was kind of unfortunate, just the way that... the they were all spread out, but also all within shooting range of me, which is usually, they're usually one or the other. They're all kind of, if they're all shooting within shooting range of you, usually they're all lined up such that you can actually kind of kill them all at once with a flamethrower burst, because the flamethrower goes through enemies. Um, but they're all spread out and all within shooting range, so I had like 20 enemies shooting me there. <laughs> or not 20, like 12. But that's the level. Uh, we get Mobius out of there. Uh, Next up is Tomorrow's Technology Today. This is the second longest level in the run. Uh, and is kind of mechanically difficult. This has a lot of different parts of this game's skill in it, actually. I think this level is probably the most diverse in terms of kind of the play style you have to adopt. Um, first things first, we're going to pick up this C4. Um, and then we are going to be prepared for a skip called Uke Skip, which, uh, if you've been you keeping track, this is the third skip you've found uh, in this run. But if it's the one that's named after him. Um, so we're going to kill these turrets, Sam Sight and Sniper, as we rock into, walk into the Hound of Nod, and I only use the chain gun as uh, DJ, if you can do the honors. Yeah, so we mainly don't want to use the laser chain gun, because if we... Um, try to shoot enemies in this hand of nod, and if they don't end up hitting the enemies, it'll do damage to the building. And if we do too much damage to the building, it'll warm up the repairs on this level. Um, it's a bit of a, a bit hard to explain. There's a lot to why it works the way it does, but we don't want to warm up the repairs too much. Otherwise, 
we can't do what we just did, where we blow up the building in two uh, personal iron cannon shots and a little bit of laser chain gun. If you weren't with repairs, the health will be a lot higher and it will slow us down a lot. Or even to the point where the repairs will be so fast, where we just can't destroy the building that way. We'll have to go back down and destroy it with the C4 instead. So now we're going to tap strafe like our life depends on it because the mammoth tank turns really slowly and miss a lot of shots. Okay, wow. That was really Enemy bad. But it doesn't destroyed. matter. Um, and then, yeah, now we are going to uh, run through the level. We have to pick up a key card. We just kind of drew up that tank to the gate here. Um, but yeah, courtesy of Yuke, we found a way to line up and shoot uh, buildings in first person. Which is actually the main reason we run on first person. Um, shoot buildings uh, in first person through, through their hit walls to actually kill them without having to like go to their cores or have to um, without, without without having to go to their cores or without having to uh, use like a tank or something. That was a really unlucky rocket guy, mm. but I am fine. Not the highest health. But also not the lowest health I've been out of this building on before. As yeah, I think you'll be fine. Ideally, you don't get shot by a rocket. I'm gonna. Oh. Uh, no, nope. uh, there's backup health in a better spot. That's less of a. Also, to be clear with what was, what was said earlier, um, technically, third or first person is mostly preference throughout both of the run. They don't make too much of a difference, but specifically for those specific cases where you need to shoot through a wall to destroy a building, you have to use first person. There, you can't do it in third person because of how bullets come out of your weapon in this game. They, it, that behavior changes depending on which you you're using. Yeah. So now we're coming into the obelisk of oppression, or sorry, not obelisk of oppression, to more technology today vehicle section where there is an <laughs> obelisk that oppresses us. Um, I'm shooting right there to make sure I splash damage a guy who's behind that corner. The vehicle combat in this game, especially on like recruit difficulty with the mammoth tank, is very, very finicky. So, auto aim is at its worst here, honestly. You, if you try to primary fire, which is like the two main barrels um, that you see on the mammoth tank in the front. Um, that's what primary fire, primary fire uses to shoot. You, you can see that they are not centered. The barrels are not centered at all. And if you try to primary fire while looking directly at an enemy, they will just miss. Um, and the auto aim only centers on the target. So they always miss if you try to shoot with primary fire. So you have to use secondary fire, which are homing shots. All right, now comes building skip. Uh, this one involves us lining up against these buildings and missing the first shot because I don't actually know how I missed that. And then kill this tank, kill this turret, and then clip through that gate to open it. We're going to leave our tank there um, where there's a turret outside that gate and the turret will kill our tank on purpose because we don't need our tank anymore. We just need to kill those buildings. Uh, we need to kill those buildings fast enough before they repair, just like how DJ mentioned uh, with the hand of Nod. I don't think this is a Nod vehicle. And then uh, we, so we kill them before they can repair, which completes some objectives. And then we're going to leave our tank there to die because it's actually going to get in our way later. Uh, but here comes Spaceship. Spaceship, there's uh, four spawns on the ground and four spawns up top. The four spawns up top are always rocket soldiers. The four spawns on the ground are RNG 50-50 between uh, being rocket soldiers and um, chain gunners. Uh, we got pretty bad RNG there, but it didn't matter because I was ready for it at least. And then we're going to open this gate. Uh, Sam we're going to destroy that Sam site specifically. There's this invisible soldier behind us. We're going to shoot him after he gives away his position. Um, and then we're going to make our way around here. There's a rocket soldier there, so he's going to die because we don't like rocket soldiers. Um, there's this Sam site we're not going to blow up right away because a Humvee, which will bring us back to where we need to go to enter the level, will spawn um, when we kill both Sam sites. So I'm going to place, uh, I don't know that guy's. I'm gonna place my laser, I'm gonna place my C4 on there to only trigger the Humvee spawn when I can actually protect it. So I'm gonna, this time, blow up the Master Control Terminal by using a personal iron cannon shot for half its HP, and then just kind of finishing it off with chain gun the other half. This guy's invisible, go away. Um, make sure that guy doesn't shoot down our helicopter, he's not going to. Uh, that tank shot is not actually that scary. He kind of can't hit us there. Um, and now we're going to take this Humvee back to the place where we blew up the obelisk, because that's where we need to go to end the level. Um, this driving section isn't actually for free, though. There is, like, turrets and stuff, as well as Enemy rocket soldiers. So we kind of need to be on our feet. Down here, See if you can find an indirect approach 
This turret didn't kill my tank, man. I left my tank here so the turret... Oh, it left it to 1 HP. I might have not been too far forward. Yeah, okay, well, it was 1 HP, so that was fine. All right, now there's two stealth tanks here. Watch Actually, out. I killed one on the way here because when you drive your mammoth tank here, they, these stealth tanks are already spawned, so you can kill them on the way here. I'm going to pick up this and pick up this and then just kind of dodge rockets for the rest until the level ones because the level one in like two seconds. Woo, let's go. That was a, quite a good tomorrow's technology today. That was the second last level in the game, which kind of featured vehicles and a fair amount of combat and as well as two major skips that are not trivial as well as one minor skip, which clips through the gate to open it. Um, now is stopping on Holy Ground. This is the hardest level in the game. This is the last level in the game. Um, I'm going to be kind of focusing the entire time because I really want to have a yeah, this is stopping. Yeah, this is a really, really tough level because of how much combat sections there is. And it's, it's a pretty big contrast to the rest of the run where it's mostly just yellowing past a lot of rooms. They're still yellowing in this level, but like, you still have to do a lot of combat to make sure you don't just die. Um... So here's one of those yellow parts. You can just jump down here and go in this room. But you still have to deal with this room later. Once you get past this room, you go in this room to pick up a key card as well as some Volt Rifle ammo, which is um, debatably probably one of the best weapons in single player. Um, it stuns enemies hard, so they can't shoot you back, which is very, very essential for getting being able to yellow past some of these rooms. That was a little bit scary. Didn't exactly hit the stun. Up down here. Uh, but yeah, that room is actually really, There's a lot of enemies in that room. really scary. Yeah. A lot of these, uh, like, YOLO drats can feel quite inconspicuous if you don't know the context of the level. But, like, it's crazy how difficult these parts of levels can be if you don't go as fast as uh, Noto's going yeah, right now. this is very much a level where you are punished for being slow. Um, so, these tricks, uh, I already did one pretty hard trick um, to actually go through that room without having to fight through it. Uh, here's another pretty hard trick where I go through the room without having to fully fight through it. This is called One Button. Um, yeah, I'm gonna focus again. Uh, I'll try yeah. to explain it. Um, it does require some context for later parts in the level, but for now, all you need to know is that we do go through this room again, and if we leave more enemies alive here, it'll make going through this part of the level again way harder because it's gonna be partially escort, and we don't want our ally dying. Yeah, so I just left a lot of enemies alive there. Um, I pressed a button to kill half of them, but there's another button you can kill to press to kill the other half, but I'm not gonna press that because that's gonna actually take more time than it's worth for me to protect my ally. Um, in theory, it's possible to do it without any buttons, but it's so risky that it's not really so worth doing. Unless difficult. I'm not sure it's actually yeah. faster because you're just gonna take so much time to protect your ally on the remaining escort part. All right, now here's corkscrew. Uh, this is another really hard part and my health is kind of low. There are a lot of stealth backhand around here. All right, let's see if we get a good protagonist lineup. Usually there's a lot of stealth backhand who like going on this ramp. Uh, hey, we did. Let's go. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. I hope I'm counting right. And we're going to start the boss fight. This is the final boss fight of the game. <sighs> I can just shoot her to start the boss fight. Um, so this boss fight, I'm doing the very hard version of this boss fight that I've hit by my count seven times in my life. Three of those have been today, in practice. Um, because I've been really practicing this trick to make sure I get it. Um, I'll explain it after, or DJ can explain it. I'll just be silent. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I didn't get it. Yeah, I need to load the save. Okay, so, oh. unfortunately, there were still some stealth backhand oh, alive sorry. behind him. Which kind of ruins the setup. So this boss fight's probably gonna go quite poorly, or at least pretty slow. So the main thing that makes it difficult is there are some enemies in the jail room on the right side that have Tiberium weapons. And since Patrol is all like Tiberium creatured out right now, um Oh, oh shit, man. That's such a bad mistake. I could have got that one. I missed the headshot. This is what you get when you tried the hardest tricks in the game, uh, in a marathon, by the way. I'll let you focus. I think this is the optimal way to do it now, at this point. Alright, I'm, I'm in to clear waters. Your inferior attacks cannot harm me. Oh, shit. 
I didn't miss that. But... All right, got it. Third try in the really slow version. <laughs> Um, so yeah, basically she has healers in the back cage that will heal her. Um, the fast way to do this fight, so you can kill those before the boss fight starts. The fast way to do the fight is to do this vault rifle when you hit an enemy with it, stuns when you, like the flamethrower. So the fast way to do this is to shoot two bolts to stun her two healers, and then, uh, to, yeah. To kill her, to stun her two healers, and then personal ion cannon headshot her while she was invisible and against the auto aim doing its best to screw you over. Oh, she went to the good side, okay. So this is the side I cleared enemies out on, so it's gonna be a little bit safer than normal. Okay, that's a lot of enemy spawns. But yeah, basically, um, oh, she's so low. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's gonna be a pretty sketchy end as well. All right. I think you got a headshot on her at one point. Yeah, that sucks. Over health there. All right. Uh, that didn't kill her somehow. All right. Um, we're not just gonna escort her back. Um, this we are done the game now. Time's coming up, by the way. Up. Um, all right. We're home free. Um, we made them escort through, uh, and we escorted her to this nuke and we're going to blow it up and time. There we go. Congrats. That was, that was really sketchy at the end, but you pulled it through. I'm, that was impressive. Yeah. I went for a really hard trick and it didn't work. Unfortunate. I'm going to still go for the hard trick every time. Um, and that is Command and Conquer Renegade. Um, thank you that all was for a watching. 107 flat. A 107 One, flat. Um, 10701. 10701. With how much I was saving, that's probably a 103. That's probably a 102. Or, Not too bad for marathon. For a marathon, a 103 is really, really solid. Um, yeah, the end, I went through the really hard strats in the end level, and I was kind of punished for them. Um, because those strats don't really have viable backups. But, uh, yeah. We pulled off Renegade, we, uh, we beat it really fast. Um, that last part has a lot, a lot of moving pieces, but basically we just, uh, after finishing the boss fight by kind of just killing our healers and fighting through instead of doing the fast version where you just one-shot her, um, by hitting a headshot. After doing that, we just escort Sydney through. Um, where we went back to the area where I only pressed one button to kill half of them. She went to the correct side so that she did really go through the area with a lot of enemies, but a lot of them still aggroed on her anyway, so she, she was really low. But we managed to make the escort out, and uh, that's stopping at Holy Ground, which is the hardest level in Renegade, and that's the overall game. Um, I'd like to, as I wrap this things up, uh, sorry for all tapping, I'd like to uh, thank kind of all the Renegade community for and all the Command & Conquer community in speedrunning for uh, bring me here today. Uh, huge shout outs to Church and Sarge, uh, the illustrious host of this event, uh, and the person who taught me this, the Renegade speedrun through his How to Train a Speedrunner on GDQ. So if you want to learn the speedrun, go watch that. It's a really great tutorial. Um, yeah, thank you to DJ Thed and uh, Ray for doing tech. Um, sorry, I said that sentence weird. Thank you to DJ Thed for commentary and Ray for doing tech. Um, <laughs> No problem, no problem. I, I, I could have done commentary a little bit better. I scuffed it a yeah, little bit, but... Totally fine. And I'd like to thank the Renegade community. I mentioned Yuke during the run. Uh, Yuke found so many skips throughout the run. This run would be much slower without his work. Uh, shout outs to Lyranus, um, who I think I said his name once during the run. But he is a really great Renegade runner who's pushed, who's kind of responsible for carrying this game for a lot of years. Um, so huge shout outs to him. Uh, shout out to Stephen, uh, Stefan1192 for kind of being the person who kind of pushed us all to actually get way better at this game. Uh, shout outs to uh, Tiberius for being another runner of this game who's contributed a lot of ideas. And shout outs to the IL runners. I'm sorry if I miss any because I don't quite keep up with the Renegade IL scene as much as I should. Uh, but Poochies, who probably think ran Red Alert 3 at this event. Uh, yep. Seif Magdi. Um, and uh, a name I am forgetting. And I'm sorry for reading your name. But shout outs to you. If you, there's any Renegade runner that I... Uh, did not name here. Thank you all so much for uh, building up this game. I'm standing on shoulders of giants. Um, 
and this game's really fun to speedrun, so GDQ chat, you should all go buy this game and speedrun it. It's really, really, really fun. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Be sure to follow Noto. He does runs. Yes, twitch.tv slash N0, T-O-H, Noto. Um, I stream a lot of Renegade, and occasionally Titanfall, Wolfenstein, and Fallout New Vegas speedruns. Um, I'd also stream chess sometimes, but mostly speedruns. So, yeah, cheers. See ya. See ya. Thank you both so much uh, for being on. Uh, that was a great run. Uh, you, you did a phenomenal job. Uh, you, there's actually some things that I haven't seen before, so that was pretty sick. Um, yeah, there's there's been a lot of development going on with the runs lately. It's been pretty cool. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, uh, if you want to uh, contribute, if you want to help find some stuff, because a lot of this has been found in the past three months, so there's still stuff to find. If you're interested, you can join the Discord, and uh, we'd be happy to have you. Um, I want to give a big shout out to everybody who's done runs today, everybody who's done commentary. Uh, this is a lot of, this isn't the entire community, but this is a lot of people in the community. So it's been awesome to have, you know, a lot of runners in the Command and Conquer, con ugh, Command and Conquer community do runs. I do want to give a shout out to uh, somebody who wasn't here, uh, but Rum Master, who is uh, one of the, isn't as active now, but was super uh, integral to the, Command and Conquer community over the years. Uh, did a lot of runs in a lot of games, uh, including this game. Auto splitters. He wrote all our auto splitters. Yeah, absolutely. Every auto splitter we have is because of ROM. Uh, huge shout outs to ROM. This community wouldn't be here without you. So uh, you, you weren't here today, but you know, thank you so much. Uh, you were awesome uh, for the community. Uh, if anybody is interested in joining the community, uh, I will post the Discord in just a minute here in chat. Uh, we'd love to have you. Uh, everybody in it is super friendly. We'll help you get sorted with whatever, uh, with whatever game you're looking to get into. Uh, but with that said, I mean, I could talk all night about Command & Conquer, and I don't think anybody wants to listen to that. Uh, we don't have any more shows before you tonight. Uh, that was the last run. Uh, we will be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. We have Awfully Silly followed by, uh, I almost said What's Faster, which is not correct. It's out of bounds. I don't know why I wanted to say that. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a quick break while we look for somebody to uh, raid. If you wouldn't mind just sticking around so we can uh, go join somebody in some speedrun shenanigans, that would be awesome. Take care, everybody. See ya, chat. Bye.